All right, we should be live on both Twitch and YouTube now. So uh, I haven't said this in a little while, but uh, I am dual streaming on both. The difference is Twitch has lower latency, so I'll be able to reply quicker to chat. Uh, it'll be more current, I guess. Um, and then YouTube is like 30 to 60 seconds behind. YouTube has better quality. Let's go on, Jer. TDH, welcome in. I'll uh, make sure it is going on YouTube, but YouTube auto connect. So always got to double check. Make sure we are good. We are good. Phelan, starting us off with a $50 donation. Thank you, Phelan. Spend money on a birthday party this month, but the grown-up kids paid for the pizza party themselves. Consider some pizza for yourself. Wow, thank you, Phelan. Yeah, man, pizza a long time. Maybe I will use it for pizza. Uh, thank you, Phelan and the Fae fam. Crazy, grown-up kids. Black thing for the 100 bits. Also very much appreciated. Uh, thank you again, Phelan and the Fae fam. Can't leave them out. Aria Hype Train, yeah. Uh, so, really quick, a couple things before we get started. If you are wondering what uh, Against the Storm is, or it's hard to watch because you don't understand the game, or you've just been interested in figuring out what it is, uh, I made a new type of video that's up on YouTube. Uh, you go to exclamation what, exclamation what, it works on both YouTube Live and on Twitch. If you're watching this later on on VOD, you're going to have to go to YouTube and check it out. But it is what is Against the Storm, and it's an edited video where I go through and try to tell you the systems of it and what the game is and how it feels to play it. Uh, and things like that. So check that out if you haven't already. And let me know what you think of the video style. I'm I'm curious. Uh, they, they do take a bit of work to make those because it takes a lot of editing. And uh, I'm curious if you guys want to see other games presented that way. Uh, in addition, if you are not ready to buy against the storm or you can't, but you like the game, I am currently doing a giveaway. You type exclamation giveaway. Uh, I'm giving away nine now. Um, who you donated some keys? Some nine copies of Against the Storm. You got I think three or four days left to enter. Again, exclamation giveaway, you type that in either of the live chats. Uh, if you are watching this later on and you want to get to the giveaway and it's still going, you go to adamversuseverything.com slash giveaway. Adamversuseverything.com slash giveaway. All right, let us get started. Let us get started. Yeah, I'm early. I'm early for once. I haven't been early to a stream in a long time. Long time. But we're early today. We're doing progression. Uh, Tiveriousness. Thank you for the 12, uh, 12 months. Well, wow, that's almost a full calendar year. Thank you, Ty. Uncle Jay, welcome in. Pumpkin. Jay Roy. Guy Nort. Yeah, Exhibition Watt will tell you about the game, and Exhibition Giveaway will give you a chance to win. So, all right, let's let's uh, let's dive in. So we are working on um, progression. So my thought right now is that we are just going to keep uh, playing until we lose, and we're going to keep raising the prestige level until we lose. So far, let's go on, Kitten. Welcome, welcome in. Storms, that's right. How's it going, Johnny? Two fat crew, welcome in. Uh, so, so far, we've made it to Prestige 7 without losing. So, I'm sure my time of victory, my win streak is going to come at an end, and it very well might, now that we've hit this Prestige level, things are going to get real serious. Uh, but so far, things are good. Things are good. So, we are going to start heading towards the Gold Seal. We're at 26 Seal Fragments, so we need to get 35, so... We should be able to get enough uh, with two more victories, which we have enough room for that if we win both. Um, and we'll go to the Coral Forest. Coral Forest is pretty good. And yeah, let's uh, let's get started. So we made it to Prestige 7. Haven't lost any Prestige levels yet, <laughs> but uh, now we have higher food consumption. So uh, very concerning. How's the meta progression looking? You never did above Prestige 1. Uh, we can take a look at it really quick. So there's a couple of things to do with meta progression, but I've been maybe not doing it the the right way. Um, now that I've gotten some really key upgrades, I've just been going across the board and whatever the next best one is out of the very next ones is the one I get. So what I mean, like, instead of going down one column to get here, let's say I want this one. I've been instead only looking at these four that are the next ones on each branch. So I know that's probably not the way to do it, but for me, I know I'm going to unlock everything eventually. Um, so yeah, the most notable things for us still are racial bonuses and uh, field kitchen, honestly. Past that, we haven't really got anything like too super game changing. Uh, obviously, every little bit adds up and changes the game, but you know what I mean? There's no uh, super unlocks. Uh, that's what you did as well, but you were only getting like 45 food per town. Oof. It takes a long time. It takes a long time. Yeah, so we're making a lot of progress on the meta progression pretty quickly, I would say, right? Because we haven't lost yet and we're going through prestiges. So, going to Fat Crew. Mage, welcome back in. All right, let's think about who we want to take. Uh, six foxes only? Probably not. 
We can take eight of either of these. Uh, I'm probably going to start with humans so that we can see where the... Um, yeah, there it rolled as a four. Uh, so we can see where the plan... Or, excuse me, where the rich soil is. Um, so... Both of these like clothing, and they both like biscuits. So if we roll beavers here, clothing and biscuits will go to all three. I'm kind of hoping to roll foxes. Foxes or beavers, I suppose. I kind of don't want lizards, so of course we'll probably get lizards. Um, we have seven points to spend. So what do we want to do with this one? So biscuits, um, we might want to go with... The small farm so that we can go into grain. Grain is a, a generally good thing anyway. And then we definitely want more people. And we have one left. Higher food consumption. Um, so we want to get over to complex food immediately, I think. Time to start to crack up things. Yeah, that's a good... That's a... That's a good possibility too. We are... I wish we had one more embarkation point. I'm thinking about getting meat and just turning it into food with a field kitchen. But, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, you know what? If I was going to go to the um, the meta progression in a, in a way now that I'm just trying to do my best on runs, the order I would probably go is uh, specialized housing, race, um, bonuses, field kitchen, embarkation points. I think that's the order I would go in. Better roads on the hearth as well, warehouse start. Yeah. Yeah, I am going to get a small farm, though. Uh, it takes it out of the roll. We don't have to worry about not getting it. And we have humans, so we'll, we'll, we know we'll be able to get rich soil. We'll be able to get farms going. And with this higher food consumption, I think it's going to be important. But yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look, see what our third race is going to be. And uh, none of these start with extra people this time, unfortunately. So let's see. Munchies forced. R squared in early as well. How's it going, R squared? Let's see what we rolled here. The astonishing, beautiful view motivates villagers to work. The time interval between breaks is increased by 25%. Okay. Decent. My sword will resolve as normal. Gathering speed is decreased by 50%. We're going to hit that one probably pretty often. So during the storm, we're going to gather less uh, or gather more slowly, I guess. Uh, resistance to uh, corruption. We're going to hit that one too. That's not a big deal. Let's see what the big ones are here. Uh, time between breaks, 35. Uh, prevent this if there's a service building. Uh, so we might hit that one sometimes. And then seven. Villagers with this effect have a 5% chance of perishing every 15 seconds uh, if they have not had services times two. So hopefully we never hit seven hostility during the storm. <laughs> if we do, we're going to have a bad time. Go on, Chef. Thank you for the 39 months. Thank you, Chef. Uh, all right. So the new... Bo or the new... Uh, oh, parasites. Everyone has a parasite. Oof. That sounds gross. Uh, anyway, we're going to eat more food. 50% chance of eating twice as much. And we rolled lizards. <laughs> I told you. Told you. Got a fancy badge. All right. Um, I like it when the rich soil is actually in one of the bigger glades. Everyone has tapeworms, yeah. Uh, but we didn't roll that, so we're going to be going straight into this. And let's see what our first rolls are. Uh, Carpenter is a great early pickup. Really like Carpenter. Um, we could also go straight to... F I think I'm going to go Supplier. Flower and Planks. Actually, uh, I was thinking Lumber Mill. I like Lumber Mill. Flower and Planks. That's good. So we'll, we'll grab that even before I open this because none of the others are anything that we really, really care about. Um... Let's take a look at what all kind of spillover we have here. So we're going to have jerky spillover between harpies and lizards. It's a pretty easy one to get. And jerky is a uh, low value. So uh, planks and yeah, yeah, absolutely. So planks, planks are always good. You are so plank starved, especially early on. We got two people with coats. We got all three pie. So getting to pie would be incredible. Uh, only one pickled goods this time. Pickled goods is great. It's plus eight, but... Uh, yeah, if we get the kill, and killing is great early, too. We get jerky from that, and, of course, um, uh, coal. Yeah, getting to pie would be great. Uh, we already know we're gonna be able to get flour, no problem. So, um, we just need something else, like getting the ranch or something for... The ranch would be incredible. Let's take a... Let's keep an eye out for the ranch, because then we could get meat pie and jerky. 
and these two would be super happy. All right. So, um, let's see here. Uh, so there's jerky from the smokehouse, uh, and there's coats and barrels. Let's open this and, uh, and see what's there before we pick those ones. All right, we're gonna get two woodcutters down. We don't have beavers this time. Uh, let's build this close to the, um, the warehouse and we'll move it. That way they're close to the materials needed for it. And then it's free to move the, that one. So we'll just, do, we'll just do that. All right. Uh, what do we have in our starting glade? We have some vegetables. Okay. Nice. Nice. And what, what do we have as starting stuff now? We don't have, um, don't have cloth yet. Okay. Let's go turn off coats. We'll save that for the first storm. Otherwise, I think we're good to get ready. Uh, let's get these set to high priority. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and get uh, a field kitchen as soon as we can, which means we need the food workstation going. Okay. Um, right now, we're just going to get that done. Field kitchen is going to need three of those so we're gonna pump out three of those and then um we need to collect water so let's get our water started quickly we don't know if there's gonna be a geyser over here maybe we should pop that open before i put down the water collector yeah we'll, we'll do that all right th this is good to start so let's put that as the next priority Funny amateur zb welcome in Okay, we're going to move this over. Uh, we we really want to get this soil, this rich soil claimed as fast as possible. Uh, in the hearth right now, we're going to take the harpy out just for a moment. Not only will we not be spinning fuel that way, but um, she can help work. How warm do you keep the room I'm streaming in? Oh man, it gets so warm. Uh, depending, It's upstairs. This room gets really hot sometimes. But yeah, unfortunately, our uh, house isn't doesn't have um, room by room thermostat, so it actually gets really warm up here. I don't even know. I should put a thermometer in here on the wall for sometimes. I, during the summer, uh, what I've been doing to combat it is I have a fan downstairs pointed upstairs, and then I have a fan at the top of the stairs pointed this way, and then I have a fan outside the door pointing at me. So, uh, yeah, I have I have three PCs in here. Two are on during the stream and both of the ones that are on during the stream are kind of monster, monster PCs. So it gets friggin' warm and it keeps it warm during the, uh, during the winter. Yeah. I don't get cold in here. That's for sure. All right. So now that we are getting to work, we're going to go ahead and put the harpies back. Uh, this will increase carry capacity by five to help out at the, at the wood. And we are going to get, uh, these guys working on, on that. So we can get the field kitchen, make a hole in the wall. <laughs> I have opened the uh, opened the window in here during the like fall and winter too. Palm frond and a fan. Yeah, I know. I, I joke about that to my wife sometimes. During uh during the summer, I'll be like, you know what I need? I need to lay around while people fan me and feed me grapes. <laughs> it's gotten to the point where she knows what I'm gonna say. Like, you want someone to feed you grapes? Yes, that's what I want. I dream of this. I dream of this. All right, let's see where our first corner is in. Do you even like grapes? I do like grapes, yeah. Uh, my favorite grapes are the green grapes. Aside from, have you guys had the cotton candy grapes? There is a type of grape that has been bred to taste similar to cotton candy, and they're very expensive, and they're kind of good. Let's go ahead and Lumby. Welcome back. All right, what do we got here? Uh, two packs of provisions per herbs. We don't know that we're going to have herbs. Your wife loves them. Yeah, they're good. Three clay per minute. Nice. Five pigment for every 10 insects. Yeah, uh, three clay. Those are amazing. They are, yeah. How's it going, Grumpy? Welcome in. So, ever had frozen grapes? Yes, I've had those too. I don't care for them. I have, uh, my teeth are cold sensitive. Um, I, some of my teeth, my canines are like cold sensitive. A lot of times I have something like, like frozen grapes or ice and I try to, I roll it across one of those teeth or go to bite on it. It does not feel good. Uh, we're gonna take the three clay per minute. That will mean pottery and bricks forever. Getting that early is kind of nice. Free clay, free clay. 
Uh, alright. So, we need to get the farm up, and we need to get this up. Uh, so when this is up, we want to turn this meat into jerky. How's it going, Paul? Way to spend the rest of your workday? That's awesome. Yeah, I don't fully understand. You watched the video, though? That's awesome, yeah. Thank you for watching the video, and, uh, yeah, there's a lot to, there's a lot to this game. Uh, there is a lot to it, so... Uh, let's wait on porridge and biscuits for right now. Go on, Dylan. Welcome in on the YouTube side as well. Okay, so as soon as we get the uh, fabric done, we'll switch over and get some planks made. And we really got to get the farm. So we just got to a prestige level where the... Uh, oh, you know what? We need to cut here instead. Uh, we just got to the prestige level where they eat more food, so... Lark on YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. So whichever, watch wherever is the best for you, whichever one you like more. But um, if you watch on one and lurk on the other, that that super helps. Ah, uh, and ZB, thank you again for the twelve months. Twelve months. Ben, welcome in. There is a giveaway going on. We're giving away nine keys. How's it going, GCL? Welcome in. Look, look, look. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll wait on checking those out. Drizzle's coming. We gotta get that cut. Okay. All right. Uh, cloth is coming in. So let's go ahead and uh, oh, they were they're already emptying it. Okay. So this field kitchen is now gonna get made. Uh, there was no uh, geyser in here, so no geyser. We need that tree cut. Nine worth five. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Fu, you donated some some more keys. If anyone wants to donate more keys, I mean, I'm not asking for it, but uh, for anyone that didn't know, you can do that. You can absolutely do that. You don't have to be like the game developer to donate keys. Well, you know that too. You've donated some keys before. Bad crew. All right. So now we're gonna move the wood um, down here. We're gonna cut some of this area. Um or some housing, I suppose. And let's just cut right there. Okay. Matter on YouTube if you mute. I'm not sure how it works with the mute, uh, YouTube muting. Almost combine those. The mute tube. I'm not sure how mute tube works. Not sure. Uh, RPs are six now, huh? Okay. This one's very important to get going. Here's the field kitchen, also really important. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on sea marrow, coal, oil, in that order. All right, uh, yeah, we gotta get this going. Probably the most important thing. Whoops, I did not mean to take everyone off that. There we go. Mute tube, mute tube. <laughs> so, uh, extra jerky production. Using a blueprint for that doesn't feel great, especially when we have jerky here. I mean, this is crappy production, but go on, Tony, welcome in. That one's pretty crappy production. So, we have two people that are gonna, are gonna want jerky forever. We also have two people that want uh, coats. Uh, we can definitely roll into three star coats, but we don't know that we're going to, right? So, um,. Let's just go ahead and grab the artisan. There's lumber mill. There's rain mill. So we already have two star planks and two star flower. Um. Everyone likes pie, so getting a lot of flour is going to be pretty important. That also opens us up if we end up getting the small press upgrade. It will help a lot. Um, that should be a recipe. Meat plus meat equals sausage. <laughs> I am thinking I might take the rain mill. We already have two star. What do the stars signify? Uh, the stars are basically uh, how much it produces, how how um, efficient it is with turning material into into items. So the higher the stars, the the better the building at producing that thing. Two page to find a world upload. This is on the first second row. Taking a break, yeah. Taking a break does, destroys the algorithm. It's unfortunate. That's why I was trying to get one out every day, but 
you know, the, the editor needed to leave for the holidays, so I can't fault them for that for sure. It's gone, uh, Werewolf Dylan. Thank you for being here again. Um, I think it's at... Yeah, you get more, um, more produced per work cycle, I think is what it is. I may be correct on that. Someone can, can, can fix that, but I think you get more per work cycle, so... Um... Clearance water... Yeah, I'm not 100% sold on this one yet because we have the two-star flower, but I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. All right, what do we need for this? We need some planks, so we're going to turn planks back on. We're going to put planks at 10, and we're going to put uh, this at 12 for now. And we'll leave both of those on. We'll turn planks up one. And we got a little while before the storm. A little while. We got to get this going, which... Yeah, workers are starting to, starting to head that way. Very, very important to get that up. Okay, uh, so which glade? So we can't see where a geyser is. We can't see what else is in the glades unless we roll a certain cornerstone. So we got to start thinking, where do we want our next glade? Because we want to get uh, extra hearths up relatively soon. That seems like a pretty good one to get right there. So that's probably the first glade. Is that all the soil? Yeah, that's all the soil so far. Yeah. 11 uh, plowed fields. We should be able to carry, or with the humans, we should be able to get that with just just two of them, I think. But we'll see. Keep an eye on it. Um, Starting out, do we want to go with vegetables too? We have vegetables there we can grab, and we have the trees. Let's uh, turn off vegetables, and we'll just fully saturate that with, with grain. We have insects there. What we really need is more colonists. That's uh, We need more work. So let's go ahead and see what our orders are. Don Sunshine, welcome back. Uh, build a train post, trade 10. We're definitely going to do that. Complete any three glade events. Uh, We're going to open a, a big glade. It'll probably have two events that we can do. Who needs veggies? We'll just make bread pie. Bread pie would be nice. <laughs> we can probably get that but it won't be as fast as this. Both give six boxes of tools. Uh, yeah, this one's a better reward. We'll just go with it. They're both pretty easy. Lizard house, harpy house. We want to get both of those. Extra people and meat production is good, especially if we want to get that ranch. It glade with either one. Stone cutter and harvest camp. We'll open those too, but these rewards aren't as as good. So we have a timed one. Keep lizard resolve above eighteen. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen right now, unfortunately. Five meat per minute forever is crazy. Is there any way I can get them to eighteen? There's only one lizard. I don't think I can get them to eighteen. Not unless we we would have to get like a lizard house, pickled goods, and jerky or something and favor them. Hmm. This is a rough at the start. Yeah. It, one of the problems is you know, drugs. One of the problems is we only have one lizard, right? If we had a few more, you know, we could probably swing it. But I don't know, man. That is such a good <laughs> lizard queen. Oh, that sucks. This is one that you can, is a freebie. You just open glades at the end. Uh, Stone and clay production is always good. We're not guaranteed to be able to build a re or salvage, but also put it on the hearth. Yeah, that would that would increase it. But I just don't know. We'd have to be banking on whether we can get a trader to get us mood on him or not. You know, five meat per minute is crazy, though. But, you know, on this map, we're going to be getting food from cutting trees, even even meat from cutting trees. OK, let's see what realistically we could get him to. 18 is pretty tough for a single lizard this early on. Literally the beginning of the game. On the hearth, he's happy because he's on the fire. Plus he has the, the plus one to everyone for his bonus. A lizard house will give him a plus three. Uh, favor, and that's eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know. You think hearth house? And if we get jerky as well, let's take a look. So, can we get a lizard house in time? Let's even check that. We can get a lizard house. 
So that takes them to six. And then plus five. So we're already at 11. And then him on the hearth is what, six? So that gets him to 17. If we can get jerky, I think we can actually do it. We do have the field kitchen. We might be able to do this. Five meat would be incredible. That would be pie forever. Ragnar, I think you were the 17 months. I think it's worth the risk this time. All right, I think it's worth the risk. Oh, and shelter bonus, yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Uh, all right, let's let's go for it. I'm gonna bet on this one. I, do, I don't have predictions set up for this game, but I should. I could also, uh, I could try to summon a trade or two. We'd have to actually build a trade post, but let's, let's see, let's see. That is a, such a good reward. Can't pass it up, all right. Uh, so our only lizard, take him off field kitchen, put him on the ancient hearth. Um, let's get this going. Let's get a lizard house. And get that made. Let's turn jerky off on everyone else. Make sure that goes to him. Uh, so we're nine there, and then we'll favor at the end. Because it's going to upset them, but... Okay, anything else that we need to do for now? Oh, um, getting a... Getting a garden and the other normal houses down. We might have to do that too, we'll see. Yeah, we can take this down to zero. Gotta be careful. Let's see what it does after the house first. So, uh, and then, yeah, let's uh, prioritize getting the jerky out. Ah, they're already making it, so it's fine. She is slow about it, though. I think we can do it. We're at nine already without the house. And with us at one. My house is almost done. Oh, all right. Uh, he's at 15, so favoring will be enough. Uh, hang on, let me take this down. That's 17 without favoring. Harvest resolve is low, yeah. Chill out for just, just a few seconds. Just a few seconds there, Harpy. Oh, he doesn't even have the jerky yet. If he has the jerky, we can even turn favoring off. Oh, this five meat per minute is going to be so good. Especially with this uh, first prestige being the raw, or seven prestige being the first one at lower food. More food consumption, I should say. All right, turn that in. There we go. We got our meat. We got our meat. Excellent. And we got some extra workers. Double excellent. So yeah, before 30 seconds, only 30 seconds. So yeah, uh, we got to get to pie production. Pie production is what we are looking for. So in that regard, uh, rain mill, I think for the extra flour. There's the kiln. Kiln for jerky and coal. Mountains of meat. There's pie, two star pie. Yeah, let's go ahead and go straight to the pie. All right, nice. Nice. We already have the um, production set up to make pie. Kiln is good, but pie covers all three. Can't pass it up. Can't pass it up right now. Okay, uh, so the storm is coming. I would like to get shelter on these guys before it hits. Ideally, we got a rain collector coming in. Um, let's put planks back down to normal. And we're just going to do... Uh, oh, man, we are so low on wood, and therefore fuel. But uh, would you have planks for one big shelter? 
I'll do that one. That'll cover six right there. Then. There we go. There we go. And uh, get that rain started. Pass up pie is a sound strategy. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good strategy for real life too. Great strategies for, for both in game and out of game. Uh, and then as we get eight here, which will be as soon as that's done, we will, well, let's wait on the housing. And then after the housing's done, we'll get the garden down. Uh, and then we will get over to our pie production. And then we need to start gathering reeds. We get, need to get those harpy houses done. But we'll probably put the harpy houses around the next hearth, which we'll do over here. Okay. Should have that done right as the storm's coming. If we have to shuffle harpies specifically into houses, that's okay. Kick some people out, put some harpies in. Okay, planks, good. Turkey, we're all right there. Uh, and then we'll start making porridge. We only have one that likes it though. So I'm gonna put this uh, relatively low. We're just gonna put it on like 20. And we're gonna use grain in that and then we'll use any of the water is fine. Uh, we're gonna have better biscuit production. We need to get our flour going though. By the time we get flour going, we should be able to the better building. So let's turn that off before I forget. Um. And then, yeah, we're not going to turn off raw food yet. Let them eat wood. It would be nice if the beavers could eat wood, I suppose. That's specious. It might be. It might be. Uh, all right. We really got to get this done. Okay. Done just in time. All right. A lot of fiber. That's right. Anonymous, I don't know who you are, but thank you for the gift sub to Emerald Dragon for the 31st month. Thank you, Anonymous. Very much appreciated. All right. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and move this woodcutter over here. You know what? We're going to move both of these over. We really need to get uh, wood cut fast. And we're going to open that glade at some point anyway. All right. Storm is here. We're still at only hostility uh, one, so... Not a not a huge deal. Um, when that house is done, I think the harpies will, will be fine. And then with the no flowers with wood lumber, yes, yeah. So I gotta wait though because we literally have no like no wood. We were using it just to build the shelters. So I wanted the shelters down first, and then building a park will give us. Um, we can move it later, but it's right here near this. So building a um a park will give us an extra. Some extra resolve. We can even favor them if we really need to. But we'll see. Move a completed building from going A to B without penalty. Some buildings, more complex buildings, you have to pay for, but it doesn't take labor or anything. So for instance, um, like the farm, if I move the farm somewhere, it's gonna cost me a lumber. But Still not a big deal, right? All right, we need to uh, we need to favor them temporarily. Oh, never mind. This is what I saved coats for. No favor needed. So they just need to put coats on. Uh, yeah, if you end up buying the link, um, if you go to Exclusion Storm on Twitch, it, it'll take you to Humble Bundle where you can buy it through Humble, um, and it supports the stream and charity that way if you would like to do so. Okay, uh, let's take a look. So we really want to get the rain mill. We need to get trade set up too, though. We're okay on... Kind of okay on... Um... Let's take... Whoops. Let's take a look. So this gives us three more people just to get those houses done. But I feel like we need to get... Um, we need to get this open and we need to get the trade set up. So we can kind of see what we got there. Trapos, no, no, I didn't. I needed to rush. Um, we had a timed order. 
So, did not go straight to trade this time. But, once we get some more wood, that's where we're going now. I like usually having the trade post finish right around when we open the first um, glade. That way, if we need to sell stuff to, to be able to break in there. All right, so we're going to accept this one, but we don't want to do it right now because we don't want to hit. We have like one worker that we could shove in here temporarily. In fact, I would kind of like to trade this out for a harpy for now. So I can carry five more. I'll think about it when these come in. Basically, we don't need the lizard in there unless we're hitting blue with someone, which I probably will favor to hit blue with someone after the storm. But uh, we need to get cut into this, so let's go ahead and get our trading posts going. Get this person out to build it. And then as the storm is finishing up, we'll cut into this. Might even be a good idea to pipe this. Uh, I mean, we're going to be going into pie pretty quickly, so I don't want to use up my pie or my uh, my pipes <laughs> on other stuff. Uh, I really hope there's a geyser in here. There is not. Not a geyser, but there is coal production, which is good. Uh, not a great glade to cut into. What do we have here? We have uh, traders are afraid. We're not visit this area. Trading or trade routes are available. When that finishes one impatience point get minus six global resolve for a tablet some barrels and leather um we might still go with that one depending on what resolve is after the storm and then we got the clan hall so that's kind of nice um camps recruit are increased by 100 percent. that's really good on marshlands though but i mean we have some we have plenty of a camp opportunity left so maybe we rebuild that uh we really need a trapper's camp that'd be really nice forger's camp would be good uh yeah no geyser no rich soil so definitely not the the glade that we really needed but a glade nonetheless i suppose glade nonetheless Okay, uh, yeah, it's all right, I guess. Like I said, we'll see what mood is uh, as the storm finishes up. Okay, we got the plus two now. We do have the lizards in there for the extra. This resolve is low, yeah. because we open that glade okay. uh but yeah we need to get the rain mill and we need to get <sighs> to be honest i'm thinking about getting the supplier first instead well, we need production of planks and that can do okay flour until we get enough to get the rain mill so supplier and then pies Um, okay, this is going to be the second drizzle. We also need to get the blight post before the third. Okay, here comes trade. Don't really need the trade, though. Getting the mine set up will be nice. We need a lot of labor. That's what we really need. Start working on getting more stuff in this glade after we get the warehouse up. Uh, anything that makes pottery or bricks yet? We have bricks from the crude workshop. I need to turn that on, actually. Uh, let's use clay only on that for now. But I don't think we have anything for pottery yet, right? Oh, we, um... Um, um, um... Wait, did we... Yeah, we got the furnace for bricks also. So, we can go ahead and get that down for... We're gonna have it for pies either way. Let's just go ahead and place where that's gonna be. Move the woodcutter. 
over here. And we'll get the furnace. And that'll give us better brick production and then eventually those pies that we so desperately need. Hello. Uh, all right. Uh, let's accept our new people. Let's see what our cornerstone is. Baptism of fire. So good. Trade hub is good too. Oh, and so is Ancient Pact. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> this is tough, actually. So Baptism of Fire is very good because as long as you have enough water, you can pump water, you can get lots of blight rot, you can burn it, and it's a way to get rid of hostility, right? And hostility is what the game is all about. Hostility and impatience. Ancient Pact, on the other hand, we can see in every glade, and we can just choose the glades that have, like, geysers and things that we really need to progress. So... Those are both really, really good. And then I like Trade Hub also. And that's unfortunate. Um, I like Mist Piercer better than Ancient Pact. I'm going to take Baptism, actually. Well, yeah, this would be uh, for when we got more people, right? But, yeah. I'm going to take Baptism this time. Let's see what we have offered here. Need fill fulfilled for Jerky and then extra Jerky production. We can do that one for sure. Discover two glades within 150 seconds. That's a pretty easy one to get for 10 tools. This one, uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Brewery, we don't know if we're gonna be offered that again. 25% uh, production from farms, great. Especially if we maybe only find that one rich soil. Yeah, tools are just victory points, yep. That's how I look at them for opening caches. All right. Uh, we don't need the plantation. Biscuits being produced in the kiln and rain mill is an interesting one. Um, Yeah, with this early trade, I'm okay trading for some building material if we have extra to trade for. Um, But at the moment, we don't really have what I would like to part with. So we'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. Uh, so that's going to get done. We will need some more housing. We're going to wait and put it over here. And yeah, we just got lots to do right now. Um, so brick production will be there. That will be plank production. So soon this will be only for fabric. So I would normally pipe that. But since we have the other stuff, I'm going to wait. And we're going to wait on tier two on that. Just the fast swapping a favor from the beta. Oh, there was a there was a fast swap. Beta. All right, let's go ahead and favor them. Get a little bit. Too few hands to do it. Yeah, yeah. We really need more people. So this is one that uh, we can get more people from and extra jerky production. So hopefully we get that one sooner than later. Going saga. Welcome in, Cynic Saga. Thank you for the resub. Twelve months. Twelve months. Thank you, Cynic Saga. All right. So now we're gonna put people on this. We're going to get a minus six, which is going to be unfortunate, but we uh, we got to get it done, so. Minus six, that means we need to turn favor off. And get this wood chopped. Hopefully we get offered the uh, trapper or harvester. Those would both be, both be really nice. Or Forager, rather. The big Forager one. Here's Harvester. There wasn't a... Oh, there was a cooldown. I gotcha. You could just go... All right, yeah. I can see how that would be really overpowered. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, um... Two Homeless. We're gonna put them there when that's done. I... I just go ahead and put a house here. I mean, we need some of these anyway. Yeah, we'll go ahead and throw uh, Harpy House over here. Cover those. Okay. One builder for now is fine. We got humans getting our grain. Go on, Tio. Yeah, early on, one of the things you really, really need is laborers. And you need it throughout the whole game, of course, but laborers are at a premium, especially early. Um, that's why a lot of times I'll just go with whichever 
embarkation has the most people. It's fine for now. All right, we're going to need to get uh, Blight Post going before the third drizzle. So I got to make sure we have enough wood for that. Uh, here comes this. We're going to turn the grain into flour. We're going to stop at 100. Planks, we're going to take that up to 20. We'll turn off water skins for now. Flour, uh, priority on that one. Let's go on SGH. Welcome in. Then over here... Pie is going to be priority for now. Uh, use anything for pie at this stage. And then bricks, just use clay. All right, we don't have anything to make the flower with yet, uh, but we can go ahead and put someone there making planks. So wait until she's done and we'll kick her off there and put her on the other. Okay, storm's coming. And after that storm, we need to get our blight post up. Uh, I kind of want the blight post near where we're putting all of our production. We'll probably put it right here. So let's go ahead and cut some wood over here for more homes. Get this spaced out a little bit. All right. Storm's coming, but don't need any workers on there yet. Jerky you need almost done. Axe crops is going to be a good one to get pretty early, too, once we get ahead on food. There's jerky. Save those codes. I'm going to turn that off after the last storm. Lost and Dumbway, you were on Prestige 12 on the Cursed Forest. You forgot to move more people on the Blight Post. You have two of them. These people start to die. It goes to 2,000 corruption. I've never had that high of corruption. Nowhere near you. It's crazy. Crazy. Harpies in the blue of that house without uh, having to favor. That's pretty good. Pretty good. So we'll leave the lizard in there for the bonus for now. They're about to fall again, though. But we can always favor them, but storm's coming. We might not worry about it. All right. Uh, so I meant to take her out. Okay, take her out of that. Put her in here. Okay, and then hopefully we get that green coming in. Um, and then if we have any other workers, we'll start getting these vegetables. Okay. All right. Um, so making fabric, we need to put another person there. Uh, do we need the builder right now? If not, we'll just shuffle them over here. Where are the lizards? Rain Collector. We're going to move them out of the Rain Collector and Field Kitchen into the Furnace for the Mood. Okay. Get to a different tab to look at Humble Bundle or perhaps do some work. Does that impact your streamer stats? Just curious. If you mute the stream, if you ever mute the stream, then, and it's not the active ta tab, you no longer count as a viewer. The only way to combat that is to right click on the tab itself and click mute tab or mute site rather than the actual mute button on the video player. So that's the only thing is, yeah, if, if it's not the active tab and it's muted, you don't count as a viewer anymore. But if you mute the mute the tab or site instead, you do still count. Yeah, thank you for asking. All right, so um, yeah, we're going to need to get the blight post for the next drizzle, well, for the next storm. Oh, beavers, like you said? Yeah, it's unfortunate. I always like to have beavers. I would love to have beavers in place of the lizards, and we'd have uh, triple coats and triple biscuits. Always good. Always good. Uh, we're going to put bricks as the priority from here now. And we have one worker. We're going to throw them in here. Those little bricks done. Then we'll build the blight post. Once we have that set up. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be starting. Mm. 
Let's turn off grain from this. I can finish that one, but I don't want to use any more grain. Okay, Storm's here. Let's take uh, one woodcutter off. So we're back to hostility one. Blizzards are still in the blue that way. And we need only three more jerky. Beaver houses are awful after the building cost prestige, though. Oh, the, all the extra planks. I guess depending on the map, right? If you're in the Royal Woodlands and you have, like, gobs of, of wood, just endless wood, then a little bit easier than if you're on, like, marshlands or something. All right. Uh, so next goal is uh, now that we have the high production coming in, Let's turn off raw food. And we'll get her helping with the flour. There's the pie. There's the pie. And we need bricks mainly. Okay. So we're going to turn the flour down to the normal. Actually, we'll go planks up. It's just tin. That done. Got some food anyway. And then uh, we'll get the blight post and then we'll get a new hearth over here. Uh, and then we hopefully roll into uh, trappers camp. That would be ideal. And we want to get a mine set up too. That way we can stop burning wood. Okay. Things are looking okay at the moment. Um... And then we need to get our trade going. We're not sure what the other order is going to be, of course. Very well might be. There might be no trade-related ones, but... Hey, Fox Houses. Okay, our next, next batch of people. Three, including two humans. Uh, we'll probably take the humans. Hoping that we find some more rich soil. If we do a third hearth... probably do it here but we could even do the forbidden glade actually a little bit tougher a little bit better rewards though yeah that's true that would put us there for meat treats and then we get plus two jerky production yeah maybe we should take that then I think you're right. Uh, we can actually afford to take them now. Oh, right. Homeless. <laughs> That's why I wasn't doing it. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. It's fine, though. It's fine. Danger! Us and hostility in portion. Oh, uh, uh, dangers and stuff forbidden. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna open that. It's nice to speculate about, but I'm probably not gonna do it. Okay, so blight post, very important we get that set up. And we're gonna limit this to. Let's limit it to six. That should be enough for now. We just need a couple more planks. Are those getting done? Planks are getting done. Okay. So this is going to be a main priority. And then this is going to be after that. All right. Let's see what cornerstone we get. Hey, Sandy. Thank you for the raid. Thank you, Sandy. Very much appreciated. This is coming in from Sandy Stream. Welcome, welcome back. Madam to Saturn versus everything. And we are playing through uh, prestige levels of Against the Storm. We're on to prestige seven now. Yay for snow days. How much snow you got, Shine Moon? Uh, trade routes are worth one more amber. It's good. Plus two to stone production. Resources to sacrifice the hearth, burn 5% longer. Urban root production is increased. I don't usually like rerolling the purple ones, but I might on this one. Like, this one's okay. This one's actually pretty decent if we have a, uh, a map with a lot of stone production, but we don't. Um, This one can be okay, especially with, like, temple burning. We don't know that we're going to get access to the temple. I'm going to use a reroll. Small press. Excellent. Well worth the reroll. 
Yeah, well worth the reroll. Because the storm again, so we're on our first run of the day. Yeah, prestige seven. Darkest dungeons kicking your butt. Whoops, whoops. Free oil, yeah. Yeah, it's so good. It's crazy it's a purple one, honestly. So gain three oil for every tin flower. We are producing flour and we're we're living off of uh, pie. So we're going to be making flour forever. Uh, free fuel. Temple or no temple. That is a really, really good pickup. Um, so with this visitor, we we might end up... Let's, let's look at the orders because we might end up wanting the ancient tablet saved. Uh, no, we got a little bit of snow the other day, maybe about an inch and a half, but that's the only snow we've had so far this year. So some years we get a, a fair amount, but usually only like one or two good snows a year on the north side of Indianapolis. Open four abandoned caches. We don't know if we'll ever see four. Uh, we also don't know if we're going to have a leisure building. Even if we don't produce our own ale, we can buy ale. We know we can buy ale for sure. We have to have a leisure building to put it in. Um, four caches. How many do we have available on the map right this second? One, two. So, and we would need tools for that too. Uh, or rocks. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I do want to open one more glade. So we have two. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, if we needed one more point to win, this gives us the option just to open more glades and find them. You're more likely to get one or the other. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Let's get so later today. They're off decided to close, even though there's nothing on the ground yet. Uh, burn at least 18 Blight Rusis. We do want to get to that one. Hopefully we find a geyser. Hopefully we find a geyser. All right. Uh, I wouldn't mind trading for some building material to get a jump start on some of this stuff going on here. So, uh, crystallize do. I know we can turn that into tools at some point or whatever, but, uh, I trade it. Do we need barrels in this run? Uh, we're not going to go... Well, Pickle Goods is always good, especially Lizards is a plus 8 on Lizards, so holding on to those might be all right. That's a lot of Pickle Goods for just Lizards. Uh. Oh, oh, you're talking to, to Shine. I got you. Three foot drift in your driveway, Manitoba. Oof. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um... We have infinite clay, so getting two pots would be really nice. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay getting rid of these. To get us a, a good head start. On some building material that we really need. There we go. Now we can get the light post done. We can get this done. We can get another house over here. Uh, including, including one of these. The blight post will be coming online. This will be coming online. Okay. Uh, and then this building was the clan hall, right? So that's extra from camps. That's going to really pay off if we end up getting the trapper or the forger camp. But at the moment, we don't have either. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, okay. Lizards on here to get that made. Keep them happy. And I think I will turn in the jerky right away. Low on fuel. Yeah. Uh, where's the flower production? Okay, down on planks. Okay. Uh, we also want to get that pack of crops going. So maybe the small forger camp soon. God, our fuel is really scary. And I'm opening another one of these. Uh, I think mine is probably where we need to go. Eventually, we'll have a lot of oil, and it won't really matter as much, but matters right now. Matters right now. Um, for a harpy house here. And what do we 
Harpy 2. We'll go ahead and get the other Harpy House. That Hearth will wait right now to fuel it. Yeah, the Ancient Tablet, yeah, I know. I've been looking at it because we don't know if we're going to need it for, for the orders, right? It's getting less and less likely the more we go. But, I mean, the main thing I... Well, I might, it might be worth just trading it for the oil or coal right now, just to be sure. Which would... Yeah, that's what I was saying is I'm opening another hearth and I probably shouldn't be. But as long as we get the mine down and we have oil coming in, like, for free, I think we'll be okay. Setting up the kill box and the harpy is done. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I might actually trade this just to make sure. Make sure we get through this, no problem. Yeah. I think you're right. Plus, coal has the longer burn time. Let me double check. Oh, yeah, coal is 47. So, uh, 0.25 each. Pretty similar. Pretty similar. Uh, sea marrow actually burns really well, too. Isn't sea marrow better than coal? I'm misremembering. It's, uh, it's the same as far as burn length. Okay. 0. 0.52 versus 0. 0.42. All right. Hey, Ram, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you, hey, Ram. Long time, man. You and I are getting, getting serious, getting serious. Uh, thank you, hey, Ram. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it just to be, uh, just to be safe for this. All right, got him in the blue, in the blue. Here we are on the can. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, okay, we do need more workers. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Explorer's Lodge. Plus one resolve for uh, salvaging or destroying a building. There's more oil production, but we're getting oil for free. There's a building we can salvage um, or rebuild. So it's basically going to go ahead and give us a plus one resolve. But it's going to take three workers perpetually, right? Also, it would give us the option to get the other place to tier three. It's not even tier two yet, though. Manufactory. Uh, I don't find it super good. Crystallized dew is generally a good thing, but not as good as this without foxes. Of course, we can use it for metal, you know, anything that needs metal. Let's wait on this one. Nothing there we need urgently. Okay, we gotta get the flower going again. Um, We have a little bit more workers now, so we can pull that once we get wood going. Let's get these guys getting more wood again. In fact, that's where I should probably put the extra workers right now. Okay. Do, yeah, that's what I said. Anything that needs metal, so. Or the things that need metal, like tools, yeah. I don't have uh, any way to make them at the moment anyway. Okay, where are all our lizards right now? Are they anywhere that's not getting the mood? Woodcutter, so we'll take... One out of wood, woodcutter. Uh, actually, we need to get this to eight people. So, it's going to get it to seven, unfortunately. This one's at 14. Um, as much as I hate to move this, I think I'm going to. We don't have five pieces of wood to move it. Never mind. Uh, we might want to chill out with jerky for a little bit then. Mm. Yeah, we got pie coming in. Uh, we'll chill out on the jerky. Have her finish that one, and then we'll we'll kick her out of there for now. I play there, billions. Yep. Uh, you can look at my hardest difficulty, no pause. There, billions run on the YouTube channel if you want. Every mission is on there. I played. Uh, what was that? Maybe two years ago, I did a a run where hardest difficulty, no pause, all missions. It is up on YouTube on the main channel. Or you just go on YouTube and type in Animers Everything There Billions. You'll probably find it. Show where you guys working. I do, yeah. And tab for water. Yeah. 
But if I was going to assign from here anyway, it does the same thing, so. It does the same thing. All right, so we'll take her out of there for now. Really need that flower going. And let's... We gotta get that mine. Actually pretty important. They call it a mine. Oh, I left a single tree there. That not really there? What's going on there? Oh, it's marked. Okay, it was already marked. It was just like I had it paused between, <laughs> between when it when it's making that uh that kind of see through graphic. The tree. Uh, I know I moved the camp away, but I was trying to click it, and I had it paused like here where you couldn't hardly tell it was it was already. So. Yeah, yeah, I I know. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, I know these hotkeys. It's just a habit to go in some of them and not others. I don't know why. It's just how it is. Yeah, yeah, I got that one too. So we'll get those done. Okay, clearance is coming. Uh, I don't need... Are we up to... No, we're at four, almost there. Corruption, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, but it's just, it's just habit. Yeah, I know those hotkeys, but it's just habit. Uh, Alright, there we go. Mine's going to be pretty important. Uh, so the next one that will actually give us people. Getting two more lizard houses. We haven't even started up our trade stuff yet, but we haven't had ac uh, excess... Um, pardon. Uh, excess material yet. What's building we can repair? That's the, the clan hall. So it's extra production or greater yields from camps. Insert the alt F4, yeah. <laughs> the classic. The internet classic. in there temporarily yeah blueprint so you can collect a few at once and look for synergies for this one sometimes yeah if i don't need like absolutely need one of these sometimes i'll save in case we get a uh, suddenly a bunch of amber that i can re-roll and hit something we really need um or if i'm planning on opening another glade because i don't know how many times that i've like accepted something like an alchemist hut or druid's hut and then you open a glade and it's in there for repair and it's like well christ i should not should not have done that but there was no way to know you know so one worker they're not being used right now so chop some wood storm's coming that coal is going to help tremendously yeah there we go i really would like to find some more rich soil i'm kind of regretting not taking that um ancient knowledge thing how much we're doing the corruption choices Perks and stuff based on that. Uh, yeah, but it, it you're using um, meta progression stuff, so I'd rather not, unless we really need it. Like, we might use it on the steel map, you know? Uh, there's two different perks that you can see inside. Yeah, there's um, uh, Mist Piercer, which, one, which is the one I like, which you can see inside Glades, but opening Glade causes impatience. And then there's the Ancient one or whatever, where you can see inside, but opening it kills someone. So... But, yeah. No, no. Uh, so, what I'm talking about, if we're talking about the same thing, I'm talking about the Forsaken Altar um, on our stones. Are you talking about something else? The red pips? Or are you talking about something else? Those ones take meta progression. So, I'd rather not use them unless we really need it to progress because it's going to hinder our future runs by making the meta progression unlock slower. But we might be talking about different things. Lizards are coming down now that we're uh, we're not doing jerky. Are you talking about the question mark events instead? Oh, okay. 
But yeah, the Forsaken Altar ones are what I was talking about with the ones that cost meta progression. All right, storm's coming. We actually are getting some fuel now. Uh, do we end up getting this? Yeah, we're going to need to fight Eruption during this, so... Let's take a woodcutter out and put him in the blight post. Those... Okay, I got you. Yeah, we're talking about two different things at first. <laughs> two, three loyal vans. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, those type of things. I uh, usually don't accept those ones because you're not guaranteed to get either. Like the empathy ones, usually it's nice if you've gotten empathy glades. And they're usually pretty easy if you've gotten them. But you're not guaranteed to get them, unfortunately, you know? Turn coats back on. Harpies, let's see. All things are possible to the great pie. <laughs> Might be right. All right, get that flower done again. Um, and pipe that. Oh, right, I have the um, uh, the thing for burning cysts. I completely forgot. So we need to be using this water. Actually, bit thing didn't go perma just really give a map, but I haven't seen any core stones due to it. I think you guys gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Everything inside the the maps are everything inside the maps are contained for that map, unless we're talking about um, when you spin meta progression on the forsaken altars, which you know it impacts the the world because you're uh, you're using up some of your your resources. Plus Adam is flying through the game. Yeah, we haven't lost yet, you know, but haven't lost any prestige levels yet, but I'm sure it's coming probably today. Things are definitely getting, uh, getting more and more difficult. All right, so we'll probably accept this one for the pipes. This has more people, but it has more harpies as well. Um, and we got some places for, for lizards to keep happy, so. How does losing prestige levels work? If you fail against the storm, you go down. No, no, you just stay at the same level. Yeah. Just stay at the same one. We just haven't lost any of the... I mean, we haven't lost a prestige... A map playing on prestige yet. I'm sure it's coming, but... Not yet. Uh, and one more lizard house, huh? Juicer. Jinx, welcome back. Okay, so now we're pumping those. Um, Even during the storm, we can... Oh, she's going to get there anyway. Okay, let's wait to accept that. Uh, and then I think with the extra wood that we're saving now, we need to get the blight post. Yeah, we need to get that done. And then after that, we will uh, we'll switch some stuff around. Are we just thinking of Viceroy? Is whatever you're having uh, as always my thing is whatever you're having fun with right but you know that all right there we go got some more resolve storm's going through thank you fast dick thank you for watching glad you think so glad you think so uh so getting coat production is another important step that we want to get to here we have two races that use coats Ready to go, prestige difficulties? I, I don't, don't know actually. I know the further away from the citadel you get, the higher the base difficulty that you're allowed to choose. Like you can't go all the way out to the corner and be on pioneer, for instance. So possible, but I, I don't know. I've not gotten there on on 1.0. I, I don't think I've gotten there at all, to be honest with you. All right, so coats. Um, We need some cloth. I don't have people in here anymore. Is that our only cloth production right now? Yeah, we've got bricks that we can produce here. 
We need to get another lizard in there. Um, and then we got our planks being produced here. So this is just for cloth right now. Okay. Still needs some prestige. I think the last two of them needs prestige 10 or 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't, uh, yeah, okay. Like the Adam, 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 one or whatever. Actually, we'll leave him in there for the mood boost. We're so close. I allow jerky again. We'll probably get there. But there's extra. Man, I'd love to get the ranch, but we even supply the ranch right now. No, no, no. Flowers coming in. That means more oil as well. Now we got the cloth coming. Got plenty of pies. Uh, do we have a lizard on something that's not giving him bonus? No, we don't. So we could accept these. Yeah, we're into now. Let's see what uh, what all we got offered first, though. Food discovered resources have plus five, plus fifteen. Those are good. Family gratitude. I think family gratitude kind of sucks. It's it's one of the ones that I. I don't think I've ever taken it. Like water. My favorite dressing. Uh, dressing on like a normal salad. I usually like vinaigrette type stuff. Uh, if you're talking about like more rich kind of dressings, usually French. Ooh, lumber tax. Hmm. Back to nature is kind of interesting in this one because we only have 11 rich soil. And we're getting... So that means more food, but it also means more flour, which means more oil. I would normally take lumber tax every time, but back to nature might be a good one. We have to be... And we have a... We have a... Uh, a trader here. He's not selling any food related, right? No. He also has a hostility reduction. Hmm. Pickle goods, usually one cause the other. Cause the other. Yeah, I guess that's true. If you don't have any other... If you're not making your own, like, pots or barrels or water skins. Which buildings would you say benefit the most from rain? Uh, generally, for me, it's food production. Uh, and then uh, things like the... Uh, the workshop, which is producing all of your your building materials, but I find myself piping the um, the food production buildings the most. Hmm. I hate that we would go down to no food. I would probably need to call the next trader immediately. Uh, we do have yeah, because like we don't we wouldn't have any food coming in immediately. I would have to get this built. Yeah, that's a really big risk right now. But I do like the idea of this making uh, 12 grain per per slot. Too bad this isn't a trader that has food. It's also too bad I don't have 17. We got to get our trade going. That even helps us with trade, right? Because then we can make packs out of it. Packs of crops and everything else. Uh... Yeah, it's risky. Lumber tax is always good. And I'm going to risk this. I, I probably shouldn't. Low on food. Okay. So let's allow them to eat raw. Can I get 17 for this? Probably not. But I want to make another uh, hearth at some point. I can sell the incense. That's fine. But that's going to get us nowhere near... Yeah, it feels bad. Like, even if I sell nearly everything. Like, yeah. Oh, well. Can't do anything. Uh, we'll call the next trader and buy food instead. Let's see what the order is, too. Risky for the biscuits. That's right. Point Harmony is, like, a guaranteed thing that we could do. It's expensive to do, but then we can tear them down afterwards, so. Um... I take this for the food. Normally the pipes would be the way to go, but we just need enough food and to the next trader or until we get some wood for this. 
Oh, wait, not turn this in. I don't need the extra stuff for it right now. And the higher the... So basically, impatience is good for you. As long as it's not going to cause you to lose, impatience lowers hostility. It also means uh, more, more mouse to feed right now. Yeah, I think we're going to have to um, throw this down. more harpies let's do all the game like the end game uh this is a roguelike game i made a i actually made a video that goes over it because it's, it's pretty detailed but it's it's edited and time stamped if you type exclamation what I, there's a short video i made that goes over it but it's basically a roguelike uh colony builder settlement management game where instead of one big perpetual it's exclamation what exclamation what uh it's literally called what is against the storm uh, but instead of building huge, perpetually increasing size cities, you build lots of small settlements. A, host a hostility creature. Uh, White Death. White Death. Thank you for the $15 donation. Thank you, White Death. Very much appreciated. Uh, I think I have to go with the extra, extra vegetables as much as I would rather have this stuff. And we got to get that wood ASAP. In fact, uh, even without the rep right now. So I come in. That's true. I do have the five meat per minute from the timed order. So we'll probably be fine. Probably be fine. Iron patience is always lower hostility. Yes. Yep. So basically, you don't want to turn in orders unless you need the reward for it. You're going to lose without turning it in. You're going to win from turning it in. Uh, or you need to get to a new blueprint because you're out of building. So you actually, uh, higher impatience is good because it lowers hostility. Like even no cornerstone, it just does it baseline. See, Queen's impatience uh, is minus 60 at the moment. Uh, that's true. We could also look at the caches. That one is not one with food. This does have 30 porridge. So we can also just open that. I like saving these uh, for wind conditions, but if people start starving, we can crack it open. Okay. Also, uh, we get we got to coat production. So let's put the harpies in there. Uh, we'll put all three in there. Actually, yeah, it's fine for right now. Uh, we don't need everyone in the blight post. We'll take two of you guys out. I know it's going to lower mood, but we need the builders. Get that done. Okay. Let's go to element 80. Welcome in. Yeah, you actually, um, that's one of the things that helped me the most when I was new to the game. Newer to the game is not accepting everything immediately. Like, you don't want to accept orders all right away, generally speaking. You don't always want to accept newcomers as soon as they come um, and every single time, you know. Blueprints, saving them until you see what's around you so you can choose um, having more knowledge going into what you're choosing. There's lots of things like that that really, uh, really can pay off. Okay, low on food. Yeah, don't I know it. Uh, all right, so we have pie coming in again. Let's turn off raw food. Look at that. 12 grain on harvest. That's going to be incredible. Uh, meat production doesn't help us right now. I don't think that plus one meat production goes to the per minute things, if I remember correctly. Otherwise, I would take it. Okay, uh, we don't have any flour to be made, so we're going to take the harpies out and... Throw another lizard in here. That's also full right now, but uh, what kind of rain are we maxing out on? So we can turn this off. We want to leave that on the furnace. What else would I want to pipe right now? We're not using green water for anything yet. The only thing is field kitchen, but we don't... We're not using the field kitchen right now, and we don't really have a lot of wood. We might do it anyway. Play orders right away either. Yeah, that's, that's literally what started the conversation. Yeah, you might have come in. Um, you might have come in like right as I finished explaining it. But yeah, exactly. That's what started that conversation. Is me explaining me explaining that. Oh, by the way, um, Oko, Oko, Oko. All right. Uh, so now that we have the extra flower stuff coming in, we can probably start getting our trade economy going. It's kind of the latest we've we've done that for quite some time. We're getting crystallized dew from the trees in this, so we don't necessarily need to be producing our own, and we don't really have herbs, so... 
Um, Explorer's Lodge would be okay if we get a Trapper. We already, we already have oil coming in for free. Um, although, having guaranteed oil with that extra grain or the extra meat we come in might be nice. I'll take it. It's more likely we need more oil production than it is other. Uh, there's the monastery. So I think we take the monastery. Yeah, monastery we will take. Uh, and we want to get that down right away. We'll just throw it in here in case we want to get this to um, tier 3 at some point. 30 bricks, huh? 30 bricks. Uh, okay. So we're going to put uh, brick production back on here. And we could pipe this. Get that done. Let's see. This game have human skin? No. <laughs> no, there's no humane leather. First I was like, yeah, they're humans. Uh, no. Cannibalism? There is a cannibalism perk, yep. There's a cannibalism perk where you get food when someone dies. Uh, okay. Man, our, our wood is just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Missing the beavers, that's for sure. Missing the beavers. Um, Getting that up before the storm would be real, real nice. Then it will allow us to put more woodcutters on, too. I feel like 10 minutes level has skyrocketed with the new knowledge. All right, uh, do we need the extra worker? No, 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 we don't. So... Yeah, we just don't have the wood right now for that. Go on the flower, put people back on there. We're still getting some rep there. Uh, this building is really important. It's actually more important than the vegetable building, so... Set it up there. We'll get the bricks pumped out. I could switch over to bricks here, but food is such a such a problem. Sorry to prefer harpies in your main hearth unless you have no. I think harpies are actually the generally the best one if you don't need any hostility reduction. Right now, I'm using um, the lizard to get them into the blue, but the harpies plus five carry capacity is probably the best if you don't need any kind of mood increase. And then after that is probably on the, on the higher sieges, I would say foxes. Hearth bonuses for me are probably harpies and foxes are kind of top tier. And then human and lizard are okay. And then the beaver one is kind of meh. General. I mean, the beaver one can be okay, but it's I feel like it's the worst by, by a pretty big margin. Right under everyone else. Yeah. Uh, the humans can be a little bit okay on, like, seal maps, where you're do where you're gonna run out of ways to get impatience down, but even then, probably better off using, using foxes, usually. Okay, we have all that made. So, take you guys off there for a little bit. Um, unless we're gonna try keeping the blue. I need to cut more wood, though. So, even if they go out of the blue, or we have to favor, that's fine. Bring them back in. We're going to favor them still. You get a beaver in your hearth and something has usually gone horribly wrong. Yeah, yeah, right. So, definitely seems like the beaver one needs a little bit of a change. I don't know. A little bit of a change would be nice. Okay, so we'll get uh, them getting that. And we got the storm coming up. Uh, this one will have probably a little bit of blight. We'll switch some lizards over there when the time comes. We might turn that in afterwards. I think as our fuel gets better, we'll open up and go to third hearth. I'm really hoping we get um, Trapper out of that. That'd be excellent. OK. 
Okay, let me look at this here. I for everyone. Hi, hi, hi. All right, time to switch back to flower production. Uh, we have a harpy not getting a bonus. Yeah, there we go. And we want to pump that with water. Okay. He wins the best for hearth. Slow down the queen is powerful. Lizards, let's pull you out of that woodcutter. Throw you in the blight post. Okay. And we still don't have it found a uh, pump anywhere. Uh, geyser. Lowest tier hearth bonus with beavers as you can sometimes screw yourself over by keeping patience too low. Yeah, I don't find the human one that great either. Harpies and foxes for me are definitely like the top, hippie top. I think anyway. Okay, we got meat coming in again. We finally have some wood. So we're gonna turn jerky back on. So we're gonna limit it though. Okay. And then honestly, I'm just going to uh, hide the kitchen. Favorite raincoats or umbrellas you have to go out in the rain? Umbrella. I don't think I've ever owned a raincoat. Actual raincoat. Don't think so. Wooden tool. Hmm. Raincoats get clammy. Let's finally get this tier two. I should have already done that, but... Other things are going on, so. Uh, we can go ahead and accept them, I guess. Homeless. We could even get that to 14. Uh, what do we have for specialized housing? I have, like, no... No bricks. Very little of most things at the moment. Maybe we can deactivate that. Actually, we might want to leave them in there just for the mood boost right now. We'll see. Okay, Harpies, are you in anywhere that you're not getting a bonus from? Forger can't put you back in. Artisan. Forger, get the humans in there instead. Oh, um... We still need for this bricks, okay. We need to get more rain use, so I think it's time to open uh, another glade. I think so. Um And the hearth placement for that is going to be terrible. So not really ideal. I don't really want to open the forbidden one. Um, yeah, we'll probably open this one. Do we want to go ahead and do that now? Been hype. 
I mean, the mood boost, the lizards with them into the warehouse crawling. Yes, I, I, I understand. But I guess, I guess they're not in the blue anymore, but I'll probably favor after storm. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's cut in here. Oh my god. Um. So now, oh man, this is the latest I think I've ever made this. Uh, the makeshift post. We have the supply. Okay. Here we go. I think I'm gonna accept this for those people. Let's see what we have. Let's we'll do herb production, herbs and roots production increase. Traders will have one more perk or blueprint. Gain two packs for every 10 herbs. Um, yeah, I'm gonna reroll, I think. Storm, currently a very addicted to the game. It is very addicting. No builder, I, yes, I know. I can see the no builder icon everywhere, but I, I was okay with it. Uh, The second hearth is level one, yep. Yeah. Dazzler, 10% faster on Glade events. Gain one production yields for all packs of goods, okay. I guess that's the only one I'm going to take. But yeah, it was... It was... By design, I set those things up, but... I was fine with no one building it yet. Um... Yeah, I don't care about that. Alright. Alright. Hopefully we find a geyser in here. Hopefully we find a geyser in here. But yeah, the second hearth has been at uh, tier one for a long time, right after it was made. Let's see what we get here. Um, we don't have anything to turn that into tools on our own yet, so we might just go ahead and build. Or, uh, or spin it on some stuff here. Or like then small or dangerous glades. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's any weighting of where they... Um, how's the game? The game is very good. Yeah, if you want to see my um, thoughts on the game, what it's about, exclamation what, tap exclamation what, now either the chats, uh, you'll get that. Tahitian, every the five months. Have fun today. Thank you. Um, how are we doing on pipes, actually? Hang on. We have four. So we have enough, to, if we get a geyser, to make the geyser, but not to automate it. So I might want to go ahead and get two of these, so at least we can get a robot in there. Uh, six if I want to get both tiers. So you know what? We'll just do six, just in case. And if we don't find one, then we might have to put another rain collector down. Let's see. Some pipes as you have free metal from the trees. Uh, I don't know that we have anywhere. Well, I mean, we have the crappy crude workstation to make them, I suppose. So if it's not making anything else. Let's just set that one to, uh, let's set it to six. Play, but trade routes are OP. Always try to have some. Yes, I know. Yeah, I'm. Yes. <laughs> I literally say when I put this down, this is the latest I've ever gotten the makeshift post. I It would be very surprising to me if someone made it all the way to Prestige 7 without having lost and didn't use trade routes. I'd be, I'd be shocked, but yes. Thank you. I know how important uh, trade routes are, yeah. Uh, and they're very synergetic with a lot of other things. Hey, the Trapper's Camp. There we go. Mark is also kind of nice for the carry capacity, but I've been waiting on Trapper's Camp, so. But yes, trade is, uh, is super good. We just, uh, we've been a little bit behind in this one, most of this, and so I... Do it a little bit different. Hey, look at that! More rich soil. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, very, very good. Of course, of course. Um, 
He just now gears, maybe the next person. We also could get rid of the small forge camp if we really need to, but I think we're okay. So am I streaming it? Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. Yeah, I think it says in the title uh, how far we've made it. I don't take offense by it or anything like that, no worries. I'm not gonna open the Forbidden Glades. Uh, plus three global resolve to everyone forever is pretty friggin' good, but I'm not gonna open it. We don't know that we'll ever have the building for brawling. Um, T, we can just straight up buy if we really need to. So, and have 22 harpies. We can get there. Trade OP, you think it's actually needed after Viceroy? Yeah, trading is super, super friggin' good. You can win just off trading alone in a lot of cases, yeah. Uh, so we can take the minus six, or we can make the nine packs of provisions, pump that out really quick. Um, we don't necessarily need to. We can, we could eat the minus six for the bonuses here. I think I'm just going to loot it. I think I'm just going to loot it. Well, there's our endless supply of oil. Uh, you know what? I really need... Uh, parts really need it because I need another warehouse over here. Mm. In Glade order today, got lucky with the events in the freaking game. Glade one was easily saw, and the other was a rain punk engine that exploded in a huge radius. <laughs> we'll favor them temporarily. It's gonna uh, lower the hostility by 100, which is gonna be really nice. Uh, and then we got the bakery, which we we already have two star pies, so we probably will just salvage that too. Uh, do we have humans? Go. All right. Uh, so we need more workers again. Which of these gives more? Complete three glade events. We're about to get to a second. We need to get the 20 packs of crops done finally too, but we've got much that we need to do. Uh, let's take a look. What do I not need people in right now? Uh, we can turn this... Okay, we turn that back off. All right. We don't need all four in the mine. So we can free up two there to go to work. Uh, we'll deactivate that. More important that we get our a warehouse over here. Okay. Humans only reveal the first... Yeah, the closest... One of the closest ones to you, not all of them. All of them would be incredibly, incredibly powerful. Yeah, that would, that would be... That would be an insane bonus. Amazing bonus. Uh, okay. The so small warehouse... Oh, we have enough for that one. Okay. Uh, where are we going to put the hearth? I'm going to have to go ahead and build housing early. I was wanting to put a hearth over here first. And then do housing, but... Uh, the spot we wanted has a cache. 17. All right, tier two. Uh, we can get down to tier two. Great mine for more ore. Definitely want to do that. The uh, weather game against the blustery wind gale. <laughs> Sounds like a clone. All right, back to revision. Uh, we are going to allow everything for that one, and we want to get this up to. We really need to get that going. Need more workers, man. Uh, how much? Five minutes, so like basically into the first third of the storm. Four caches. So that'll put us at two glade events there. Quite enough. Yeah, we need workers. Workers. 
by the risk of rain in this place. There is a risk of rain, all right. That is for sure. Risk of rain, indeed. Uh, do we have... Yeah, we have the purging fire. Okay. A guarantee of rain. Guarantee of rain. Trade, did you know that you can surround the flooded streets mod in the first seconds of the storm? Not active yet. The small gray color. You know, Ritz? Uh, no, I don't think I knew that. Don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know we don't have a builder. Um, let's go ahead and favor them for this a little bit for the storm. I should have done that already, but I. Not. All right, finally getting trade going. Uh, oil. We have infinite oil. We don't have over time. We really want to get these places to um the next tiers. I don't think we have bonuses this time, but either way, um, so it'd be nice to get to the twelve. Fifty two is a lot of oil. We can swing it though. I mean, as we get this um flower production really rolling we'll have infinite oil so all right we'll do it next trader is the ancient will come right after the storm and then i think we'll salvage this as well almost done with that and then right before the storm we'll put uh we'll put those in there Field kitchen's pumping. Okay. Good flowers coming in. Pies coming. Excellent, excellent. Good to always prioritizing orders that give you more people on higher prestige levels recently, and it helps a lot. Yeah, that's what I did early too. Yeah, that's why I was looking through here. Like, as you can see, these ones all gave people yeah extra workers. Um, it's really good. I think I like to get to about like 40, 40, 42 people seems perfect for a three hearth setup. Why did you make trade routes very expensive during storms? Oh, I got you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, did, I didn't remember. I didn't remember which one it was. Okay. Uh... Still have some homeless, but I'll see if we get tools for the next trade. Uh, meats. I should have some wine too. Interestingly. Wow, that's so so little, so little. Uh, so we got 12 coming from them. Let's just get these trades in really quick before the trader gets here. Probably take the humans on that one. Yeah, I'm going to bust this open. Yeah, we don't have any um, tablet orders. You're five already. Five. Very much you give for marshlands. Always seem to lack wood. Uh, yeah, so prioritizing other means of fuel in general is very, very strong. And I would even go and turn off wood. Uh, try to get something like that and then turn off wood on places where you really don't need it. Also, don't be afraid to buy building supplies. Like buying planks so you're not turning a lot of your wood into planks. would be very, very good. Um, but yeah, get trade set up as always, and then try to find some other kind of, uh, um, production of fuel. Like even turning wood into coal is more efficient than just burning straight up wood. Uh, but getting to something like oil production, um, you know, meat to oil or grain to oil or whatever you have, it varies so much depending on what you roll in your game, you know? So it's, it's not always, a. Uh, 
do this because you don't always have access to whatever this is but basically like you said you just need to get to other another fuel source a different fuel source get six workers get that done um i'm on one right now okay. two level three hearts so that works too really yeah i i usually do one level two two level ones or all or three level twos Sometimes you go to the third one, but it just depends, I guess. And it's not like a fast and always true thing for me. All uh, right, no tools, but what do we have here? Minus storm duration, we don't want. Clearance duration, excellent. So this makes years take longer. Clearance is a good season anyway, and then years taking longer means less hostility over any given, or, uh, over given time. Um... What do we get offered here? Hey, we got that one again. I actually do like the mushroom seedlings too, but I think I am just going to take the lumber tax this time. I'm not going to pass it up. Mushroom seedlings is good though. We have so much um, so much food production now that we have the double double grain. Playing this, always love the rail guides too. Yeah, I really have enjoyed this. I won't be able to play it as the main game for very long, unfortunately, because it gets a third of the viewership as RimWorld, and, you know, RimWorld pays the bills, but I think after we push through and finish, um, finish, like, Ascension 20, hopefully, it'll probably end up becoming, like, a split-stream game occasionally. All right. Cold mines is your usually go to currently winning P2 game exact biome plus one coal production. Nice, nice, nice. I think we were actually offered to plus two coal production in this one, and I didn't have money at the time. Um. Okay, what do we have here? Trade jerky, I don't want to do that. Uh, we definitely will trade the bars that we're getting. Oh, I'm going to hold on to. We're getting extra vegetables right now, too. What do we, so we need eight, no, 15. Oh, perfect. All right, there we go. Small, small forger's camp. Um, So more vegetables. I guess we can grab those. There's a tool shop. Uh, that's actually really good in this map because we're getting um, we're getting bars from the trees. Pickle goods for the lizards would be nice. It's a plus eight for lizards. We got plenty of vegetables coming in. So plus eight to lizards or the ability to make our own tools from the trees. I think we take tools. Triple skewers is kind of interesting too. Um... Nah, there's only one person that needs skewers, so. Red and blue bars the bottom. Uh, so I'll go over that too, but I do have, um, um, I do have a, a video that I made that goes over, like, what, it's called What is Against the Storm, and it goes over all the little systems and for, to make it easier to watch streams and stuff of it as well. So if you want to type exclamation what, there's a video that goes over it all. But basically, the red bar is impatience. Uh, if impatience gets full, you lose. And the blue bar is reputation, and if the blue bar gets full, you win. So it's basically a winning bar, a losing bar, so to say. There's there's other minutiae about it for sure, but at, uh, at the basics, that's what it is. Where's Ubisoft? Light tools on this biome. Yeah, yeah, because of the crystallized dew. That's what, I was, that's what I'm leaning towards as well. We have workers now too, so. Uh, okay. So let's get this planned out. Um, X hearth here. Um, and the bakery we don't need, so we're going to break that down to... And then we need a, um, small warehouse. I didn't get the humans moved over here in time, that's unfortunate. Just forgot. Just forgot.
Uh. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And we'll get the houses built around there too. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I have a whole video about it with timestamps, edited video. It's a new type of video I'm trying. Explanation what? If you type that in either of the two chats, uh, it'll get you the link to it if you haven't seen it. But let me know what you think about that style of video as well, because I I would like to uh, make more of them if, if it does well enough, you know? All right, so we could turn that in. Uh, we don't need to right now, though. Uh, binary Cannibal. Thank you for the five months. And War, thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Cannibal. Thank you, War. Catch me live. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> five month resub. Finally catching you live. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, tools, we will make those until... Uh, let's go to 24 because we have some things for that now. Uh, pipes we're going to do just till six. Barrels are going to turn off right now. Uh, and then we will turn pipes off at this one. Really would love to get a ranch. Uh, we're just not producing enough stuff to make the pie as often as we would like. Oh crap! Um, he already left. We might call him in early, get the trappers camp going, so we can get pie going again. Uh. We okay calling early? Yeah, I think so. What's this trade route? Oh. I mean, I could... No, it's fine. We could get a second farm there, too. Alright, so parts uh, we need... Five at the moment. So at least three to get that going. I can click on the right friggin' thing. Yeah, our trades aren't come, coming in yet, so to get there would be kind of rough. Um, yeah, I, I got the oil selling, but it sells for like basically nothing. So, man, it'd be rough to get there. We can sell, we're making our own tools now. Yeah, we can sell some of the tools. That would get us there pretty easily. Okay, and then that allows us to get the trapper going. On oh, food, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um... Get roots out of that too. And I'll take five more parts which you can't do. Uh all right. Trapper, this is gonna help a lot. We're off of there. We gotta get these houses set up. You guys almost done with that? Kind of. Kind of. Monastery staffed, okay.
stats of the trees. Right click isn't doing it, just hovering over does it. If you mean what they what they give. Okay, we're gonna need to cut blight root. We're at 111, that's that's fine. Yep, that's what we Alright, almost done with that. And we'll get the other hearth there. Uh do we have everything we need for the other hearth? Yeah, we have everything. Sure is right click. Yeah, right click isn't doing anything. Just hovering over and waiting shows, but right click isn't doing anything. It's, it could be a setting, too. There's so many little settings like that. Uh, it wouldn't be bad to rebuild this now, actually. With the Traverse Camp and those big nodes. We have the stuff to do it. Alright, new trade. I think exclusivity is a good thing for streaming platforms. Feels like buying big names was it? As it works. Uh, I mean, it, it's not exclusive anymore, so I'm, I'm very fortunate to that, but um, exclusivity overall is anti-streamer, right? So it's it can be good for the platform in some cases, but it's bad for the streamer in almost all cases. Uh, lowers the choices and whatnot. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to multi-stream now for sure. For sure. That so we get this built. Only takes eight though. Return this in. I regret it. Big meaty nodes. With a greenhouse, if we have enough drizzle water, that gives us herbs. Uh, we can use that for biscuits. There's the kiln. A little late for the kiln. Um. Also just gives us more ingredients for pie, so I think I'm gonna go with that. So greenhouse. So do we have to clear some of this off? I don't think I've ever actually used the greenhouse. Use drizzle water to produce mushrooms, herbs, regardless of the season, must be placed on fertile soil. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, that we have to we have to remove those, right? So So I'll remove those. This should only remove the farm fields, right? Not the rich soil beneath. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. That'll be a good one. Need more cloth. Um, I don't have anything for fabric right now. Uh, harvest can't. We can't make that because we don't have the parts. Tool shop. Uh, we don't have labor for that. Well, we will. We actually kind of do, but. Hmm. We're in these caches. How about I manage to keep Tostili so low? Um, we are currently using the monastery and then also uh, just turning in some some orders recent or not orders. Uh, but yeah, mainly the monastery. Monastery and multiple hearths. Uh and burning blight roots also lowers our hostility, because we got the bonus for that. Hmm. See game after they implemented the greenhouse and the clay pitch. I think they're awesome. You can saturate them. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have a geyser, so release and you're obsessed now. Awesome, yeah. Glad you heard about it. Glad you heard about it. So I need the fabric. Need fabric. Actually, we have plenty of water in there, so. Um. Yeah, I don't have any thing to make the fabric with right now. Um, cut some of those trees at a chance to get plant fiber. Okay. 
I have seven, okay. All right, new trade popping up uh, for bricks. We can trade the bricks. We have some extra right now. Where are we at with Timberhold? They still tend to get up with them. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll send a quick one. So, storm is coming. I really want to get this other hearth up. Um, and get the housing up for it. That's fine, I guess. All right. And I guess we're just gonna do some uh, some basic housing. We could also do big shelter, actually. Big shelter is six. Uh, so just two of these down here will be enough to get this to pass tier one, actually. the settings to harvest trees but not break through the glade yes all right have that set yep uh yeah there we go have it set by default and that's the main one i use yet yeah uh for anyone that doesn't know uh if you don't have these set, you can set these to default in your in your game options but also um if if you haven't done that or you don't want to do that you can change it at all current buildings by holding shift when you select in here it's typo, but failed. It's all right. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Ah, uh, thank you, Matthew. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Okay, food starting to go in the right direction with that, uh... With that new, um... Trapper's Camp. Bobby run. Yes, yep, you can set it to... Uh, all these options, you can set default in your overall game options. And it will just default to this every game. You don't have to change it. You can even make it so that in the default options, you can have it so recipe limits are set the same every game at the start. I don't like doing that one. You can even set the warehouse options like this, the locked options. You can have this to carry over from game to game. I don't like that because different games, I want to produce different amounts of stuff and have different limits. But if you are someone that always like, oh, I always only set pl planks to 20 and never any less, never be any more. I don't want to have to do it every game. You can even set that in the options. Yeah, lots of, uh, lots and lots of game options in this one. Lots and lots and lots. And good ones as well. All right, uh, we want to get this so we can get the extra meat out of that so we can have biscuits for as long as we possibly can. So I am going to get this done. And then houses are getting done. Uh, we're going to need a garden down here for when those houses are done or a park whatever some kind of something or another put that road incorrectly but I'll get over it probably yeah lot, lots of really uh, really great game settings right and I need the greenhouse greenhouse I need it to produce herbs Uh, we could get that to tier 3. We also have the harmony thing anyway. 22 harpies, we're getting there. Um, should have been favoring someone. Now Storm's coming, so I'll wait. There's that pie. There's that pie. So, just need that cloth done. They're working on it as as we harvest those trees. Let's just keep harvesting that same type of tree. That one is the one that has a chance for material that we want. Any guides to this game? Uh, kind of. It's not really a guide, but Exclamation What is an is an overhaul. Um, an overhaul? No. Uh, an overall scope of the game and its systems. So you can always go to Exclamation What and check that out. You might find something in there helpful. But I wouldn't I wouldn't consider it necessarily a guide. Okay, let's take everyone off there and uh we'll get you guys fighting. Uh and we can actually favor after the storm. Let's get some woodcutters on. In fact, as long as we don't go to four. Ah, the harpies are too unhappy, okay. Uh and we need to get one person moved over here, so I need to kick someone out over here. 
So we're at 16 to 20. Yeah, we'll just kick someone out. All right, another tier one hearth. Okay. So that'll help. Wow, we have such a race distri distribution. It's kind of crazy. Used to having like one race that's uh, have way more of. Hey, there's a some good trade. Um, yeah, we'll hold on to the vegetables right now. Be yeah, always super informative. You're tuned out from this game because you felt like you didn't understand it. Yeah, that's one reason why I wanted to make it. Yeah, making these kind of videos. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the feedback. I think your city layout looks so nice. This is a mess. I find that if you, I don't think mine looks that great, but I find that if you lay down roads first and you just build things by roads, it just naturally looks decent. You generally want to keep your production stuff that you're using water on close to the blight post. But aside from that, build near roads and build inside the hearth radius as much as you can is all that I do, yeah. Nothing too special. Man, oh man. Uh. Yeah, we need we need to buy parts next time someone's here that has them. Okay, we also need 20 T. We got the blight root one. Uh, there's a plus one coal production. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn that one in. I usually don't like turning these in right away, but that's just too good to pass up. And we can finally start working on the 20 packs of crops, I think. Yeah. We'll put uh, all that extra flower production. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm just turning it in. <sighs> tavern. We'll probably take the cat tavern. Uh, hang on. I say we needed the forgers. Forgers camp will get a, get us these vegetables, but I don't think we need that. We even have double vegetable uh, gain anyway if we want it from these farms. So I think tavern probably helps us the most. Herb garden is kind of interesting because we can put herb garden down here instead of the greenhouse. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go with tavern. Go to the tavern. I guess we might as well put it over here. I doubt we're ever going to get this to tier three, but the off chance that we do, we'll have it. Have it set and ready. Okay, humans, anywhere that you're not getting any kind of bonuses. Uh, field kitchen, we'll move two of you out of there. And we can finish the clan hall without you. There. Okay. And then field kitchen, um, whoops. Where the harpies over there. Yeah, but this game is basically a supply chain puzzle game masquerading as a colony management game. And I mean that in a good sort of way. It's a roguelike puzzle supply chain game is what it is. All right, there's the the gears. Uh, scroll wheel. That's a hockey I didn't know. Ooh, plus three plank production is always good. It's always good. Uh, we need to buy T for the turn in. Uh, yeah, might as well get this, right? We're going to be trading a lot. Uh, plant production is always good. Making our own tools now. Is there anything else I want to get? Uh, we have the tavern coming in. So I could buy ale. We should have the monastery. So we could even get incense. 
Let's see. Treatment education doesn't help the harpies. Uh, religion. So we can get the religion covered. And that covers two. So let's do that too. Uh, and then tavern. Do I want to buy the ale for the tavern too? Maybe. Maybe. We have a monastery. Let's go on Zade. Welcome in. Let's go on Dipsy. So incense and ale. Would both be pretty good to get. Uh, they're not that much. Again, we're making our own tools, so. Not a big deal to get rid of those either. To an extent, anyway. We're getting a lot of free oil. I could, like, pump out even more oil if I really wanted to. Oh, uh, we need to see what the cornerstone is. We could end up having a cornerstone for selling. Ooh, woodcutter, hostility reduced by 12. Plant fiber forever. So that would, uh, solve our, uh, clothing problem. Only three per minute, but... So this would allow us to do wood cutting even during the storm with like full, full saturation. Can be really strong. And I mean, if we're getting, uh, if we're getting the material from trees anyway, yeah, I'm gonna do that one. And we're gonna go up to the blue. Some good pie keeps the beavers happy. We have no beavers. It's keeping everyone else happy. Games that show quite clearly what chain of the resources you can build and the rates necessary to be optimal. <laughs> In the Anno games. Yeah, I've actually never played those, surprisingly. Basically. All right. Uh, so incense. Uh, let's put all this over... Actually, okay, selling more of this too. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. Screw it. Really, really pump this mood up. We're making more now anyway. Okay. All right, now we should be getting getting in there. Quite relaxing, chill stream. That's right. Always chill. Always chill. All right, it's got fabric and bricks going there. Uh, we do need some workers, so I think I'm gonna accept these extra people. Probably the last I'm gonna accept. Okay, get you traded out. All right, uh, so we're pretty much as got everyone that we'll ever need. Um. Get that to tier two pretty easily, and we need to start building the harmony stuff. Uh, that means we can't get to 22 harpies, but I should have thought about that. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. How many packs of crops? We should be beginning work on that. Yeah, we're working on that. Okay. Um, we're gonna pipe that too. Be careful though. We need the uh, the drizzle water from this. Are we using drizzle somewhere? We're we using the fill kitchen. Let's turn that off. And I wish we had found a um, a geyser. <laughs> that would have been just lovely. Just lovely. All right, Hewins getting us some points. Um. Get some tools made. How are we doing on grain? We have like a, we have a crap load. So let's go ahead and pump that up. We'll get oil out of it too. All right, lizards are happy. I know the small glades can have them too. Yeah. Yeah. I usually don't like opening small glades too much just because you... They're half of the hostility as a dangerous glade, but less than half of the resources of a one of those glades, you know. Usually don't unless I need to. 
Uh, where are we at with Queen Step? We only need two to get the next tier with them. We have extra coal coming in. We have the extra coal production now as well. Okay. Yeah, Kaiser would be nice. Might be worth. We can get enough Blightsis uh, being burned. We got humans at 46 there. Way to go. Way to go, humans. Love to get this tavern up. 12 fabric. Little ball fabric. Uh, do we have any more of the trees really close by anywhere that has a chance for fabric? Here's some. Or, I mean, not... It doesn't give fabric, but, you know, stuff to make fabric. Alright, um, how long is the next trader? I might actually call them. I mean, impatience is pretty low. Yeah, let's do it. It's gonna lower hostility too, which is always good. Let's see what he has. Uh, provisioner we don't really need. We don't need the cooperage either. What is a bathhouse? I always forget. Low production rate, 25% faster, okay. We'll leave the town slower. Clan Hall is 100% greater yield, but we already have that one we can just rebuild. So none of those are super handy at the moment. We'll take, we'll, we'll wait on those. All right, uh, what do you got? Builders construct faster, got the advanced rain collector. Hmm. Takes 20. I don't think we can get there. I don't know why I hit auto on that sometimes. Uh, we're okay selling this. Alright, that's good enough. How are we doing on wood? Very, very little. And how are we doing on... Uh, we're fine. Small Forger's Camp is done. Uh, nowhere else we can put that. And I don't think I'm going to open more Glades until we're, like, ready to win anyway. So I'm just going to destroy it. World Solo Mechanical Run finished. Uh, that finished, like, a month ago, yeah. But the edits just started going back up today. So the VODs, if you want to watch the VODs, they're all on the live tab. Just click on live on YouTube. But, yeah, I finished that not a month ago. Uh, I finished it on the 24th. Christmas Eve is when it finished. But the edits are starting to go up now that the editor is back home, so... There was an edit that went up today. Episode 8 went up this morning of the edited version, but if you're looking for the full length, yeah, you can just watch the whole thing at the live tab. Steven, 66 months! Still around. Thank you, Steven. Good to see you. 66 months is a long time, man. Oh, we actually have someone that's homeless. Um, going shepping, welcome back. Okay, uh, I might turn that one into 25% additional production on those. I mean, we have so much coming in, but that would give us oil forever. We already have oil forever, honestly, but. More oil is always good. Uh, we're not going to sell any of the cloth right now. We're using that. Uh, even though it might pain me to do this. You know what? I get back in 11 seconds. Let's wait. And that's one year. Maybe. Maybe. It's getting pretty close. All right. We're going to turn that back down. Like... Like nine. Good there. Eyes coming in. Things are going pretty well. Um. Ah, 
Ah, yeah, screw it. I know it's only one, but... So oil again, I feel uh, feel pretty good about selling that. We could we could pump out oil with small press like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, humans are pumping uh, the mood at the moment. Uh, we got that turn in. We could do the twenty. Start working on the twenty harmony. Harpies are not guaranteed to get more, so really moods the the big one at the moment. I really should put people in there uh, for the extra meat. Um, okay, take you out of the tool shop. Throw you in here. Oh, mates. Yeah, I know. We, we have the plus one. I normally wouldn't do it, but we do have the plus one coal production. You have to keep an eye on that, though. Fiber for right now. Hmm. Listen, resolve is low. Uh, so actually, let's pull you out of that woodcutter. Probably not to fight that. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty low corruption, so. Fast EG and got scammed. Made a video. I'm in the video yet. Interesting watching. I already watched it and I'm I'm in the video, so I left a comment. Yeah. Thank you, Code Sudden, but I uh I'm like that about ten minutes into the video he shows he shows my picture. Interestingly. Kinda of surprising when I saw that. That was low. All right. Seems the achievement for all villagers having full complex foods and services. When we're fishing too fast, otherwise you have also completed having all needs to fill simultane simultaneously. That's crazy. That's crazy. I have not gotten that one. Let's go on caps. Uh, execution what? Execution what? Let's go on Dagath. Emerald, how does this game compare? Uh, execution what? I made a video... Uh, since things like that are asked very, very often, I went ahead and made a video about it. So if you're really curious about the game or uh, you want a, a video that explains more of what you're seeing so you know what's going on, uh, that is what that video is for. Uh, the game reminds me the most of Banished with roguelike elements, to be honest with you. Banished. Banished meets Frostpunk with roguelike elements. But I would say Banished is the closest thing I can think of. Um, let's see. Take you out of the ring collector, put you in the flight post for the mood. Uh, where else can we put you for mood? I already have you in the hearth. Too bad I don't have foxes. Got a plan for everything. That's right. An apt name. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, I I still had pickled goods turned off. That explains a thing or two. Better really the fun drinking early game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you code son. I did see the video. Yeah, multiple people told me that I was in it. Would I like better this or banished? These days, I think I like this better. Uh, I played a lot of banished, but it's been a, a long time. But I, I've done everything in banished that I wanted to do. So going back to banished wouldn't feel as good as playing this for sure. At the very least, you know. Can pull people off that too. But as we get those pickled goods out, we'll be in good shape again. Queen's hand trial. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly what that is yet, so. Maybe. The game isn't doing very well on the channel compared to like room world of course so i can't stay with it for too super long unfortunately but it'll probably eventually become just a split stream game nothing wrong with that so does you know but it's unfortunate all right people goods are coming the true game mode no drizzle water yeah i know just you use, use what Oh, wait. Yeah, we don't have a geyser in this one. Right. I've been complaining about that. Gain 10 tiers over 10 pickle goods. We're not producing a lot of pickle goods. Yeah, I know these are too great for what we need right now. All right. All right. Time to push to the end, I think. Um... Okay, we'll stay at the four. We get tool production going again. Uh, I could have put more in there too. Uh, let's go ahead and get you up. We haven't gotten many resolution points with them yet. Uh, we got that turned in. We could pop more caches. Let's see. We have this one, which is a pretty easy one. Uh, we gotta get the tools done. I have stormwater, really, to do that. We get, uh, these chopped. Uh, which resource is the pink ones? That's incense. Uh, so we want those muscle trees. Muscle trees. Got the one. Turn in there. We could start throwing down harmony stuff. Don't have a lot of building material, though. Uh, cash is open. Harpies. How many harpies is that? Two. And then we don't have a reward that gives harpies necessarily. Don't need any of those. Over the, I don't remember how what was it called yesterday? An off game, side game. Uh, for th having this be, yeah, like that's what it would have to be. It couldn't be the main game for too long. I am taking a very small room world break anyway, but uh, we gotta get jerky going again too. There's pickle goods coming, so we can favor and the favor off. Uh, let's see. I know we're making our own, but. Mm -hmm. All right, that puts us to 14. So we'll pop that one.
Let's go on planes, welcome in. But yeah, I mean, I, I will probably keep playing this one as a, as a split stream game either way. But I've kind of said that I'm all right with numbers not being too crazy in January. Disgruntled Al. Disgruntled Al, still lurking. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Al. Very much appreciated. Definitely helps. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I very much appreciate it. But, you know, RimWorld is the job game, right? It, pay, it pays the bills, so I can't stay away from it for too long. Um, lest, you know, I'm, I'm unable to pay bills for my family anymore or whatever. So, uh, but it's, it's, RimWorld's still fun, you know job but it's a fun job sort of thing so i'm not uh, not complaining about it but just the reality of it is that uh i won't be able to stick with this for too super long but i would like to get at least through the ascension levels or whatever the room world it's heavily modded yeah hopefully this game at least covers utilities <laughs> dabbling but kill rand uh oil okay i'm still okay selling that because we can pump out more packs of crops that's why we have these now Wait, uh, I have seven extra, seven extra. So I can get rid of six of those. Wait on the other stuff. Okay. What did Rainy do to us in this game? This game, Rainy is already in it, yeah. How do we please him? I don't know. Nice day for a storm. How's it going, Tater? Right. Um. And I really wish we had more water. These kind of mechanics are real style, quality builder, but have combat like a more traditional RTS. So you want this, but like War Warcraft three combat, not just Warcraft three graphics. Yeah, I don't know of one like that. Not with the roguelike stuff too. Where to go? How many tools are we sitting at? Nine. Come at games like get three. Feel sluggish, Ben. Uh, so we have that cash we can open. We could open another glade. We really need to. Like, I don't think we'll need to though. We're almost done. Uh, who's the next trader? Oh, we're already good on that. What do you know? What do you know? Uh, so what do we need to throw down all these harmony buildings? I don't even think we'll need to do it, but need like all the building materials quite a bit because it takes two each to one each now. So we need 40 of each. Yeah, I don't think we have that amount of goods. Do all this. See how much it would cost to literally buy all of it. Doesn't even matter the bricks. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Day for storming. It is. It is. Yeah, 50 ish hours in it. Really bad for the first 20 ish hours. Kept failing due to dynamics. Put some Warcraft art style. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It has it. Feel less like a hard fight, more like a how much rework did I do when rather than actually adapt strategies. Yeah, uh, I'm it's the case in a lot of games like that is like overwhelming firepower ends up winning out, yeah, for sure. Sure, we'll get that opened. Uh, storm's coming too, which is a little concerning. Dazzle. Thank you for the 666 bits and Pant. I'm going to go in Panto. Thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, man. Thank you, Dazzle. Let's 
So we have to trade. We have extra meat now. I mean, that's like nothing for the meat, though. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. I open a glade. Probably win just opening glade. I win after the storm anyway, but um yeah, to be that, but you guys over here. Yeah, we're we're gonna win pretty soon. Too bad I didn't accept more harpies earlier. huge deal. Cool. We can't take enough off trees right now. Uh, I mean, we have extra wood. I can sack it if I really but need to. Uh, let's see. Trapper scams. You guys get an extra from there. Take you one of you out. Put you in the clan hall. Take the other one out of there. Put you in the blight post. Uh, anywhere else that you guys are not getting a bonus at the moment? No. Good as I can do through that. Uh, do we run out of pickle goods again? Yep. Run out of vegetables. Okay. Uh, do you guys have jerky at the moment? Jerky. No skewers. And you're out of jerky. Okay. We don't have water for this either. All right, well, I have to burn some wood, it's fine. Now nah, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah. Then we'll win after this. It'll be fun to watch play the original Warcraft. I was really excited for uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged. I'm glad I didn't pre-order it. Uh, and then it came out and was a mess, so. But. Now should be to open all the dangerous glades in a run. Fins on the run. Yeah, sometimes you get um, this that makes it so that opening glades doesn't even lower hostility. Or, I mean, doesn't cause hostility, so. Just depends. All right, get that jerky made. It's always low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Storm's almost done. And then we can go home. Actually, you guys get to stay here. I'm going back to the the city. But uh, on the harder difficulties, like opening all the glades, your hostility is really crazy. You normally have to have something to combat that, like uh, lowered hostility from other sources, like buying a lot of minus 50 hostility things or have a lot of um, burned blight cysts and the thing that lowers hostility through blight cysts or, you know, lots of different options, but it's back in the menu. We have a lot of meat. Ten years for pickled goods. I'll take that, but I mean, we're going to win before it really matters, I think. So. Uh, what are these ones giving? Incense. Meat. Yeah, we're eating a lot of meats. Okay. Uh, Dash. Thank you for the five good subs also. Thank you, Dash. It's very much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Helps out a ton. I'm sure you know. That's probably why you did it. <laughs> or impatience. Wow. Yeah, it gets harder the more you progress. Yeah, yeah. So as you beat uh, the highest difficulty, it unlocks the next difficulty all the way up to Prestige 20. And then that, I think that unlocks another mode. 
But yeah, the higher prestige, the harder it is. And we, we haven't lost yet, but I'm sure I'm sure it's coming as we get higher and higher in these uh, prestige levels. I haven't lost the prestige run yet. Okay. All right. Now we just wait out the win. We out the win. So if you open that, I might just do it. Do it. Why should we open it and there'll be a geyser there that we can abuse this entire time? That would happen. Yeah, let's just do it. I gotta know. I gotta know what was there. Right next to us the whole time. Plus two challenge trying to do one of the start two at six impatience. Ooh. That is a lot of impatience. Uh, okay, pickled goods. Skewers, yeah, this is the win right here, but. Uh, orange, jerky. <laughs> All right. So what was there? Nah, it wasn't anything. It was just the rain punk drill, so. Some extra coal. Ever played their billions? Yes, I played their billions. I did a no pause, hardest difficulty, every single mission. It's up on YouTube. Uh, you can type Adamers everything, their billions on YouTube, or I might have a command. Let me check. Let me check. There you go. Adams max difficulty, no pause, their billions run. Okay. All right, prestige seven done. Still no losses yet. I uh, made some pretty big mistakes in that one, but it didn't come back to bite me. It wasn't big enough mistakes to end the run, but uh, I think it's nine years, nine years. All right. Let's see what we're going to unlock next year. We got some deeds. And what are we able to unlock? Uh, we don't have a lot of food anymore, so... We can choose Amber, 3% bonus to Trader, Arrival, 10% more settled resources when you finish settlement, permanent minus 2% to the speed at which the Queen's impatience rises. Every settlement starts with five fabric. That'd be nice. We can even build a couple, um, or maybe like a early harpy house if we really needed to. It does unlock a, a few extra buildings early, even if we don't have uh, access to some really early... Um fabric uh what does this one unlock for us next forger's camp this one unlocks another cornerstone reroll. uh this one unlocks pack provisions nine years of mostly london weather brutal i guess i want to prestige eight uh and then as long as we win prestige eight we can then do the seal so where do we want to go for this one? We can do Coral Forest again, which is kind of nice. Royal Woodlands, always, always good. Royal Woodlands, kind of a cushy map. Lots of, lots of wood. I don't like marshlands too much. Uh, marshlands though, if you find one of those big nodes, like the big carcass or whatever, is super, super awesome. But you have to go get them, right? Uh, they're in the, uh, in the Forbidden Glades. Hmm. Uh, let's see what Prestige 8 adds, and I'll go from there. Human Beaver, nice. Ooh, 10 starting people. 10 starting people. Find one of the big nodes, don't have, never get the camp to harvest it. <laughs> Be sad. <laughs> Villagers consume more luxury goods. Not a big deal. So that doesn't really uh, change which map we would take. Um, I'm thinking we go Beaver Fox. They share pickled goods. Human Beaver, yeah. Human Beaver. <laughs> There's eight beavers that starts with 28 pickled goods. That's kind of crazy. Huh. Wow, that's kind of interesting. So basically, we're going to get resolved for beavers immediately.
Is that worth two fewer villagers of work? Maybe. Um, all right, where do we want to go? Uh, Royal Woodlands with beaver is pretty good. And then if we get any of the bonuses for, well, I mean, Royal Forest of Beavers is fine too. I think I'm going to go Royal Woodlands this time. Uh, Flax, thank you for the 100 bits also. More hype train. What made your badge change color? It was Dazzle. <laughs> Big Flax, thank you, Dazzle. Try a method where you can gather as much as... Cost of one spot, one pixel. Turn into a super kill box in Rimworlds. Yeah, I have a guide on it, yep. Yep. I've been doing that for a couple years, and... Um... I had never seen anyone else do it or talk about it or make a guide for it, so I finally made a guide for it, but yep. Uh, Exhibition Guides. Uh, I think it's the the top-listed guide on that. I, I named it, so if you ever see it called Zonal Shooting or Zonal Killbox, it, that word and that phrase, uh, I coined that one, so you'll know that it came from me. Eight beavers or knowing where a geyser is. Let's go here. Hopefully, we hopefully get humans as the third one, but going to worship. Pickled goods and skewers. Double pickled goods makes me think we take plantation over a small farm this time. Uh, and then we could start with extra wood and get more things built right away, or we could get food to stretch. Because we're going to have a lot of people. We're actually going to be starting out with 13 people. Pretty good. And we're not guaranteed to get to a fertile soil this time because we're not taking humans. We don't know if we're going to hit a fertile soil early or not. Yeah, I'll just take extra food. Humans good for some reason. Humans have... Um, so every race has a racial bonus uh, that you get. And humans shows you through the fog which glade... Uh, one of the glades that has um, rich soil. Where soil is like the main renewable source of food in the game. So humans guarantee that you're going to get to a farm. To a farm. Uh, and then they have their own bonuses... They're also, they have a high base kind of resolve, so they're they're hard to, like, um, to break and leave, so. Yeah, closest, closest soil to the center of the hearth, yeah. But only one, only one. So you don't reveal, like, all of them. That would be, that would be incredibly overpowered. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with, uh, Beaver Fox, and hopefully roll humans as third. If not, though, hopefully, um, hopefully harpies, I guess. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, different races have bonuses to different things. Different things make them happy, but they also have things that you don't really see outside of the glossary or the wiki of the game, where, like, different races uh, need uh, breaks faster than others or get hungrier faster. Um, their resolve will, will fall slower or faster. Their base resolve is different. There are little things like that that uh, to take into consideration, but... All right, all right. Uh, and again, if you have not gotten this game yet, but it looks interesting, uh, I'm doing a giveaway. We're giving away nine copies of this game. I think you got about three and a half, four days left. So exclamation giveaway, if you type that on either of the two stream chats, it'll get you a link you can enter for free. 
Uh, and then if you're curious, you, you, you're looking at the game, you're like, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I made a video that explains what the game is. Uh, type exclamation what, exclamation what for that link. All right, on to Prestige 8. Let's see if this is uh, our first Prestige loss or not. Aries is here. All right, what do we roll? Uh, villagers with this effect move 20% faster. So everyone's going to move faster during this because everyone's going to have the, uh, the housing in the long run. Uh, villager speed off-road is decreased by 30%. Shouldn't be a big deal. Burning cysts take longer. Okay. So we got to think about that a little bit. Um, no matter insurance, fighter, blah, blah, blah. Favoring is unavailable while the hearth is being corrupted. Also not a huge deal. Uh, villagers don't have anything to eat. They'll get two. Okay, so we rolled pretty decently. None of these are like super detrimental. Use humans to see fertile fields. It's a uh, meta progression. So in the like skill tree that you unlock, each race has uh, one that that unlocks their special. I highly recommend uh, getting those. They're all they're all pretty good. Hey, we got humans. Look at that. We got a uh, blue geyser, storm geyser, and fertile soil. Nice, nice, nice. So uh, pickled goods are going to be really awesome, and porridge is going to be really awesome. So field kitchen, great early. Uh, this is pretty much what, what we wanted, so. Uh, we're going to take them out of the hearth temporarily. And what do we roll here? Early lumber mill, really good. Beatery! <laughs> well, that's 100% what we're taking. Nice. Good start. Look at all this. Kiln, lumber mill, and beanery are all three really good early picks, but beanery 100%. Um... Yeah, our, our orange and pickled goods. We just need to find a, uh, a way to maintain containers for pickled goods, and we're going to be in good shape for, for food. <sighs> hmm. We already have the plantation this time. Uh, whoops. I take the small farm that is porridge done forever. We have two porridge eaters and two pickled goods eaters. Uh, and we have the plantation. If we find another thing of soil, we can put berries in one. Yeah, I think I will take the small farm. Beanery saw my first pick. Yeah, especially for this setup. Like, beanery is just really good in general, but this is a great setup for the beanery. Uh, and then workshop. That's a pretty good early one as well. Coats, we have two for coats, but yeah, workshop early is great too, instead of using the, the crappy workshop. Yeah, all together, good. Last round was a win, yes, yep. Last was a win, all right. Got some uh, some good potential here. So we're going to build these right up against the workshop, so that's where they're getting the stuff out of. Set them as the priority, and we'll move them over to where we want cut after that. Uh, and then we'll get some paths done here. With the other workers. And then what else do we have in our glade? Uh, we have some plant fiber and some mushrooms. Okay. All right. Excellent. I are keeping from missing you. Yeah. Uh, so on the hearth, let's put coal. I think this... Yeah, it was in that order anyway, but that's fine. Workshop is a controversial topic. Yeah, I mean, I guess, well, I mean, we have constant blue water, so I could have just probably pumped the normal, the normal one, but the other takes or anything super crazy. Like I said, I guess clothes would have been all right, but six beavers, the perfect amount. Road started here.
Really good though for our basics though. Yeah, and we don't even have to pump it to get to get good good stuff out of it. So kind of nice. Um, and I mean, with most some things are just good no matter what. But with most things, it's situational, right? So in that situation, it seemed like a really good pick for us. Two slots has no rich bonus. Only two star speeds makes you feel bad later for picking a three star building material blueprint. But it makes you feel less bad of, of skipping over those if you don't need them, I, I suppose. But either way, good for us right now. Good for us right now is good enough for me. Um, tin jerky for every tin pie produced. Wood cutting's a lot easier. Uh, yeah, I'll take that as an early one. First we pick up, yeah, yeah, no, we got it. That was that was one of our first. Yeah, I'm gonna say it was worth. Uh, that means we're building it before the farm, which is a little, little uh, iffy. I don't know why I'm prioritizing it. It's the only thing they're building right now, anyway. We put a fox there. No, not quite. We don't have enough open for it to be useful, so. Throw a human there, I suppose. And what's the rewards of this? Planks and. Okay. Sell goods worth 20 amber. We'll definitely do that one. There's extra grain production. So those are both two pretty easy ones to do. I'm going to go with the grain production. Fox is about 15. We can do that. And that will give us two more citizens. Finding crops faster is also nice, though. And packs of crops. Uh, I'm going to wait to decide on that one. More grain for the pie gods. No pie this time. This time it's uh, pickled... Good gods. Pickled, pickled good gods and uh, uh, porridge. Porridge gods. <laughs> All right. So, small farm. Not there. Uh, or even biscuits, yeah. You have share two biscuits. We got the beanery early, which is just nuts. Uh, I need to get that up. I need to get that up. Uh, it's gonna take six bricks. Oh, do we not have any stone where we started? We do not. What's in here? Doesn't matter. We can't crack it open anyway. So we might end up doing the field kitchen anyway. Always get rid of it. Um. DLC looks weird. Okay, they're on break as normal. Um. Good trading post up. Yeah, th that's one thing I like about the game too, is there's no like, in most cases, there's no clear, now, <laughs> i say most cases, there's no clear like, 100% never take this, 100% always take this, or, you know, I, I see that. There are some things that are like that actually, but, for the most part, it's very um, situational. Almost everything in the game, by design, is situational, right? Okay, once we get eight people there, we want to get the... Uh, um, there's the flax. We need to get that down, too. 
Anyway, we want to get the garden down. Park, whatever. I would definitely trade a little to get this up faster. So, some bricks. The first trader would be fine with me. Zorg. Zorg. Okay, there's the farm. We're going to put that on grain only. And we have another human somewhere. Oh, she's in the hearth right now. Switch that over to the fox. Come in there. Your first drizzle. We'll turn fabric on. Let them use everything right now. Uh, we'll take that only to tin. Bricks. Everything only to tin. Pipes. Uh, we'll leave pipes. Let's see. Let's leave that at six. That's enough to... Yeah, that's fine. Not like we can make them right now anyway. Um a little bit more. A little bit more. Watch someone play this game, joy. Just have or everyone seems to have their own style. Yeah, mine definitely it changes pretty much every day as I get higher in um prestige and stuff like that, right? Like I've also learned that taking and replacing the woodcutters over and over and over is actually a really good strategy, but I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't feel like do it. Maybe there'll become a day when uh, I I figure, all right, I have to do it to win this prestige, but there's lots of little, little things like that. Little, little, that's right. Okay, we'll put planks priority. That about replacing the woodcutters there's a like i don't know if you want to call it an exploit there's a min max thing where if you like uninstall and reinstall the woodcutter building um it's something to do with like decreasing the either load time or unload time or travel time or something there's something you can do to make it more efficient basically by taking it taking it and replacing it constantly it seems more valuable in the early game overall but i just uh can't can't be asked to do it. Kind of woodcutters always sacrifice wood without having to downside. Sounds exhausting. Yeah, yeah. I just don't, don't want to do it. I have seen that that's a, that's a thing. We can actually pull the workers out of there if we really need to, but I think we're okay right now. Definitely get this done though. And when the trader comes, I guess we'll buy some bricks. Uh, next shop. Let's shop behind the hearth. I'm actually going to cut into this. I need that geyser. Even though the storm's here. Okay. Harvey's no lizards. Uh, let's take a look at this. Okay, I'm going to take that one. That's an easy one that we can get plus three people off of. Plus one um, plant reduction is really good too, though. Also, the flower is good. I'm going to take this because we we might want to push some more population, more workers at some point. Cutter needs to go and deposit the wood inside the camp, but actually that gets signed at the end of cutting. So by moving it, you will teleport the wood out from the hands of the cutter. Gotcha. To the camp. Yeah, I don't want to I don't have to do those things. I do that kind of stuff in RimWorld, though, <laughs> so it's kind of funny saying I don't want to do those things, but... So 
So getting the beanery made will be fantastic. Fantastic. And then we'll get the makeshift post going. Man, I really wanted to see um, more soil in there. That would have been that would have been pretty crazy. But we got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for plants, so that's nice. Don't have to worry about any of that for a while. Okay. Make it a rain collector. We gotta make sure we get the light post uh, probably over here. You go ahead and work on getting those mushrooms out of the way. Uh, let's let's wait. We don't have too many things going at once. The engine run or the start of production cycle for the buff to apply. You can turn it off after it starts. Oh yeah, screw that. Out of the game for you? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's balanced around that either, right? Even at twenty, um, it helps, but I don't think it's balanced around that even at twenty. Uh, I want to. I keep wanting to call it ascension prestige, but. A uh, hoser, eh? In the 24 months. Wow, that's almost two full calendar years. Almost, almost. Uh, tools. For extra beavers. We'll take the tools. Ah, uh, we don't need them yet. Wait towards the end of this. Probably could use another farm there, but when do you unlock those? Uh they're another medic progression thing. Yeah. They're 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 not super deep into it. Like you could also target them, I guess, but what level are foxes at? Yeah, foxes are the fifth and currently final race. I did see that there was a teaser for another race. Is it goat people or something? No, it was something green. It was something green. What could that be? Frog people? I don't know. I don't know. Not sure what that would be. Goblins, orcs, maybe the frog folk or fish people. There were goats in concept art, but on the 1.0 release, uh, the trailer, apparently they I guess the developers even said there was a teaser or something, so I guess that's where people are looking, but I don't know. Toads like uh, like Zorg, Zorg's race. They have some more papas running around. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, actually let's see what this is first. Percent villager speed, one global resolve, always a good pick. Taking this early is kind of nice too. Hostility reduced by 10 every time you sell goods worth 30 amber. So I think that's actually stronger in the long run. One global resolve is nice, but protected trade is super good. So we got to take that. Got to take that. All right. Zorg, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Um, So we need some bricks from him. Need at least five bricks. Might actually buy more while he's here. Hello. Are we okay selling? We're okay selling the resin. We got lots of plant fiber coming in. Tons of that around, actually. Uh, all right. So we'll buy whatever amount of bricks we can get out of that. It's Eighteen. Cheapest thing. Okay. All right. So that'll get the beanery done. Our beaver working on that. You in there. You in there. Let's see what the orders are. 60 planks and 60 barrels. Oh well. Beaver resolve and trade. We can do that one for sure. I really like the plus three human resolve one though. Oh, that's actually pretty easy. Wow. We're going to aim for that one quickly, I think. Fifth race to add, it was between bats, foxes, and frogs. Oh, so it makes sense frogs would end up maybe being the six. I, I did see someone, uh, after we talked about that before, someone made a chart that uh, was like the math of why six races would be perfect. They need to add one more and no more ever. And uh, it was pretty, pretty thorough theory crafting. So 
That'd be awesome, yeah. That'd be really awesome. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a lot of trade. Trade's gonna be a big one, so I'm just gonna go with this one. And then if we get, um... Water skin production for our pickled goods, we'll have plus two on it. Usually it's good to get the pluses further down the chain. Like, it'd be better to get leather production rather than uh, water skin production, but take what we can get. All right, so let's turn those back on. And we'll go ahead and start getting more of those built up. Beanery, get that beanery done. Oh, uh, let's decide where we're going to get another hearth. Uh, this one seems like a pretty obvious place to get one. Yeah, that's that's a good spot. This one also is pretty easy. I'm thinking we'll chop to that one. We don't even have to do it super quickly, although getting over there, finding more uh, food production would be nice. If, if We don't know if it's there, but more the merrier. So we need to aim for the human one. And for the farm one. The farm one, we're going to need to plant vegetables or we can buy some. Uh, human one is 10 packs of crops and some comfort items. So comfort ones will be easy. We can throw that down and then destroy them. But uh, packs of crops. So we're going to need the makeshift post anyway. Go ahead and put that here. And then we need to get our blight post before I forget. Um, light post, pretty important. And let's favor foxes so we can get a little resolve going. Rain collector. We want to pipe this. This is going to be drizzle water, unfortunately, but. So let's turn uh, drizzle water off. From the we'll just have stormwater only. Could pipe the workshop with stormwater. Probably will. Yeah, I don't think I'll regret that. I don't think so. Alright, get that done. Uh and then our packs. Uh packs of crops. We're gonna need. Ten of those. Action provisions will turn off until this is done. The beanery. Nice. Uh, where are our other foxes at? Let's take them out of the workshop into the beanery. And yeah, we need more people. We really need more people. Um, the binary is going. The binary, man. If we get a drizzle geyser now, it'd be excellent. Like up here, if there is a uh, rich soil and a and a drizzle geyser, that would be we'd be, we'd be set. We'd be set. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. And I wasn't going to make another house down here, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. And then we'll get the other park down. And the lamps. All right. We have like an hour and change every night, so progress has been slow. Yeah, I can definitely understand that. It is nice that you can just save and come back. Sometimes in these games, if I save and come back during the same run, though, I have no idea what I was doing. Even if it was like literally the day before, like, what the crap was I doing? <laughs> Which buildings do I have? What's going on? Where was I making this? Where was I making that? Same for you. Yeah. <laughs> So you might want to look at buying the 20 vegetables. We'll see. So 
We really need workers. That's the resource we need the most right now. Workers. Uh, Blight Post, very important we get that up. Then we bought the extra bricks. Reminder on Word, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. Not forgetting what you were doing, yeah. Yeah. Good idea. All right, we're gonna limit that to like six. Uh, is there any other? We could work on the three specialized housing of these two. As long as we don't have access to making our own bricks yet. I'm trying to find a way to get more people. We'll have more in six minutes. So like what? Towards the end of the storm. Middle of the storm. Um, we are using some rain engines, but it's not a big deal. Turn that down for now. And yeah, we'll put him on there anyway. I know we don't have any other worker, but... Actually, we are making some, uh, we are making a little bit of bricks. I remember for about four or five months, came back to a bunch of mods. Don't remember installing. <laughs> Raids of mages. <laughs> yeah. Pause map modifier. The, yeah, yeah, I've seen. I've played that one too. I, I did on the daily expedition. Not the middle. It was mild panic coming back to it. Could be getting a little clay from the gathering to turn in two bricks. Yeah, yeah, we are getting a little bit. Yeah, yeah, from the um, uh, fiber or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So not like um, we have a stone cutter station, but we are getting a little bit of bricks made. Yep, I was wrong. All right, we're going to start cutting towards this glade. See what hostility is when that starts. Different bricks. Get too much fiber in the floor. Beanery doing some heavy lifting. Heavy lifting that beanery. Happy foxes, they are pretty happy. Yeah, we only have six of them. It's pretty happy. All right, let's see what we got in here. Hey, fertile soil, no geyser, but it was almost, almost exactly what we wanted. So I need to decide whether we want to put plantation or another farm down. Uh, plantation, I think though. Yeah, we'll do plantation because that guarantees pickle goods as long as we can get some uh, vessel creation going. We also got an herbalist camp over there, which is uh, which is nice. Uh, we got more people. Overall, a pretty good one. Uh, and we can put the foxes on this. Get that done really quick. Okay. Let's take a look at where we want to put the hearth over here. That's, uh, that's a pretty good hearth spot. Actually, that's I almost ideal. Okay, and then we'll do plantation. Do one of them here. And then we'll do small warehouse. Okay. So that's going to be the priority. Okay. We really need workers. Uh, all right. So we want to put foxes on that to get it done faster. It's not a super urgent one, though. I could wait until after the storm is done. And then we might buy something aside from wildfire essence, but it's, I'm fine with the essence being used. 
Actually, they're not doing anything on there. It's just giving the mood. It's fine. Let's just get this done. Pretty good little grove. Food source you find you use least often or is your least favorite? Uh, least often. I think least often is probably things that use fuel. I don't know. It just ends up being that way for me. So probably things like jerky, I would say. It's probably when I use the least. That could also be because of um, which races I usually target. Be another, another reason why that is, but. Four more people, good. Wait till the storm's going though. Or, uh, storm's ending. Smithy, produce our own tools. Um, biscuits, tea doctor is pretty good too. We're gonna be pro providing complex food buff all the time and then um, treatment for the foxes and brawling the foxes as well. This is tempting too, but I think I'm gonna save the tea doctor actually. Not my number one pick of uh, special buildings for right now, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. And the herbalist camp, I do think we'll end up yeah, we'll, we'll end up grabbing that. We need a trapper. Yeah, this is a, actually a pretty good glade overall, honestly. Overall. Oh, right. I needed pots. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. For some reason, I was thinking that we were able to make our um, water skins, but I wasn't... Um, the water skin thing earlier, I was literally talking about not taking... Yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess we'll have to buy pots and stuff for now from the traders until we, we see what else we come up with. Yeah, that would have been nice for pickled goods. All right, getting that done. Don't mind having more builders right now. So we'll take you off rain collector and harvester. Now that that's cut open, we'll move this closer to the warehouse. So what do we really need now? We need a way to make vessels, which I just skipped, and we need a better fuel source. I mean, this is Royal Woodland, so we're going to have like crap loads of wood, so we don't necessarily need a different fuel source. It's always nice to have. All right, let's see our cornerstone. 10 skewers over 10 pickle goods. Kind of nice. Three grain per minute. Uh, what can I speed? Increase blah, blah, blah. Um, so that would mean foxes would have porridge, pickle goods, and skewers. Hmm. Switch to veggies on farm. That is true. I could do it. I could split it half and half that way too. I think I even put a second farm over there. I think foxes are going to be pretty happy anyway, even with just pickle goods and uh, and porridge, and working at all the rain stuff I'm using. We can even get to excess. So yeah, we could even have that as the extra complex food, and that feeds into the tea doctor. Both of these would be pretty good for us. Uh, let me take a look. Uh, we don't really need the vegetables, though. We're going to have the plantation, so. We're going to have berries coming in from the plantation. So, yeah, I think I'm taking the skewers. Let's do fabric production. So, while she's here, I'm okay selling the resin... And I'm actually okay selling some of the plant fiber. We have quite a bit of that coming in. I be careful though. Uh, we have two people for coats. I'm thinking I go ahead and buy some vessels for pickle goods while she's here. Okay, we'll trade for that. And then in consumption, uh, we're gonna turn off raw food 
I'm going to turn off porridge here and pickle goods there. Okay. Oh crap, I need to like, accept people. That stuff made. What do we got going on? Uh, complete at least three events by loyalty. We don't know if we're going to even see loyalty. Rebuild or salvage ruins two and complete at least one event by making decision corruption. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't know if we can even find one of those either. So, you know, porridge production is good. We can get this one. Complete 12 trade routes. We'll be doing that one no problem anyway. We don't even know if we'll get the tavern, so... Okay, uh, now that we have the extra workers, I need to get people on these. That stuff built. Was a rich harvest one that gave us people? No. How many is that? We need those tin crops up as soon as possible. Uh, there's a human on the harvesting camp. We'll put over here on the plantation. Uh, actually, we, it doesn't matter to have them on there right now. Favor foxes. We need drizzle water. Like pickles, a variety of pickles. Uh, I like them okay. I like more of like the either sweet or spicy pickles more than I do dill pickles. My daughter, oh, one of her favorite foods is actually dill pickles though. I'll tell you that uh, dill pickles are her second favorite food. Second only to pasta. Second only to pasta. Mm -hmm. Bye, pickles, Ethan. Once, yeah, like I like sweet gherkin or some of the like pickled things that has like the mix of peppers and stuff in it, you know? A pickle medley. Also, pickle sauce, she would probably, she'd probably enjoy it, honestly. Believe it or not. Probably would. The pickles with pasta, probably not much of a hit. Probably not, but she would. She would probably like it. Yeah. Yeah, I already mentioned that they could use. They might be able to use a second one. This one could definitely use a second one. We just don't have the labor for it yet. This one, um, they're getting eleven out of the twelve. So another farm there might be a little overkill. Maybe a farm with one worker, but we might get to it. Yeah. It's not an urgent thing at the moment, though. It might become urgent, but it's not urgent yet. Those berries in is going to be really nice. Uh, we need to get this done, too. Okay, for specialized housing... Um... And 12 for the beavers now is crazy. Three, six, okay. Let's camp. Uh, get those mushrooms. The olives straight off. Yeah, she really likes olives too. Olives another big one for her. Beaver's resolve is low. Oh, 
Oops. <laughs> Not the direction I wanted to go in. I know we can turn off favoring, but... Don't have enough there. Don't need to burn there yet. Light resist. Uh, we should be good. Burn them during this. That's a lot of planks. Crazy. Actually, we'll worry about that later. We're going to uh, just get this up to eight people. So we're just going to throw down three shelters. And we'll shuffle people over there. She has some good choices you respected. To... Yeah, those are some of her favorites for sure. Hello again. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. I'm going to have to let them have porridge right now. Up, though can you move the houses you can yeah you can move houses um if you do that it does cost some resources you know on the type of house too the resources um involved uh do people automatically go with them that i'm not sure but i'm, I'm guessing if it's the only structure they can be in it would right but other than that i'm not sure fox is still happy anyway when's our next uh trader coming in So right after the storm, they'll be here right at the storm, after the storm rather. Okay, that'll be six when we shuffle people over. So we just need this one built and then we'll shuffle over. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, the normal houses take wood move and um, like the I think the special houses take um maybe they only take wood too I don't remember yeah a lot of buildings are free to move but then some do take resources we're waiting on that uh in fact let's make sure that the mushrooms are getting used only in pickled goods right now Uh, okay, turn mushroom. Okay, they're already off from that. Uh, we don't have anyone working there right now, so that's okay. All right, yeah, it's already set. Good. Good. Uh, let's move this woodcutter over here. This is not super needed, but... Pickled mushrooms. Tavern. There's tea production. We don't have herbs right now. Furnace would give us access to pie. For... Uh, we, don't really need pie. Uh, we already have two-star bricks. We're getting free skewers. Yeah, I'll take the tavern for the plus three. Facts. Maybe we do tavern now. Or as soon as we can. Pickled mushrooms. Pickled mushrooms. Can we make it L? Not yet.
All right, we'll get the uh, the blight fought here. Uh, don't eat vegetables. Chat room world challenge run where you start with one pawn who can't speak. I don't think so. Oh, I meant to uh, shuffle people over there. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, I want the tea house as well. And then we do have everyone on complex food. So uh, let me see what the tea doctor one is up to at this stage. Because the tavern is a, an immediate plus three. Um, yeah, we wouldn't even get a plus one for it yet. So it'll be better later. Play hard because you can't trade or convert people easily. Yeah, I guess with ideology, it wouldn't be too hard though. Because you would just do... Um, rituals and get more people anyway but and outside of that yeah you're right all right uh back to wood cutting Five more people and some fuel. I'll take that. For some reason I thought we'd already piped that, but I guess not. We got more people we can get there too if we end up getting yeah. uh packs of crops, twelve comfort. Good. Always move that after. There we go. Meat leads here too. Got the trader. What does he got? Uh, ten percent chance of producing double yields under the effect of education. Has a kiln for sale. We have the ancient tablets. We don't know. We might need those for orders. Uh, let's see what we get for the cornerstone. You want know, amber for every fifty wood produced? We're gonna grab that one. Have at least 10 aesthetic decorations. That we can get easily. The 10 harmony is a little bit harder. And we don't, well, brewery to make ale. Uh, at least two harness upgrade level two. Those are ones that we're just gonna do anyway. And the trade routes are ones we're gonna do anyway as well. Extra porridge production. A lot of pipes too. Yeah, I'll go that one. Uh, Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. I don't really think we need anything from him right now. Unless I buy stuff to get the uh, tea up faster, but I don't think so. I don't think we need to. Uh, actually, hang on. Wait for like RFG and that's a normal run. Yeah, and, and like I said, with ideology especially. Upcoming game of Klein. No, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, not that I remember anyway. Not that I remember. Okay, that's gonna go up.
Uh, can we find another woodcutter having done that? Okay, Fox is pretty happy. Pretty happy. Uh, we haven't gotten to coats or anything like that, right? Or clothes. We have the tea doctor. It's not up to a minus one yet, though. So, not really a big deal. Uh, not, a, not a big priority, I should, should say. So, we could work on... We got complex food. Uh, we can turn porridge back off on them now, I think. Let's double check, though. Yeah, so turn porridge back off here. We got that production running. Water is good. We got that one running. Uh, so yeah, we're in a pretty good state. We need to figure out a way to get to um, clothing, and then we can push for species housing if we want. We're gonna chop a lot though. We need to get our trade going. So I do need this done. Um, let's turn off packs of goods. We don't. We really don't have stuff for provisions or for crops right now. So I guess we're just gonna gonna wait on that one and just keep chopping. Keep chopping. Then we could bring in four more people to get enough food. Just there on mushrooms alone. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and gather these mushrooms. Let me mute. Colt sounds like a really interesting run. Think on it. Every time you convert people, you take their eyes and tongue. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Thematic, at least. Okay, um... Oh, wait, 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 wait. My bad. That's right. We, uh, we got, a. Uh, Big herbalist camp from uh, from the glade. So hopefully get to clothing production. And I need to uh, start getting rid of this area to put in another farm over here. Or in the wood over here, I should say. Trees. Where are the trees? Um, do you want to bring those four in? I don't think we need to necessarily at the moment. Blind mute coats. Yeah, we do need to get that uh, planted. So. Another plantation back there, I suppose. Yeah, we'll get one right there. Okay, we got another resolve, but it's not uh, the one to get us a blueprint. We need to hit the next one for that. Uh, we got... We're all the humans. We got two in that farm, two in that one, three in the tavern. Five, seven. That's all of them, so I guess we'll put something else there. You're fine. Plays a bit like Oxygen Include, but... With wands. Yeah, I haven't heard of that one yet. I'm gonna have to check it out. Uh, we can free up the foxes from this. Back in that to get the mood, and then we'll just throw them in the farm for now. Better. I right, like the story. I like it a lot. Yeah, seen it multiple times. Recommended list. Cause your big sieve and roll gear. Yeah, yeah, I really like it a lot. Uh, I made a video about it too. If you want to check it out, exclamation what goes to the video. Uh, it kind of explains what the game is and it's kind of systems and things like that. It's an edited video, so it's a lot shorter than kind of watching through a stream to see if you would enjoy it. But yeah, overall, I've really, uh, I've really enjoyed it so far. Solana. We'll get that brought in. Don't need them there. And things are going okay right now. We need to uh, just get to the point where we're able to make these crops. Might go ahead and grab these people. We have the extra berries now. I'd have to put uh, foxes over there where you lose some of this. So let's wait. The storm's coming up anyway. Fuels, fleet, and off play. M O M. Yeah, uh, if anyone types explanation what in the chat, you'll get the, the little video about what this game entails and its systems and stuff. But uh, in short, I have really enjoyed it so far. Far. 
been, been really happy with it. What is against the storm? Uh, all right, so pull a woodcutter off there. All right, what do we, oh, crap. Uh, blight, 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 or I forget about it. And let's see, uh, tool training gear, pot pottery, there we go. So getting this building ensures that we'll always have uh, a way to, or something to put pickled goods into. So let's go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and burn that blight out. I'm gonna clear some of this wood over here. We're back. All right, so uh, we got plenty of storm water, plenty of clearance water too. We're not using it. Um, we might pipe the makeshift post when we get some more pipes and the pull works out there. There's four tools. Five workers or four tools, uh, or one more worker, I should say. I'm gonna go with that after the storm. What's my clay source? I don't have a renewable source. So right now we're just getting clay from the flax fields, which isn't a guarantee either. So it's uh, it's something that uh, we will run out of for sure. No renewable clay yet for us. Uh, We could end up rolling into the clay pit at some point, but we don't know, of course, if we're gonna do that. All right, I feel like we can go ahead and do this. Uh, let's get these brought on board. Where are our foxes right now? Pumps full anyway. Put them in this camp. That brought in. And then uh, we'll do some species housing here. So let's put planks up to... We'll do like 40, which is kind of crazy, but... Kind of crazy. Start working on some species housing over here. Ooh, two very good ones. Uh, drizzle 25% and minus 50 hostility. Super good. Uh, we are going to sell all this. Uh, and our packs of crops. Uh, screw it. I'll sell that too. If we can buy more from the beaver trader if we really need to skewers were free we're making a lot of porridge 22 doesn't quite get us to both of those a little spill over there can we even get enough for both of them uh free. I don't think so If we sell all of our, almost all of our food. Let's see what the cornerstone is. Grain production increased by one every 25 times it's produced. Horse production increased by one for every 150 units of drizzle water produced. Ah, uh, friendly relations. Man, we really gotta get trade going. Friendly relations is so good. Might actually do this. I think it's probably worth, honestly. Extra drizzle, drizzle duration. Drizzle is a very good season in general, but also it means the years are longer, which means hostility is going to rise lower throughout the playthrough, um, basically. Yeah, I think that was worth overall. Let's see what our last order is going to be. 50 oil, 50 coats. We can't guarantee we're going to get to that, but it's easier to get to than these. You can always buy it. We really need to. All right. All right. Uh, let's go back through things now. These extra people. 
So we do have two extra humans. Put them on the plantation. Foxes. Um, we need to use more stormwater, but we don't have a lot of ways to use it at the moment. And we'll work on the beaver housing. We're going to get two more out of that. Okay. Food's still in good shape. Fuel's still in good shape. Get a little bit of money. Things are all right. Uh, would like to get some clothing. Way to get clothing. So pottery. Uh, we'll put that at like 30. And we don't have any way to um, stock the clay yet because we're making bricks, but... Uh, you know what? Take you guys out of there and collect this drizzle water instead. And we can favor humans for a little bit. No trapper camp still. Herbalist, go after these mushrooms. Then after that, I don't know if I'm going to open any more glades. Honestly. We got to get trade going. Uh, we got berries coming in now, so we can do that. Berries coming in. Yeah, we can do all this now. Um... Okay. Do I have the pipes? Should have lost the pipes. We didn't have any money left. Ogre battle 64. Not 64. Ogre battle. Even the four months. Thank you, Ogre Battle. Really liked Ogre Battle, especially Ogre Battle 64. I think that's when I... I think I played... I think I owned Ogre Battle 64, but I didn't own the ones before it. Uh, the, like the original. Be careful. Yeah, I need vessels for that. Uh, what do we have that we could break out of here? Nothing that helps with that. So. Oh well. Guess we'll keep working on the beaver houses. barrels for those people goods yeah i guess we're not using it for anything else in this one oh, i had already enabled those actually apparently that was the previous game go pong thank you thank you uh we did have a little bit of clay come in too so i can go ahead and throw beavers there and then uh that's full what is box mood if we put two there not quite so Beavers at a plus two. Some housing. I get those pickle goods flowing in. I gotta get some way to make clothing. Hopefully we get that on the next pip there. Uh, let's take a look also where we're at on the tea doctor. Tea doctor's a plus two now, so let's get that one up here. Love this game. It's a good one. I really liked it so far. We've made it to uh, Prestige 8. Prestige 8. Haven't lost any Prestige levels yet. <laughs> I'm, well, I haven't lost any games on a Prestige level, I should say. I'm sure it's coming. Definitely getting harder. Build house with a uh, granary. There's two star pickled goods. Yeah, unfortunately, none of this is really what we wanted. Uh, guild house can be really good, especially once we get the trade going. Probably what we'll end up doing, and we can finally trade. Uh, but let's look at some of these to... No, we're fine. Okay, selling excess berries. Don't want to sell the crops yet. We're building those up. 
Um. Okay, that'll get us to the next standing with that right away. We need to get three standing levels up. What's it? What was the other trade? Cloth. Go on that. Go on anyway. Uh, next trader. The storm. I don't know why I keep looking at that. I already know when they're when they're gonna be here. We might take that. Uh, and we'll get this done and then get the tea doctor. That'll help too. Well, trade routes. Okay, so the trade route one, what was the reward for that one? Because then we can just do a lot of small trade routes and just get it done. Four people plus one on production yield for pack goods. All right. Storm. Go ahead and pull everyone out of those. And corruption's pretty low. I mean, leave them in there anyway. Let's see, though. I don't know why I said we might not need them in there. Obviously, we do. Okay, T Doctor's going up. So we can put them in there for the mood. Back. Let's drop one of them out for this beaver. Might have enough mood to have them in the blue after this. <sighs> Sorry, you for getting this like NES era Final Fantasy mixed with FTL. Looks like comes out next month. Do you remember what the name of it was? This one. One turn that into. What does the tea doctor do? So for every 200 times someone eat, uh, total that people eat um, a processed food, complex food, you get an extra point of resolve for everyone. So uh, really good, really good. Very good. All right, we're gonna take this one. Yeah, I'm gonna take that too. Still no way to produce clothing in this one. But yeah, let me know. I wonder, I'm wondering if I heard of it yet. No clay. We can take you guys out of that for now. Put you on wood cutting. So we got beavers at a plus three on their housing now. Okay. Uh, we don't have any way to make uh, the bars right now. We haven't gotten the um, farm thing or any of that. We don't have herbs in either. I mean, I guess we're getting herbs from the uh, the mushrooms. Or no, no. I almost call this the mushroom hut, but there's no herbs around for it to collect, so. All right, Baptism of Fire, super good. Rebellious Spirit is really good, too. We're getting a lot of good options this time. Baptism of Fire is really great. Um, we can push more water usage and then burn more blight to lower hostility. So, basically never pass that up. Uh, what do we got? Don't really care about any of that. Could buy coats to get mood up during this. Uh, what do we need to complete some of this? 20T. What was the 20T one's reward? Four more foxes. Two uh, porridge production. 
We need to buy some more of the fire from the beaver when he gets here. I'll make a third hearth, honestly. Time Break Chronicles. Yeah, I haven't heard of that one yet. Time Break Chronicles. We can turn in the quest and start using the actual tea doctor. Man, I mean, give me access to clothing. <laughs> uh, I might take the oil press. What I need. I need clothing. All right, so, uh, do we take these extra people? I don't know, because they're gonna be getting people here too. I don't think we necessarily need them right now, so we'll wait. No access to clothing still. Uh, we got some more foxes in. Get some human housing going. We get three of those. Yeah. Guys, back on wood chopping. Uh, can we favor someone now to get in the blue? Beavers. All right, we'll get there. Time to build eight lizard houses. Yeah, barely widen your opening glade. Five lizards, some jerky, and five coal a minute. Uh, yeah, in the last one, we got a really nice early one where we, we were able to do it. It was just get... We only had one lizard. It was get his... Um, uh, resolve up to 18 for 30 seconds, and we got five meat per minute for the rest of the game. <laughs> a little bit easier than build eight lizard houses on that first time order. A little bit. A little bit easier. Four lamps down. Game difficult according to your standards. You do lots of hard games. Uh, this game gets very difficult, yeah. How many hours in RimWorld do I have? 5,500. 5,500 on Steam. Basically. It's like a little bit shorter than that, but... Flower reduction, or the making flower in this one. We need to get our trade going. Beavers are pushing that. All right, we got two tier two buildings going now. We need to pump more water because we have that baptism thing going. So more pipes so we can use the clearance water would be really good. Yeah, I don't need more workers right now. I have nine. Uh, in fact, is everything fully staffed aside from woodcutters? Uh, because if so, I can put three people on the warehouse for hauling. That stamping meal doesn't need anyone right now. All right. Only I can make clothing. But yeah, this game is really, really difficult. Yeah, some some are much, much harder. Second batch orders. while well, the happy lizard sounds like a first batch. It was a first batch. Yep. Yeah. Oh, let's see water types tab. Tab shows water types, and you can control this even from the tab menu. You can left click or right click them. Um, Alt shows. Um, workers, control shows, recipes that you can turn on and off this way as well. Yeah, lots of really, uh, really good hockey. There's more too. There's so many hockeys. Those are the ones I use the most is tab and alt. Almost alt tab my game just now doing that. <laughs> All right. 
Weaver is still pretty happy. Two turns there. Don't need to worry about. Uh, how many caches do we have? Or how many tools do we need to open all the caches do we have? Just nine. Uh, yes, B. That's another one. Yeah. Like, if you want to... If you have a building selected that gathers a resource and you're trying to move it, it'll show this by default for just that building. If you hold B otherwise, it shows all of them. Gatherables, I guess you could call it. Gatherables. So humans are plus one. Um, 23, 20, 17, 20. And I need to buy bricks. Buy bricks. Stormhaven. We need 10 to get there. We're not going to get that from this trade for sure. Yes, more sis. We're on year six. Okay. I think we should be good with... Yeah, we have nine. It's more than enough. <clears throat> oh, let's see. If I turn favor off there, we get 15 instead of the foxes. So let's go that route. We're almost at another blueprint, so I might as well go ahead and select this one. I'll select the press. I don't know that we're going to have excess of this anytime soon, but when we do get to excess, we can use that for fuel instead. I <laughs> Whoops. Uh, good place to get wood. Let's get something down here. Hey, the artisan at long last coats. Room garden is actually tempting, but we have we have food covered. So artisan. Coats. Uh, we'll go like under. Now we can make barrels when we get this stuff too. If, if we want to try to make our own. But in my doubts, we'll get to that. Um... All right, get those coats made. I don't know if I want to trade off. Uh, how, how are we doing on the food? The skewers are like free, but we're not making any pickle goods anymore, which is a little alarming. How's the... I'll make it a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to trade any of that food off right now. Back. We'll deactivate that temporarily. Uh, and we can make more pottery. Okay, herbalist camp. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to open another glade, and if I do, it'll be... Well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I was going to go ahead and destroy it, but I'll just deactivate it. Uh, I'm going to call in a couple traders too to get the patience up and get hostility down a little bit. Hmm. Don't usually like to trade the gears. But we could get a level with them, and that's going to help us win. It's going to help with the resolve. Uh, timber hold would only need two to get to 10. All right, we'll do that one. It. You buy more. Night workers, if you shift click a race, it'll fill the rest of the building slots. The race available. I wonder why it's not like that by default without a hotkey, like the houses are. Maybe so you don't do it by accident or something. I guess it, I guess it could end up being frustrating. Just did it, you know. Uh, who do we have in the workshop? Beavers. They're not currently making anything.
See enable to see doctor. Oh no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't turn that back on. I'll do that after the storm. Yeah, good catch. Uh, I actually turned it off. And so that means they were getting into the blue even with uh, them being disabled. Or uh, the team being disabled. So I need to buy four pipes. Possibly two or what? Three things of fire. I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave down these two glades, honestly. Doesn't feel like we need to leave it. Alright, Zorg, uh, we'll get four of these. Let's check down here first. We got Herb Garden offered again. Planting crops is faster. Traders arriving faster is good too. Four pipes. Um, we can just go ahead and buy extra complex food while he's here. Especially since we're running out of... Uh, running out of pickled good containers. We have a lot of money coming in. Okay, he's selling the resin, although we have a trade route with resin, that would be much better. Much better. There's pigment trade. So we don't know that we're going to have this one coming. Uh, just one second. I gotta check on something. I need to re-enable T as well after this menu. Um, okay, so we'll get four of this. I think I will get the pickle goods. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have a lot of money coming in. We know that we can trade that one already. Yeah, it's fine. And then we're going to turn this back on. Everyone's about to get into the blue. Um, we could also do luxury. Yeah, we can, we can do that too. Why not? At least some of it. All right, trade route. Uh, pigment. We are completely good selling the pigment. Vegetables on there. Okay. This level is all by one for every three levels of standing. Great. Gain 30 meat every time. Village hey, there's cannibalism. Someone's asking about that earlier. Three packs for every villager. That would have been nice early. But yeah, we're going to take friendly relations. Everyone's going to the blue. Everyone's happy. Survivor, though. Uh, I guess we can do those trades now, too. Let me turn this back on. So we bought all that complex food. We're not really as worried about it like we were. So let me go ahead and deactivate this. Put them on there. Alright. Uh, gotta be careful with our fuel, too. Might call it another trader once we have a little bit more money. We get money for cutting trees as well, but let's just ride this, this blue wave of resolve for a while. Uh, tw 12 total trade routes and five that are worth 12 or more. Okay. We can do that. Hacker crops. So we can do that now too. That's pretty pretty lucrative for packs of crops always just make more mm 
Mood's looking real good. Real good, that mood. So the only real concern right now is fuel. Uh, there's the temple. Better clothing, of course. Hey, there's crystallized dew production. Um. I'd have to take up some of our food plots to do it. No, it doesn't seem like we need it. The foxes are at 50 without specialized housing. Kind of sucks that we got the three-star coats there. Uh, we don't have the stuff to sacrifice for the temple. We don't have a small press or anything this time. Market's okay, but I don't know uh, that we're going to build it. Let me... We're only using that for coats. I think it's if we're only using it for coats, we might as well take the cloth of year and destroy this for it. I don't know. I don't know what we need either of it, though. Uh, sticky glue. Thank you. Oh, you're thanking me. Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> I read that wrong the first time. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to... We're... I don't think we need to worry about it, but it's there if we need it. There if we need it. Four resource or two. There's race. Not bad yet. Yeah. yeah. I don't... Yeah. I mean, there's nothing else there we need either, right? So, uh, what do we get a good deal on? It's not great for the gears. But we need to do some crappy trades anyway. We're making lots of cloth. So, Stormhaven, we need eight, uh, 17. 17. So, that gets us pretty close. Leechford, we need 18. Uh, I'll just sell that for the the order. What are those tumblers? Which where? Which one? Where? Where? Huh. <laughs> Choke on my drink. All right, so uh, we'll take the cloth of the year and then. Hmm. Uh, the rotating ones connected with water. These ones? Gears or, or somewhere else? Yeah, that's the workshop. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Um, we can supply the ranch, no problem. There's water skin production, too. Hey, I'm going to take a ranch. Rotating ones. Uh, yeah, if you're talking about these ones, the things that are like gear things in there. Yeah, that's the workshop. That's the workshop. Uh, do we have money to call it to spin if we call people in? 32. So I think I'm just going to call. Grain engines. Yep, yep. Uh, Ruben, thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Ruben. Very much appreciate it. Thank you for using that here. Count slam is a tier one sub. That's probably why you did it. Appreciate it. Uh, amount of goods produced in the makeshift post. Is that market? All packs of goods are produced 33% faster. Forum. Yeah, no, that's really what we wanted. Um, but we can just keep do it. Well, let's check our complex food. Yeah, like, we might as well just keep that flowing. We have the money for it. Uh, our fuel is fine. 
You can also make the wildfire essence and go make another hearth, but I mean, we don't need to, so why do it? Why do it? So let's go with like 30. 30. Going V-Day. Welcome in. Uh, we got the ranch done. We want to definitely produce meat there. All we want to do right now. We can turn some of the excess into oil, even. There is excess. But we're, we are about to win. Uh, three more trade routes of any kind. That one. Uh. Guess we'll connect that. And then... I have a fox working there. Where's another fox? Is nowhere where they're getting the mood. Come out of the stamping mill. Put them in the post. And then stamping mill is not making anything right now anyway. Uh, that's not enough to make them happy. Harvest camp is done. Uh, nothing else to harvest with it right now. Let's throw it over here. Whoops. Got a trade. Meats. Uh, we can't quite get to the 12. Oh, we already got the 12 anyway. We just need one more of whatever. Okay. We've won. We've won. All right. Level 16. We unlocked a new trader. Raw food, basic resources, build material, craft material, and a small number of basic blueprints and perks. Unlocked advanced rain collector. New cornerstone hidden from the queen. The crown doesn't need to know everything. There is no impatience penalty when villagers leave or die, but impatience will grow 600% faster starting from drizzle year nine. <laughs> uh, newly discovered resource nodes have more charges. You'll get 30 hostility upon picking this cornerstone. Get amber for every five completed trade routes. Amber ore with a magical flame trap within. Increase the ancient hearth resistance by 254 every two woodcutters in your settlement. All right. We're through eight. We're through eight. Let's see what nine adds. GG. So what did that level unlock up here? All traders have plus one cornerstone. Win embarkation point, always really good. Uh, Trapper's camp, cornerstone, reroll. Vanguard trade, okay. Uh, food, food. Are we winning? Yes, yes we are. Not lost yet. I need to change the uh, stream title too, I guess. Uh, all right. The golden seal. Uh, CAC, thank you for the two months. Thank you for the resub, CAC. They were coming back and resubbing. Sealed forest. Human lizard. Human lizards. Harpies. Only five embarkation points. Aries, you're not my drink over. Uh, okay.
to tap and tap my drink over. I don't know what you want. No one knows what you want. Aries tries to bug people when he wants something, but we don't know what he wants. He has everything he could possibly want. So who knows? Who knows what other thing? You know Aries? He probably doesn't know either. Show your frustration. Spill the drink. <laughs> uh, we'll grab small farm and people. Oh, what is prestige nine? Change. Villagers work slower on events. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me change the title here. Yeah. People were asking what the prestige level was. Uh, Sticky Glue. Hey, you're on both screens. Sticky Glue, thank you for uh, the resub. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Count's name is a tier one sub. Probably why I used it. Financially supports the stream. No more ads on Twitch for you if you watch on Twitch. Uh... All right, let's try it. Gold seal, seal, prestige nine. Gain one free core stone reroll for every reputation point gained during drizzle season. Hmm. Back to bed. Morning, back to bed. <laughs> uh, gathering speed is increased by 50%. Recipes producing building materials yield 50% fewer. Uh, a blood flower spawns somewhere in the settlement every 90 seconds. Uh, we have to pay coats. Or global resolve is reduced by six for two minutes. Okay, so we don't want to get to tier four during the storm. Uh, a silly four during the storm. Every 10 felled trees adds to cutters don't increase hostility though. Okay. I don't feel like micromanaging cutting only red trees. All right, so we got uh, rich soil. We'll get to that immediately. Uh, we got a beaver. I say beavers, but we got a beaver. Trapper's camp, weaver, this hut, smelter. Yeah, let's see what's in there. Clay and berries in our starting area. A B ver. Uh, I'm going to stretch this food. So I want to. Field kitchen very early. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh. Traverse camp. If this has a big note, I don't think it's going to though. But we don't know. That's fertile soil is all we know. But we'll wait. Your cornerstone is too. Uh, we got a camp, so more people. If we want to spend the food on it, we can get two more workers. So probably something we should do. Definitely want to get that down. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll do it. Get those people. And it's pointing that way. That'll be the glade that we opened, so right next door anyway. Fear and dangerous forbidden glow. Yeah, that's what I was, what I was afraid of. One villager every time you discover your glade. Uh, what additional active trade route slots? Traders arrive quicker. Plus do a leather production. I hate to re-roll these ones, but woodcutter button prioritizes beavers. Woodcutting it does. Yep. Yep. 
plant fiber for a minute. Some um, gain two amber for every sea marrow. Wait, sea marrow. We're cutting speeds increase by 10% for 150 units of water used. Gain plus one production yields for all pack goods. So I'll just get fiber per minute. Maybe we'll get a ranch to feed that into or something. All right. Um. We'll grab this. Hopefully I don't regret it. Got a way to make flour. There's pickled goods. So we do have two pickled goods people. I'll grab that. These are definitely not as good, great choices as we had last time, but how it goes. Expert specialization. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Because of the the seals are gonna require a bunch of trade stuff anyway. And standing with trade and all right, so uh, we'll start cutting in over here now with one of these. Cut through the forest, discover three glades, and rebuild or salvage nine minutes, five reed per minute. Build a trapper's camp. We already know we have access to that. Plus one meat production is good, like on the ranch. Cut through three glades. I don't know, man. And then we have to rebuild something in it. Uh, that's pretty good, though. Let's take a look. We're going to cut into this one either way. It's harder to cut through, too. I don't know that I'm going to take it in this one. We already have the plant fiber for a minute. This one we know we can do, and we can do this one pretty quickly. Yeah, maybe we wait and see what's in that. Yeah, yeah. We wait and see what's in that glade. Um. The guidance towers, do you think, other than point to the seal? I don't think so. Yeah, they're just here to guide you to where it is. As far as I'm aware. Oh crap, I didn't take them out of the hearth this time. Stakes are made. You guys almost have those new people? Almost. Do the bonuses count for the trees as well? I, they count for everything other than the per minute things, right? Anytime it's produced, but getting it from the per minute is not considered a production. Uh, porridge. We only have one person that likes that. We'll put a limit on that for now. Use that with... We got our workers in now. Cutting trees is considered harvesting it. Okay. Uh -huh. I have another human somewhere. There she is. That'll cover all 12 people. Get 
that made. Oh, crap. I didn't, um... Why do I always, like, forget? It's like, oh, I had that last game, so I have it this game. No, 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 I haven't made it yet. <laughs> Whoops. The fire goes out. Uh, mood drops. Fire goes out for very long, you're probably gonna lose. Yeah, people are gonna start leaving. You're gonna lose citizens. Okay, and clearance with that done in time. And then we want to get the, um, uh, we'll just do, yeah, I'll do a park again. Just always move it. Hearth receive, yeah, I'm dead. Wait until there's at least three of these done to get the bonus, but get it, get it going. wait till other things before I put workers on there. I'm gonna be chopping through the storm. Gotta remember that, though. Unlike normal. Okay. That's on. This will get us our hearth bonus, so now we get a plus two global resolve for the storm. And we are good. Don't have the materials for that yet, anyway, so. Uh, we're not gonna... Favor right now, it's not enough time to get really anything. Probably in this glade, huh? Probably so. Maybe I should just go ahead and do, and do that one. I don't have the beats turned in for it right now, anyway, but what I do. Mosquitoes, gold production speed is 50% slower. We'll keep doing vegetables for right now. Planting vegetables until uh until we get another source of food too. We have clay, so if we get to the point where we have something to make pottery, what did we end up getting? We got the supplier for flour and planks. Two humans. We'll probably take the extra work, so we'll probably take the three. And we can wait on a house for them. Suppose I might as well go ahead and cut into this glade, uh, which means I would like to get the trade post down. Kind of don't like putting it over there. Oh well. Don't have a lot of room yet, so. Put it where we can. And let's start digging in here, see what we got. I need the workers. I'm gonna go ahead and accept. The storm is almost over. We can we can survive. Oh, look at all those berries! Hey, termite mound, nice, nice. As long as we can do this one, we'll have uh, insects forever. Um, uh, nine parts, nine parts. So I mean, it's worth it, right? We can buy parts, insects forever. Repost is movable free. We can move it later, and we got rich soil there too. That's a pretty good glade, man. Look at all that. Can't stop playing against Storm. Hi there, good to catch you live once. Hey, how's it going? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Made a uh, Against the Storm video too, if you haven't seen that yet. Exclamation what? If you want to check it out. Exclamation what? I don't think you can move the Guidance Towers though, yeah. Not that I know of. Uh, so we want to work on that as the storm ends. Nine parts is kind of a lot, but... Be well worth... 
Um, and a geyser. That's a great glade. Lots of rich soil, a geyser, uh, big berries, endless termites. Pretty good glade. Pretty good glade. And I didn't want to open that other small glade, but it looks like we want the hearth in there. We're going to have to. This game, this is against the storm. If you type exclamation what, I made a video that goes over like what the game is and what it's about and stuff. If you want to check it out, uh, that command works on YouTube now too. Exclamation what it is a roguelike uh, colony management supply chain puzzly sort of game. Um, this one's a good one. Rebellious spirit. So maybe not as great on this one because not getting as much trees cut. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this one. Uh, and we need to get this done now that that is over. And I gotta accept these. Um, complete three trade routes, five packs of crops. We're gonna do that one for sure. We don't know that we'll ever get to this one, so let's just take the one that's a guarantee. Keep Beaver Resolve above 22 for 30 seconds. Or grain production is kind of good. We're gonna do that one either way. Five roots a minute. Uh, Ten boxes of tools. Uh, twenty-two. Let's see. They have a minus five, so we could do a specialized house for the beavers. There's only one beaver, so that's a plus three. Uh, this is giving me a minus five right now, right? Yeah. So that's a eight. So that puts them at 18. We don't have the complex food. If we had pickled goods, we could do it. Put the timer on it. But I would hate to take one and miss it because we have so such little opportunity in this one to get impatience down. You can deconstruct the guy's towers? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, that's good then. Yeah, I'll start doing that. Yeah, I'll just take this one. I uh, would maybe take a risk on another map. Uh, training post we already have. We're going to get the amber for sure. We get both tools either way. This one gives us people, though. Let me go with that. Build eight. This is what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> build eight houses. Yeah, we're going to be doing that. Uh, empathy... We have no idea if we're going to get another empathy one. So maybe we wait to choose this one until we see what's in that other glade. Need to free up a worker somewhere. Um, Built eight houses in two years. Yours was lizard houses, mine was human, yeah. Uh, okay. Don't mind taking some early building materials. We have stuff to trade for it, but. And food is food is kind of crazy. Um, yeah. mm. Yeah, I better buy some uh, food. We'll have plenty coming in at some point pretty soon, but not now. 
Another video explaining what the video explaining against the storm is. No, I haven't made one of those yet. What is what is against the storm? For a minute, plus druid, it'd be unlimited fuel. Yeah, that would be really nice. Those are all the same cost, right? Yeah. All right, let's get someone in there. I still don't have one worker right now. More people. What's something we can get turned in right away? Sell eight more amber worth of goods. I don't think we have enough of that. Yeah, because you always trade at a crazy disadvantage anyway. Unless I'm going to trade this, uh, which I don't think so. Just need more workers right now. Is our big, our big thing. Workers for that. Deliver five packs of crops. Three trade routes. Okay. I get the blight post down, actually. Or forget. Wouldn't that be a crazy way to lose? We don't have the parts for it. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Well... That's unfortunate. Um, how many parts do we get back from this? Like, I, I'll wait, but we need to have it by the next storm, or else we're uh, we're screwed. Man, I should not have used them on that, but I could cancel this. Uh, no, that's all right. So you can deconstruct these. 15 stone, 8 resin. Interesting. Never knew. I didn't think you could do that. <clears throat> Never tried. I just assumed you couldn't. <laughs> so that almost gives enough stone to crack that open. Interestingly. Uh, Lizard isn't giving us enough to get a bonus right now. Is there anyone that we can favor? Not. We might as well trade it out for a human. Uh -huh. Herbalist camp would be nice. Then where do we say that we'd have for the hearth? Like over here, probably. Unlimited storm water yet again. Unlimited insects coming in. Storm's coming. We got um someone that doesn't have a house either. We'll just put another one of those down. It's fine. One worker. on food. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see. Take you off the crude workstation, put you on the herbalist hut. Oh boy. Play Malady. Uh, high chance of consuming twice as much food during a break. Great. Great. Where are all of our humans? We have one in the hearth now. Woodcutter. Rain collector.
All right, now we can move this. We really need to get trade going, but I need workers. We don't have good fuel yet either, so ah, we actually have okay fuel. I think that's the order it's in it either way, but. Alright. Makeshift post down. Fevers are low again. We're working on it. Let's hold on. All right, so we need to get the black post done this season or else. Hey, there's small press. So if we get flower production, we'll be good on oil forever. Yeah, let's take that one. More mouths to feed, but more workers. Uh, This one actually comes with food and we are really in dire need. I kind of like the extra person, but... And we don't know if we're gonna get the second empathy. We know 100% we can do this one if we have to do it, but... I'm gonna take that one. Oh wait, crap, crap. It's not retroactive, we already finished the... Yeah, well, that was a mistake. We already finished the termite mound. Brewery, we also don't know if we're gonna get that one either. Sacrifices we might get to. Yeah, we're not getting great ones. It'll help that I'm clicking the wrong one either way. Okay, so we got to get our food situation under control. And we got to get some unlock. So we got to get some of these turned in. Yeah, that was a mistake. Uh, can't really make these yet. We don't have the excess material. We're still planting vegetables at the moment. Oh man, plus three to beaver resolve. Forever and ever. Alright. We only have two beavers, though. A little worried on this one. On, on this glade. This is the uh, worst start we've had so far. But, I mean, we have crops going down. We plant even more there. And we can move over to mainly grain. We need to... We need to get some hostility reduction of some sort. Man, I mean, I mean, food. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's that's, that's unfortunate. But we really gotta get trade going. All right, what else uh, do we have around? We haven't grabbed that. We don't have the. Um... Oh Christ! Right, right, right. I need the uh, the parts. He didn't have them. If we don't get the blight post done by this storm, we basically lose. Um, okay, well, he doesn't have them, so if it comes down to it, we'll have to deconstruct other stuff, which would be really awful. We need two parts. We have the herbalist hut we could get rid of if we really need to, or even the small warehouse, but, man, that would suck. Uh, what do we have in this one? Nothing. Are any of these rewards parts? Words are parts on that. Five of all three. We don't really have the production to get there just yet, but it might be one of our only outs. So low on workers. Yeah, it might be one of our only ways to get to what we need. Even though we're freaking starving. Old seal may not have been the best idea. Only need a device. Oh, I know, I know. You only need that's right, I saw. That's fine. I said I was gonna keep going. Oh, we destroyed one of the woodcutters too. Yeah, that's true. 
How much do we get back from that? We get three back from that. So if it comes down to it, we can go that route. Especially cause wood cutting. Um, the more trees we cut down this one, the more hostility. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to cut into that other glade just yet. So we have we have some outs. We have some outs. First prestige. Yeah, we've just been doing every next prestige. And, so, and we haven't lost yet, so <laughs> this might be your first loss. If we lose this one, we still have one more chance at the seal. We'll just go at lower difficulty to unlock the seal, but... So far... Alright. Uh, do we have enough complex food that everyone can partake? I mean, I can just turn it off while they're eating that porridge for now. Turn it back on when it says one of them is starving. Too bad we don't have the, uh, the herbalist camp. We gotta get one of these turned in. Tin amber will get us a blueprint. It be very valuable. I'm glad we can stop planting vegetables too. We have to have enough time to build the blight post, which we're gonna need another brick for. Uh, and get some flame made. Okay, before the storm. Can start for a bit? Yeah. Do it. I, turn it off. I can even turn off... Actually, we can turn off all food for a little bit. We really need to. Alright, uh, herbalist. For the mushrooms. Here's you need for settlement on average. Finish prestige eight and feel kind of slow without eight years. That's what I usually do in these prestige ones so far is eight to ten years. Yep. I think on average, yeah, eight to ten. I do have the achievement for finishing one in five. That was on like prestige one or two or something. But yeah, these um these last like let's say five through nine. The average has been somewhere between eight and ten years. I know people are way faster at it, but. That's all right. Yeah, I'm guessing getting rid of the, the woodcutters is going to be the way to go. Um, and we need to get to oil. We can always once we get more parts, we could always uh rebuild one if we really need to, right? So. I guess we're just doing another normal shelter for now, unfortunately. Get the break done. Working right now. Okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Don Ross, welcome in. I was playing it like a normal map, not a seal map, I guess. That's the way to put it. Yeah, we gotta do it now. Get that done. Two covers in five minutes. Uh, yeah. Uh, where do we have the lizards right now? Uh, do we need the builder? No. It's meat in cycle. I'm pretty sure it ends cycle win or lose. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never lost a seal. So if you lose on a seal map, it restarts the cycle either way. Oof. Well, that's good to know. Too late to do anything about it, but it's good to know. Yeah, that's right. Well, hopefully you don't lose, but it's looking a little scary. scary. Uh, 
Losing is fun, don't you know? Alright, let's see how we are during the storm. Plague of darkness. Storm season 100% longer. Okay. Kind of a good thing in a way. Means years longer. Um... So once we're done with the blight post this uh, round, we'll switch people over and hopefully start getting some of these turned in, our trade going. I feel like I'm gonna have to go ahead and choose one of these. Um, I mean, this one, we know we could buy this stuff. We don't know if we're ever gonna see a brewery. 20 Harmony, again, we can force that. Use 130 units of rainwater. We're definitely gonna be doing that and we're going to be trading. One extra pack is good. Both of those are fine. This one takes a lot of materials. Let's go with this one. I haven't found a mine yet. Again, we're going to be doing trade routes like crazy. Plus one meat production. We already have another plus one as well. And that would make the ranch... Crazy and the red trees crazy as well. Lose a resolve 24. I mean, we can definitely get to that. But by the time we get there, doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. At least we kind of know what to. Gotcha. Randy has taught you losing is fun. <laughs> There's copper vein, actually. I wish that was coal. All right, uh, we'll leave you guys in there for the mood at the moment. Food's going in the right direction. Those free insects doing some work. Some work. I'll take those parts. The mood's fine without it. Stormwater. We're not full in stormwater, so you can collect that. It's a long storm. Long, long storm. We can put them back on that if we really need to. Find a drill event is the only way here. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I guess I should have looked. Yeah, we'll be doing the trade routes either way. Tools, always a good one. Man, I wish that was a green water vein or a geyser or whatever. So we have a way to make flour. Man, we don't, we do not have a good building for food yet. Mm. Also need to get that up to tier two. I guess we work on, work on that really quick. That will definitely help. Be careful using all our friggin' fuel too. Uh, uh, there's cookhouse. Skewers and biscuits. Don't have enough to sell to get to 17 anyway, so I guess it doesn't even really matter to look at this, but... Uh, it would be nice to make those biscuits. Yeah, we just really don't have... Don't have anything.
We have very little wood already. I think we re-roll this one, though. There's some okay ones there. Learn to a crisp. We use that stormwater geyser. We just friggin' pump stormwater, get cysts, burn it cold, and our fuel is settled without having to chop more trees. Yep. All right, so we really need to get this. Okay, they're going into the blue finally and that's with the tin uh, another house i wanted to get a, another hearth down here but to do that i'm gonna have to clear this out if i want that so as much as i hate to do it i'm just gonna do another shelter this is the most normal shelters we've had in a run okay deactivated that's fine uh hopefully we'll be able to get some trade routes soon actually we should probably save up and finish this instead of getting the trade routes done not like we can spare that stuff very well anyway. So we need to get this as priority. And then uh, pump storm water into the crude workshop. Okay. Also give us some stuff to sacrifice eventually as well. Yeah, I don't know. That small glade could be... I mean, we don't have to go into the small glade. I could... We need to go into this up here anyway. And the hearth can go right there. We don't have enough to build the hearth anyway, but... That's where the... Uh, the vent's gonna be. Six. Yeah, getting that coal is gonna be really... Really strong. Oh, we've unlocked no blueprints. Come on, lizards, get us that blueprint. We need something really good. Something more... More better, that's right. More better at making complex food. Uh, So we still don't have enough parts to make that. Okay. Um, I guess... We'll get that red tree also. I said I wasn't going to micromanage the red trees, but I thought we were going to have a better time. <laughs> what we've had oh uh, what was in this Can't pop it open. Wait, how many tools we got 10 okay all right uh if we turn that in we get plus one grain production yeah let's just go ahead and do it hey a ranch Nice, and we have plus two. We can't get plus two meat production. We have two people with coats too, but I think we just go range. See you later too. Get nervous if you can't. Yeah, yeah we're under year four, yeah. This is actually crazy. I didn't realize we were already in year four. This is really not good. Really not good. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, now we will turn off packs of crops and packs of building materials. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to deactivate this for now. Then we'll start chopping into there. Actually more raw food, but still. Uh, can use you guys anywhere at the moment? Not really. You'll get moved out of here once that's uh, once that's done. But all right. Yeah, we really got to get a lot of cysts to cut. Um, for the coal. There we go. Storm water forever. 
so who's in there humans uh let's swap you out for some lizards oh i should have let them finish that cycle but there we go small herbalist is done so the only reason to keep the small herbalist is if we get the herbalist camp upgrade oh nope there's berries down here too my bad and mushrooms run scratch that i right, give the upgrade to it so we get those berries would be excellent I mean, actually a very impatient queen. Yeah, it's this one has been rough. Yeah. This one's pretty scary. Pretty scary. Really bad start. It's funny, the last map we had just a great start. This one completely uh, the opposite. Uh, we're going to switch vegetables off from that one. Now that we're getting the ranch going. Is this one plus five to global resolve? Okay. Forces hide for there's pie production. Uh, and we're gonna have, yeah, so we have a, a way already to make, yeah, we have a way to make flour. We have, okay, yeah, let's take it. And then we have the meat for the pies also. So a brick oven will be good. We just gotta get enough stuff to make the brick oven. Um, and the granary too, but. So we need the supplier and brick oven done. We need more workers. Oh no, I hope that at the worst possible time. Oh god. Uh more stormwater. So I gotta get uh resolve up. Let's see. We got the blight post. Where else are lizards right now? Do not believe I opened it. Right then. Got that hearth. Uh I don't want to sacrifice stuff. Maybe we cut. Maybe we chopped too much. Don't have very much green water. Yeah, the kitchen doesn't give them a, uh, a bonus. It's rough, yeah. Today, you really liked your what is video to the game. Curious if you plan to make one about RimWorld as well. Feel like it would be great. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about that. RimWorld's been around for so much. I feel like everyone knows what it is, but. Yeah, you would think the field kitchen would give them a bonus, but it doesn't. They're already in there. Bring it coal out of this man. I might have to. Well, we have to sacrifice like all of our wood to get them not to leave. This is going to be a long storm. I don't think there's any other option right now. Uh, we don't have any way to make pickle goods. That would get them both. Uh, we have no vessels, though. And it would be too slow, even if this one had. Yeah, we just got so far behind. Yeah, I can't think of anything other than sacrificing our wood. Might just have to do. Uh, let's look on what's going on over here, too. Um... So that's the discharge thing. We definitely have the water to do it. There's a bunch of fuel, but that's going to take so long to get to. Fixing it. Uh, clearance water. Can we get the second hearth built fast enough? Even if I just put it over here somewhere, like, that I normally wouldn't... No, we don't have the materials for that either. And I would normally have three hearths by now, and we wouldn't have this problem, but... We do have the problem. So yeah, we'll tear this down, but... We're, we're probably gonna lose some people, or we're gonna lose a lot of wood. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, this is gonna hurt. They're still at zero with that. I think that's the first we've had people leave today too. Oh, the plague of snakes, the plague of snakes. Sorry, walrus man, we can't do it. Yeah, that sucks. I'm halfway through the storm. Um. Do we have another place that we can put stormwater? No, not really. That keeps them in there for the mood. Trader out, what are we trading? Tools? Humans resolve is low now too. I have everything turned on for them, I do. We can just get to that food. Low and fuel, yeah, I know. I know. Oh, the minus 50 hostility would be great, but I don't know that we're going to be able to afford that. Uh, the thoughts are about the drink. If you want the thoughts about the game, it's exclamation what? Exclamation what? Uh, we'll probably only make one more hearth this time instead of two. So that means we could trade three of that. Also want to automate the water, but that's fine. Unforgettable Rimworld party right about now. Yeah, that's what they need. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford the 17. So we can think about grabbing something else. He also doesn't have fuel or anything, so I think I just hold out. Well, we can use Sea Marrow for fuel. Sucks to have to do that. But I think we might be screwed. Uh, give a villager every time you discover a new glade. Oh, so I'll press again. Okay. We gotta get the, uh... We got double small press. We gotta get the, um... The flower going. So we need one more brick. Also get us to water skins. We need the ranch and we need the supplier going. Uh, do we already have stuff in here? We don't. Oh, we have like no friggin' fuel at all. We get that, we get oil going. Um we turn that to only grain, okay. There's some fuel. God, I hate seeing more people. I mean, we lost people too, but... Uh, what did the trade route one give just to finish trade routes? Depends on what it's wanting me to trade, I suppose. We can't trade bricks right now because we're using that to build a building. Yeah, it sucks, man. be a lot of oil. Yeah, I, I hope so. so. Use this clearance water.
Okay. So let's deactivate it. Uh, pipes. Okay. Get the flower going. We need to get the uh brick oven. So move this out of the way. Oh, we never even got the uh, the planks done there. Work on it slowly but surely. Okay, brick oven. Next most important pie. It's all the things. We got insect pie coming up. Delicious. Delicious. Uh, we are capped on the stormwater. Okay. Uh, might as well go ahead and pump that hole in. The more stormwater we use, the more water we use, the more corruption, the more cysts, the more coal we get. And wood is a big problem at the moment. What do we need to do for this one? 12 all the different packs. Uh, we could also install more engines, but we're going to need a lot more pipes for that. But north. I would crunch a bit. Windy. It was windy here this morning, too. Same 50 mile per hour gusts. Gusts. All right. Uh, right now, we just need meat from this. Use either of those three. Lizards get in there. Use this green water, okay. Where else are lizards? Uh, supplier. They're not getting a mood boost from there, but can't really shuffle them around too much. And we do have a few homeless people now. Uh, we can't build any houses at all. Oof, that sucks. What a mess. What a mess we've gotten ourselves into. You guys are on this too, by the way. So much run. So let's get between 5 and 11 inches of snow over the next 36 hours. Wind chills of negative 20 to negative 30. Ouch. Ouch. Twelve, twelve, twelve. It's going to take a while to get to that. Probably going to have to... Oh my god, I forgot about this. Okay, well, it doesn't matter that I forgot about it for that one, but... Uh, yeah, we got to... Uh, after it... After it does this explosion, we need to come grab, grab it. It's gonna destroy some trees, you know, whatever, whatever. I to finally have winter weather. We're loving it. And I can't believe we're on year five. We haven't done a single part of the seal. We're just in bad shape in general. And we're about to have a really bad storm. Um, it's being bad weather. Get that done. God, it's so far away. I can't believe we only have one hearth. I can't ever remember, aside from like the first tutorial missions of ever only having one hearth. Crazy. Crazy. Only 25 people to see. <laughs> oh, we can't even build that house. Uh, uh, do I have the stuff for this? Deactivate. I have a bug. We have some beavers that aren't doing anything super important. Hi, you. I remember the mouse wheel for that, but I forgot again. Uh, did it already detonate? Yes, it already detonated. It did the small detonation, so now it's on to the second detonation. That's why I waited. Yeah, it's on to the second one now. Oh, this could be a really bad storm. Or 
Are we using wood anything other than planks? Uh, I gotta turn wood off for that. Okay. Reach the golden seal yet? This is the golden seal, yeah. Golden seal on, what is it? Prestige 9 or 10? What is that thing? Which one? This? This is this, the golden seal. We have to complete four of these little events to complete this level. So unlike normal levels where you win through getting maximum resolve, we cannot win that way in this one. We had one detonate and just to finish the event. Ouch. It'd be nice if it can, it can delete the seal. You just win. Deletes the hold on the seal. Oh, uh, do you have the big trapper camp for that? But I am... We're in really bad shape at the moment. I really need that. Um... Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. A rough one. Fire. All right, here we go. Let's see how bad this is. All right, lower hostility level minus three to activate during the. And yeah, there we go again. Uh, so we have water piped into the supplier. We don't have a lot of it, but we can turn this off. Turn that on. That gets um. Against lizards in a good place. The crude workstation. What are we going to do about beavers? I don't think there's anything we can do about them. And we... Wow, that sucks. We accidentally got into the hostility levels for uh, cloud burst. So even after this, we're going to have a really, really hard time um, with a resolve. to the blight post with you. Um, what would this get the beaver up to? I had to pull them out elsewhere. As well, we might just have to eat some beaver losses during this, honestly. Much as it sucks. We'll have more people coming in right after the storm. I just don't have stuff to shuffle around right now. But, uh, how much coal do we have? Not enough. Oil sacrifice doesn't really do it. And I'd love to get to like the temple or something. We gotta probably work on getting these, get some blueprints unlocked because we're just like treading water here. Uh, nine more amber, so maybe we'll get some stuff to trade or stuff to sell in the next one. What are we getting out of that? Okay. We couldn't even build another house. It's just, we're just in really bad shape. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Lizards, uh... Where else are you guys? Take one of you out of the supplier into the blight post. There we go. So be yourself. It doesn't always work. Stone cutter camp. Uh, okay. I won't lose any of this. Sorry, I mean, if it was off, falls below zero. You have a slower, whatever it's called, 
time to leave. end up having our first loss we'll see we'll see the beacon tower no i didn't build it this time no never um also haven't built a forsaken thing I'm, i haven't needed it in any of these so far but no i have not made it but i might have to to get through this huh let's see boss that more tense music right the seal uh, yep gold seal and uh, I think we're on, or was it Siege 9 or 10 now? My seal map because the space is too limited. Yeah, I would I would like to have a second at least, but Yeah, that's rough. That is rough. This food's in decent shape now. We're going to get pies coming in. Fever's all low now. You guys out of here temporarily. Well, let's go get us fuel for those from those flowers. And max for it, you play it right now on the work notebook. over this first attempt yeah yeah i haven't lost yet yeah so we've gone literally through the difficulties and all the seals all the way here we i haven't lost a map yet but this might be the first one like just a map in general we haven't lost yet and i've just been going to whatever the next difficulty is every single time so i know eventually it would happen but Trust your lizards more. Okay. Um. We need to get while she's here. When he creates the first seal, sometimes our Jesus hates you. Yeah. Zero cornerstone is. Um. Patience rises slower. I finish a trade route. Uh, yeah, if we can get trade flow in, that's a really great one. Should be able to start getting to trade. Yeah, with the, with the ranch down now, we should be able to get to that. Get the hostility down. So, yeah, let's get it. Yeah, trade strong and everything, yeah. All right, uh... So I can buy some containers for pickled goods. That would be pretty good. But we're, we're trying to win, obviously. So I need to get some more of this unlocked. So what can we buy from her to help us towards this? Uh, obviously, pickled goods are going to help with Lizard Resolve, too. So that would be good. Uh, we need nine more for that turn in. And that will give us a... Get us close to a blueprint. We need two of these turned in. I act I selected this one by accident. It's really unfortunate. Um, that one we can get to very easily. We're about to do that one. So those two we're going to be able to complete either way. The lizard one for the plus one meat would be really nice. Then we can use that for trading as well. 
So at the moment, we are really lacking building supplies. So getting things like planks when uh, when they come in would be fantastic. But uh, yeah, I think from her, we might spend a little bit to... Um... No, I'm gonna... I think I might wait. I might wait. All right, we'll wait. Um, unless we... Nope. All right, uh, back to some wood harvesting here. Where are my four beavers at? Okay, almost done with that. And payment, can't do anything about it. Can't do anything about it. And we really gotta try to get this hearth up. We have the stuff finally. Mess. So we can open it and put it there. Open another small glade sounds terrible. Oh, but it's entertaining. Uh yeah, Gargo, I made a video just just for people like like you asking about it. If you want, if you type explanation what, um, I've made a video that is literally what is uh, against the storm. So you can always check that out if you would like. Yeah, this is a uh, probably not a great idea. But if you type exclamation white in the chat on either Twitch or on YouTube, either one, it will uh, it will get you get you to that. Uh, let's get that going. Storm water is uh, not the greatest. How long until we get newcomers? 10 more minutes or 10 minutes in. Uh, we're overusing oh, it right now anyway. Turn that off. Hi. Yeah, look at that impatience, Jesus. Uh, two trade routes. All right. Uh, okay. Not really worth it. Not really worth it. Okay. Uh, we got pie going now. So pie, let's turn that off on the beavers. And turn pickle goods off on the humans. Play this game nonstop all week, so addicting just one more map. Osmosis learning method. <laughs> just absorb. Absorb, absorb. All right, so we got lots of fuel coming in. We really need that wood going. Uh, okay, we got that done. Let's go ahead and deactivate that. Free up some workers. Okay. And we might as well collect this drizzle water with those. Okay. This game have an ending. I believe they added an ending cutscene if you beat like the hardest mode or whatever. I think someone mentioned that in chat. Oh my God, we're actually getting a house done. Friggin' miracle. A miracle. A special cutscene if you beat the Queen's hand mode. Okay. That must be what, what they uh must be what they were talking about. Alright, get this hearth. Finally <laughs> getting a hearth that second hearth at year six. Uh, we gotta get through this. Uh, 12, 12, 12. Three caches. We got that one. There's one. Two. 
I have two. Okay, the other one uh, takes pipes. We can buy pipes when uh, we have people again. All right, we can finally get trade going, but hang on. We need to get some of these turned in. Two, uh, two trade routes of any kind, just really quick. We have infinite insects, just send that off. Um, two seconds. I hate to do those ones, but. Real life, I feel like the balance more of these is really poor. Eight is a lot, yeah. I don't think we would be using them, but we probably just install them to get through that if we wanted to do that. Uh, we only have one builder going right now. Is there anything that we can do to free up a builder? Well, these freaking uh, blood flowers. Yeah, that'll free up builders for sure. Also, we don't have any more flower we can crank out right now, so take the lizard out. So should win. Yeah. Uh, or homeless. Yeah, we're working on it. Working on this too. We got a lot of workers working on events right now. Exclusion wear. On trade routes, although that is lowering hostility at the moment, but uh, who's the next trader? Beaver's coming. Okay. So one. <laughs> I just refill it. The same people. Can you choose who comes in it. Take some of those humans out. Got to do two. Gunfire reborn. Insatiable D. Think of the tier three for sixty-six months. Insatiable. Very much appreciated. I could favor them. We don't have very many beavers anyway, so. Only pie coming in. Um. Yeah, we don't have containers for the pickle goods. Uh. They do leave slowly, but yeah, the next storm is gonna suck too. If we can get this done. Almost there. Some housing down here. Storm water is a little bit iffy. God, I need workers. Workers. Uh, okay, we could turn that one in for four more people for work. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, yeah, I've added a few commands on YouTube now. Yeah, uh, the bot's a little bit slow, but it does work. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, get that done. Okay, lizard there. Move this uh, back over here. All right. And I just need to get some of these down. Whatever. I don't think the house has really mattered where they're where they're pointing on this. Okay. Two, four, six, so oh, eight. All right, we're gonna get all that. Um. Sorry, beavers. I'm favoring someone over you right now.
12, 12. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit. But that's like our only direction we can go right now, so. Uh, turn off planks. Turn all that off. Just uh, do the copper ore for a couple. We're only gonna be able to do it for one of them. But that's fine for right now. Fire. We have lots of oil, so that's nice. Yeah, they won't eat oil. Is that next trader coming? Jesus. Five minutes. I'm not calling you early, though. All right, there we go. Second hearth doing its doing its work. That coming. We got some houses coming. Man, if we pull out a wheel on this, it'll be crazy. Looks like Death Storm. It really does, yeah. It really does. But, uh... Turn that in, we get another blueprint, which could be something very important to the storm. We'll see what we get. Uh, butcher for skewers. We have infinite insects and meats. We just don't have the other side of that. Um, jerky production. Only covers lizards. We don't have a lot of wood coming in, but... Uh, I never remember the four, um, yeah. Zero. Uh, forger's camp. No, we need the herbalist camp. I mean, I guess we could use it to get the big... No, that's herbalist. I keep, I keep going the wrong way. Supply fire. Check if you have enough for the 142%. Um, how many should it take? I think six should be enough, right? Maybe I should let them keep ten, actually. Uh, we need one more. One more. Okay. Yeah, we'll go up to ten. For some reason, I thought it said six instead of eight earlier. Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess butcher it is. We have infinite veggies in the farm. The farm is really bad at producing vegetables at any upgrade. So we technically have infinite vegetables, but they are in very slow. So. So yes, we do, but also no. Yes and no, I guess. It's further away from them than I want to put it, but. It's gonna take a while to get that made. Uh, we could do the sacrifice. What's the reward on that one? We need to get the trades going too, though. Um, we're saving up for this. 12-12. We can trade some of the provisions. Oil is one that we can trade very easily. We got infinite oil. Uh, where are we two standing on Moldell? We only need five with them. I think we just get, uh... Yeah, that's fine. I also have pretty much infinite coal when it comes down to it. But. Alright, uh, go back to field kitchen. Workstation is still pumping as much as it can. We gotta get people back on this too. Right. We say it depends, it depends, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely the worst run so far. It sucks that it's on a seal map, but... Maybe we can turn it around. I don't know, man. Storms are going to be brutal. Then after storms are going to be brutal because you don't have cloth clothing production to uh, to get the payment. So. Uh, we don't have a service building yet either. Uh, that's ready now that we got all the lizards there. So we can get two resolve off that just by making a park. <laughs> we don't even have the wood for a park. Had to disable planks temporarily. Crazy. Crazy. It was a brutal storm. We have four people unhoused. I can't. Who are they? Two humans will be okay. Two beavers might not be. Uh. 
Park will get done. We'll get a plus two from that. Play rats. Any cooked or raw food in the Snowman's warehouse appears at a rate of two times every 10 seconds. Play losing. You can see it coming, but you're stuck because you've gotten a bad streak of rolls. Yeah. I mean, you can always, uh, you can always abandon. But like, you do get rewards for getting closer to victory, even if you don't manage to get victory. So. That's good, at least. Oh, my lord. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Well, that plus two resolve isn't, isn't doing much, uh, isn't doing much heavy lifting. Got newcomers in two minutes to replace some of these guys. But. I don't think there's much we can do to pull that much. I mean, they really need the other complex food. Beavers have no complex food right now. Uh, how much pie do we have? I mean, at least they're not starving, but... I know it helps a lot. That's possible without Mist Piercer. <laughs> I'm actually just opening all these freaking glades and hoping for the best, yeah. I mean, that could be a Hail Mary. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Beyond. Yeah, we're gonna lose some beavers here for sure. There's nothing we can do about it. Storm's gonna hurt. Yeah, this is just the beginning of it. We haven't even finished one of these. Brutal. Next trader in... Right this one. You can't hurt to try. Open some and hope for the best. Beaver builder left. Yeah. Man, I wish we had a temple. That would be ideal. I could go ahead and start sacrificing some oil for production speed in case we do unlock temple. Temple would turn this around. We have infinite. Randy Marsh is saying, Crim fresh over and over again. <laughs> have the time on these seal maps. Yeah, I. it's tempting to just go ahead and start sacrificing some. I mean, we have, uh, we have coals, so maybe I will. It's not going to help our mood um actually we have a bit of coal from from those uh sis so we can save our lizards aren't leaving yet anyway but that doesn't save the beavers uh if i put the actually it does save the beavers We're getting like infinite coal. Crim brulee, crim fresh. Yeah, we can't do anything about the um, the the clothes that we need to trade. There's nothing we can do about that. Save the beavers! Not shave. Yeah, not shave. Save. Save the beavers. Uh, do we need workers somewhere else right now? Uh, oh, lordy. Run 
down. Through the Twitch chat to the left, maybe. Uh, anyone's asked. Let me see. Oh, it was still moved. Um, it was moved where it is now for um for Rimworld. One second. Usually I don't have that much crap. Oh, actually, no, we did move it down for this, but usually I don't have this much going on. So let me move it over. Uh, here would be a good spot, I think. One sec. There we go. Yeah, thank you. On divinity level, I think we're on prestige 10 now and gold seal. Haven't lost yet, but this might be our first loss. So we've just been going. Uh, we started at the base difficulty, and every time we win a level, we've just gone up to the next one, and now we're, I think we're on prestige 10. Nine or ten? Or the two. Or the two. What a mess we're in though. What a mess we're in. This might be our first loss for sure. It's looking pretty brutal. Um I just need to get another trade done. Okay, sacrifice coal is done. We're still good on that. I know we have homeless, but don't really have the things to, to make homes at the moment. Crazy. Crazy. Uh. Actually, out of clay. Let's move this off sea marrow and onto that clay now. For time to attack a merchant and solve the situation. <laughs> yeah. GG. Oh, good soul. We just need to sell four more. Okay, let's resolve. Uh, Agent number one. Thank you for the raid. Very much appreciated. Uh, those of you joining from Agent Stream, welcome, welcome back. Madam, this is Adam versus everything, and we are playing against the storm. Uh, we've been doing whatever the next difficulty is every time I win, and so far we've made it to this point without losing, but uh, I think that's about to end. <laughs> so we're on like Prestige 10 and Gold Seal at the same time. Uh, and we had a really, really bad start. Really bad start. Uh, we're about to survive the storm, but we're not going to be able to pay off the coat lady, so... We definitely need to get to another blueprint and hope it is the... Uh, the temple. Temple would turn this around. Yeah, well, you've been this game. Big fan of it. <sighs> well, there's not much min max going on right now, that's for sure. I can't believe I accidentally chose empathy there. That sucks. Grizzle water used. So we do need to get four more uh, pipes sometime. Who's in the supplier? Okay. Oh, minus hostility. Oh, thank God. Uh, and then we need to buy supplies from him. Uh, building supplies. Really. We have fuel forever, so it's just about getting hostility down um, and impatience down, of course. Uh, is there anything that we can... Well, let's leave our cornerstone first. In tin jerky every time... Uh, tin pie, that's good. We are making pie. That's one of our main things there, and then we'll have jerky produced for the, um, the lizards without having to spend any wood. Uh, Yeah, yeah, we'll do that one. Marrow's worth a lot, too, yeah. Marrow is good all around. So, anything else we want to buy from him? Uh, we not don't have stone, obviously. Um, we could buy pots for the pickled goods. That would be really nice. And we need... Automating the rain engine would be really good. We don't have foxes, so having people work here is is kind of pointless. Um, two pipes for that. I think another four pipes, right? Total. So six total pipes to get that done. We also need to pipe one of these buildings, though, so we need at least ten. Those are going to be sorted uh, with that for sure. Yeah, with that cornerstone. Yeah, that'll help out a lot. We might actually be able to turn this around. Surprisingly. And then pickled goods...
Is there a max difficulty? There is, yeah. So every time you finish a prestige, you go all the way up to 20 prestige. 20 is the highest at the moment. I regret that you didn't even notice automating it until you're in the last seal run. Really? Really? Yeah, I sometimes won't do it just for fox mood. If I need fox mood and we have, like, extra workers. But in this one, there's no reason not to. Uh, so 10, 50. Uh, and then... That's on. We want to hold on to this. Crazy to trade that much marrow, but I mean, we really need it. Really need it. Okay. All right. All right. That will help uh, incredibly. We have two turn ins, and we really do need to get some more blueprints done. Like, we get the temple, and it, it turns us around entirely. Let's see which of these turn-ins are more valuable. Traders arrive 25% faster. Great. 12 tools, always great. Um, Yeah, we'll do this one. Come on, Temple. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Christ. Herbalist Camp gets us the mushrooms up there. And the berries here. So uh, that's still pretty good for us. That's going to help us with complex food. We can turn vegetables off at all these places. Fat crew, good luck, man. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. Man, that sucks, though. Still no uh, no service building at all. But Herbalist Camp is good. It'll upgrade this one. Uh, put people back into that one. Our third woodcutter back. Okay. Um, and we're not quite to the next blueprint, so we'll wait on that. And we got to get uh, the goods done there. So you have goods. Let's go ahead and turn off mood on that. And we'll empty that. Um, if we keep them in there, can we favor them? Uh, well, let's let's see where mood's going to land for that. We got like infinite. Um... All right, we're going to... Automate this, right, right. There we go. Free up some workers. Now we have stormwater coming in forever. Uh, this up here was stormwater too, which I don't know what we can use that much stormwater, honestly. We don't have another building to pump stormwater in. But uh, we might look and see if we can get lizard mood up. And we need to start collecting drizzle and using it. I think we turn Drizzle off in this forage. Uh, and then where do we want to pipe Drizzle? Probably the brick oven, right? Yeah, for the pie. For the pie. Everyone loves pie. Or to the ranch. Um, No, we have, we have extra meat production already. I should actually turn on eggs here too. Meat priority. And yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll pipe the brick oven. Right. Uh we start working on we could work on human house. We do have some homeless. Uh we can get this up to 14. Man, look at how crazy this is built. What a mess. What a mess. We could also fit another farm here. And we actually have the workers to do it now. Speaking of, um, do I want to turn off vegetables there? Maybe. God, I would love to get the temple. I'm still thinking we go ahead and sacrifice oil occasionally so that we, when, when or if we get the temple, um, we already have the, the benefits from it. Okay. Next trader. He's not even gone yet. He's still here. Hey, what are you still doing here? Uh, okay. Play coming in there. All right.
Okay, lizards. Um. Oh, we got the butcher coming up now too, which we don't really need as much anymore. But. Yeah, that's why we need to keep on vegetables, I suppose. All right, let's take a look. We got lizards for mood. We can put them in the blight post as well. We have free lizards, so we might as well do that. Let's put them in the crude workstation, and we can pump mood into there if we need to. And supplier to pump mood to. Uh, and then we can take one out. Do we have another one somewhere? Make shift post. Uh, so we need seven more packs of building materials. Okay, there we go. God. Missed the pizza? No, no pizza yet. Pizza yet. Uh, but we might actually get pizza. My, my daughter has a, um, a band thing at the high school. She's in middle school still, but at the high school. And maybe we'll grab pizza after that's over. I have to take her there at 5, pick her up at 6, so that, would, that might be a good thing to do tonight. Try Cursed Energy, Gamer Subs. I'm sponsored by them. Oh, 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 sorry, I thought you meant the game, the, the brand. I have not tried Cursed Energy yet, no. Uh, that one's next on my list, and uh, Sigma Brain, those two I'm going to try. At first I was like, I, I for some reason I only read the Gamer Subs part <laughs> in my brain. I was like, yeah, 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 I'm sponsored by them, Exclamation Drink. But, uh, no, I have not yet. Not yet. Today, to order a new flavor. Yeah, if you get one of those two, let me know what you think about it. But, um, yeah, I have, uh, not tried that one yet. Upcoming payment, that sucks, man. We're gonna have a minus six even with these pumped, but let's see. Can't get them there. Patient's scary, though. There's water used. Lizard resolved is 24. You can favor them, too, though, right? Even with the minus six, so... Favor... We're not making anything in there right now is one of the problems. There's 22. 23. Uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty bad trade with Leechford for, for bars, honestly. Uh, do we still have just trade routes only? No. So we don't have tool production, so it's not deal. can't believe we haven't finished the first part of the Ancient Seal yet. Unreal. Unreal. Oh, that's the new trader we just unlocked. Eight minutes. Well. New cup today. I have to check. Um, They messaged me the new cup, but I forgot to even look at it. Not to even look at it. Oh my god, someone in the blue for the first time in, in ages. Uh... We have some homeless people still. Mm. Don't have the pipes for that. Uh, oh crap, we only have one person in the big shift post. Oops. So, packs of building materials. That's the most important. Get that up. All right. Can't believe we're still alive. <laughs> You're seven. You're seven. Fun. How far in this game are you now? Uh, we are on the Golden Seal. I think Prestige 9 or 10. I can't remember if it's 9 or 10. One of the two. It's a blur. But uh, out of what, uh, 20? 20 prestige levels. I 
even lose in this game? Yes, you can absolutely lose. Yep. If this red bar gets to the max, you lose. So, yes. You haven't lost yet, but you can lose for 100%. And I'd love to upgrade that, but just can't. Just can't. Hopefully we get enough stuff to at least get those houses by... Um, we're just doing that for mood. Okay, Lizard Resolve is almost done. So we can turn in two now and get two blueprints. We might as well ride this resolve out first. Really good trades, man. All right. Uh, yeah, let's get let's get a blueprint. Which one of these do we want to turn in? Plus wood, more meat production. Or traders even faster. We'll get the meat. Come on, Temple. Come on, Temple. Make bad bats and have awful luck. Oh my god. Coat production. We can have humans and beavers covered that way. Man, oh man. Ugh. All right. Bad luck, bad luck. Goals are really maximal. <laughs> yeah, like we have the wood to make it in. Uh, or to put into it, I should say. I guess I didn't have to store as much of that as I did. Kind of a weird place to put that, but. Goats. Um. I think water skins would be good too for. Pickled good stuff, so my bad. Uh yeah, there we go. Then turn the leather on. Actually went through grain. I need to limit how much flour we're making, I suppose. The bet we're sitting on a bit. Not as much as I would have thought, actually. I probably should stop doing vegetables here. And I should also get that other farm. Should have gotten that a long time ago. All right. Seven more packs of trade goods. Come on, guys. Of, um... Uh... There we go. Holy crap. <laughs> That's the longest it's ever taken me to get one of those. All right. Uh, reach standing level two with three settlements on trade routes. Earn five rotation points from events. Six rotation points from resolve. So it's going to be really hard to get that one with what we... I mean, as the pickle goods come in, maybe. But we're going to keep working towards trade. Uh... So there's minus 30 hostility with what we have on the map right now. Or we could re-roll. It's purple, but we could re-roll to hit something for... I mean, we can't guarantee what we're going to hit anyway, but... Sure, mouse wheel up and down. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of hotkeys that I still need to use. That, that I, I, I know I've looked through the hockey list, but I still don't use them all. Sign building, yeah. Yeah, it makes so you don't have to go grab another... Yeah. And then there's hold shift and click on it multiple times. I still don't do it. I don't know why. Reroll. Hope for the best. Yeah. Uh, one for every impatience points. Five movement for every 10 insects produced. Into an amber every time a villager dies or leaves. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, actually. Your world zombie run, or have you played it once and never want to do it again? Uh, neither of those are. There's only two options there, but neither of those are right. I've already done a zombie run, and yes, I'll do another one at some day, someday, but it's not the next run, so. Believe in the cards. 
Uh, blood price might let us reroll for the temple. <laughs> uh, each level of closing it regardless of seal. All right. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, oh my god, I'm gonna turn this in. Come on, temple. Where are all... I mean, Explorer's Lodge is the only one we've been offered. Jesus, man. Uh, we don't need any of these. So I'm going to save and reroll, honestly. Oh, that was a question. Uh, it's I think it's different. I remember some of the other seals. But I don't know if that's based on the prestige I'm on or if it's based on um, the seal level. But some of the other, earlier seals definitely had easier stuff than this. You can decline for a 10, yeah, but... Seal is always the same? Okay. Yeah, I might save reroll. That was a bad option. That's true. Stormhaven, we are only five off from that, so we'll just give them uh, this actually we'll just give them two oil. Also, now that we've done that, we need to turn off pack of crops and building materials. Oh, crap. He was actually making the thing I wanted to make. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, beaver. Uh, we want to make that out of meat only. Okay. Herb garden for roots. As as I'm not sure where I'd want to put it. Oh, crap. Uh, how are we doing here? So we don't need to pump that anymore. Okay. Wait for the reroll? I think so. We really need something like temple. Uh, clothing, finally. And water skins, okay. So, to reach level two with three settlements, all right. Play for the roll. Yeah, we're probably not going to have to worry about that for too much longer. We're going to have a bad storm coming up, and we are probably going to lose some people during that anyway. Go for that. Turn oil production off. Uh, skewers. It's only you guys, right? <clears throat> and we're getting free jerky so I don't need to make that actually yeah any of those would help a lot uh did we finally get enough to make housing yeah that's a good question we can make human housing now that we're not using that to pump Or lizard housing. Actually, we have a... Yeah, yeah we're going to do that finally. Okay. Look at this mess. This mess. Was low. Yeah, I know it. I know it. We're gonna be getting some more coal from this. All the wood, actually. Yeah, okay, we're not using wood there, just for planks. some homeless people. They don't want to have to sacrifice their last hole, but we might have to. We're going to get to minus six for not paying coats again. Uh, we're okay if a few beavers leave because it gives us money. Can't worry. Play for the first time last month. 
Uh, oh, uh, the January one, we're just doing the Rimin ship map. Yeah. Uh, I thought we posted, or I thought Smurf posted. Yeah, we didn't do a custom one for January. Uh, the custom ones will be back for February. But January is either do one of the previous ones or do the Rimin ship, or um, the SDM map instead. Hey, we just got tin. Nice. Oh, no, you died anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Leechford, we still need 10 of them. Not quite there, almost though. Where are the service buildings? <laughs> Ugh. I missed it. Yeah, I thought we posted in there. Um, I might be misremembering. We might have posted it in the admin channel and didn't end up posting there. It's our death. They get struck by lightning. <laughs> You've thought there was done this run. Yeah, what the crap? Runs like this really are my... It's one of the things, too, like I was talking about early on with these games, like the more things you unlock, the harder it is to get the things that you want or need, you know? I mean, there's a monastery, so... That's good, at least. We'll take that. That's gonna reduce, um... Reduce this by 100, but... Service buildings exist, apparently. 30 bricks. I'm, I'm okay with a couple more beavers leaving, honestly. I'm not going to even put them in here. Pull out the wild cards. That's crazy. More beavers leaving means that we can re-roll the next one if we need to. Standing with level two with multiple towns. Um, can't trade the bricks now. This game started only this morning. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, I hear beavers. <laughs> Sorry. We got replacement beavers right here. Right here waiting. More homeless beavers? That's right. They're all gone. Wow, look at that. We're getting a uh, tablet and training gear from that. Bad, honestly. Oh, wood sacrifice. Uh, we do have oil that we can sacrifice. Wood, though, we basically have had none. Very, very little. I mean, we can technically get to it and do it if we really need to. Oil, we can do no problem. Yeah, we got plenty of oil. We might as well do it now. Spawn Storm, he's up. Keep checking these trades. Don't use up the bricks yet.
Man. We don't want that, um, honestly. Uh, yeah, that's true. We can take this to finish the the blood flowers during the storm faster, but none of these are really what we want, but that does help us 20% faster. We don't have foxes, so it's basically like now we'll have foxes on the blood flowers. May not be horrible, good fuel source building. I have no wood to turn into coal. Unfor unfortunately. Plus one of vegetables is not bad either. So we're still planting some vegetables over there. But uh, we got to think about for the win, right? So. Standing level. Um, We might even want to just buy things to help trade off. I don't think we're going to make another hearth. I don't think we're going to make the others. Yeah, we can trade the wildfire essence. Sure. Hmm. All of our oil is coming from um, the bonus to the, the small press. Does this work with small press? So we're just getting oil every time we make um, flour. Yeah, I didn't think so. Think on the off chance. Oh, that's true. Yeah, next we roll 15. So maybe we should hold on to that. Plus one vegetable. I mean, we're okay on food in general if we're not trying for mood anyway, but... Yeah. We'll just get what we can for this. Um... else all right uh trade oil so leechford we need nine of them there we go do we actually have the coats to pay this time 41 i'm gonna go with a no we don't have that Hey, humans going into the blue. Look at that. Christmas miracle. Okay. Multiple into the blue. Uh, oh, right. I wanted to accept the other people. Should I, though, with uh, them going into the blue? Do we need the workers right now? No, not really. Really. And then we might even get to uh, a six on that instead. Uh, we need to use more drizzle water. We don't have a drizzle geyser, so that's just going to be over time. Uh, need wood. <laughs> need wood. But... Uh, We made a plank in 50 barrels. The free stuff, yeah. Doesn't get any bonus, yeah. And the time stuff, right? Like. Um. Yeah, screw it. Be the workers. Homelessness again. house is the best one for us to use this because it doesn't take up any wood at all. You know, it's a friggin' mess over here. We have somewhere... Hang on a second. Crude workstation is still our only brick production. Guys, almost done with those. Appreciate it. It's 
stone cutter. So we are now out of any source of clay. We don't need to work anywhere anyway. Oh my God, a monastery. They do exist. All right. Okay, uh, Stormhaven, we need 19 with them. Oh, come on. Do we lack the pack of supplies? Pack of provisions, I should say. What was the other... Moss grow. We need a three with them, but that only gets them to tier one. We need a tier three to tier two. I think we just used a bunch of fabric. Um, Leechford. Bought those pots, but we need 19 with them. That gets us within shooting distance of plus two with those. Yeah, just yeah. Let's just go ahead and do the twelve. It gets us to a really close trade. Yeah, we had twenty-four out of the twenty-five. I didn't want to wait, but maybe I should have. Top right. Oh, in the in that building. You know what? I want to use the water. I want the corruption up. Oh my god, we have 28 wood. The Christmas miracle. Uh, and I think I'm going to sacrifice it pretty soon so that we can get to that. We better to sacrifice it during the storm, so I'll wait on that. And we need to be sacrificing oil. Um, so Leechford is 8C. Yeah, so we just can do one trade there, and that finishes them off. And then what was the other one up here? Moss Grove, right? I mean, we might as well get them to the next tier anyway. That would save beavers, though, and we want them to leave, yeah, for the money. Good point. Uh, Queen's Impatience is getting pretty crazy. High level corruption, yeah. Do we have enough for that? Yeah, we have enough. All right, uh, no more stone gathering at all this run from uh, for us. I'm gonna open any more glades, probably. Um, or if we do, it'll be to finish off a seal thing. So, I'll just deactivate it then. There is a chance. Fuel and settlement is warehouse disappearing at a rate of two units every 10 seconds. <laughs> Fantastic. Moldale. We need 11. 68 of our oil. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, do it. This is our win condition, so. Plague? Ah, uh, maybe, actually. Kind of crazy, but we need to get to 50 wood sacrificed.
Okay, what does that turn in? Plus one. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. We need the blueprint anyway. So just turn it in. We're almost on another blueprint. 0 0.02 away. In. This is scary stuff. Scary stuff. Uh, the water we're using, and we cannot do the empathy. Not really. I I can't believe I clicked that one on accident. It's gonna suck if that screws us over. Yeah, we still got two more after this. Standing of two. That one's going to two down there. Um, Leechard's already at two. Stormhaven is really close. Just anything to them. So we'll just go with whatever's... Uh, we're going to go with this one. <laughs> Not the cold, just in case. Do you actually have the coats this time? that much either since we have um i mean if we got the temple maybe water's on wood cutting is speed is increased by 10 percent for every 150 units of water used in rain engines i'm just going to take the extra amber there's an advantage that makes consume double that's right that's right <sighs> Yeah. Lydia summon. All right, let's see. Can I kill your birds? Oh, no, Lydia, you can't. You can't. Can I kill your birds? Uh, one out of three. So we got Moldale at a plus 12. Not quite there. Stormhaven is there. So we need to get Mothdale finished off okay, uh what was the other trade to mossdale mossdale i'm getting the names mixed up now <laughs> moldale moldale uh 12 so training gear or copper ore comma two yeah yeah <laughs> all right i realized that right after i said it i was like hang on a second that's not right uh, isn't one of the seal things to literally just spend a lot of amber? Is that the next one? I gotta think about saving up amber. I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I've never done the gold seal, right? So, I know there was one like that on the on the previous seal. Of course, we're gonna have a lot of amber coming in. Um. They're always saying, okay, no matter what. All oh, right, right, right. Someone confirmed that earlier. So yeah, we will need a bunch of uh, amber. But uh, we have a lot coming in through trade. Uh, let me look at this. So... All right. Uh... We're going to build much more. I could buy this and make beaver. Ah, doesn't matter. 
I think ancient tablets is one of the options too, which is why I don't want to sell it. But I don't know that we're going to get access to more ancient tablets without. Obviously, we have to open glades, right? But we might be in a frantic run for grades. Yes, yes. I'm on bus, then I have to drop her off at five. Do you, uh, yes, yes. She'll be coming off the bus today. Is that the high school? Yeah, I'm thinking I shouldn't do this. We don't. Yeah, we don't need the food right now. Although impatience is getting really high, so getting the blue from that would be pretty good. Yeah, all right, whatever. Getting payment. Um. Forty-four. Uh, what is the cloth here? It's clearance water. Yeah, well. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah, it's 80. I was right. Christ. I literally just spin it. Hey. You still here? Still here. Should burn some clearance water too. I know we're just not getting very much. Oh, what is this crap? Ooh, that would be plus three meat production. I think I'm gonna go with this because it's even more uh, more oil in the long run. Uh, yeah, okay. In the long run. Six hours, no way we're gonna get that. Um. Oh my god, we're gonna do this! <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna end up winning this after... after what we had going on. Uh... I, unless uh, she gets, uh, full impatience. That's the only... Only thing. Next storm we win, as long as we don't lose by then. Next storm we win. Uh, and then if we get mood up in the meantime, we don't even have to worry about that. But uh, I'm not so sure that's going to happen. Um, Drizzle and clearance. Uh, do we have... Put one more rain collector down. Who send caches? Uh, that's a good question too. What's our tool? We have 27 tools. I didn't realize. Yeah, there we go. I think we're actually gonna do this. Well, that was looking like it was not gonna be one for sure. A granny summon. Look at that stuff. More secrets. So many secrets. Burn blue water. I'm burning as much blue water as I can right now, but it doesn't matter. We already have all that done. We have that done. Do I have the two pies for that? That would have been, yeah, temple at that point would have been kind of. Kind of funny, actually. Oh, wait, we had another cash here. Whoops. Whoops. So, uh, yeah, just whatever water we can use as much of it. And. Oh, I need a builder. Uh, take someone off wood cutting. Get that built.
Yeah, we're not gonna get enough of the drizzle collected this time anyway. Catch those jaws of the feet. Hey, look at that. Yeah, we should be able to get it, right? Like, wait, how many assists does it say? Two. Is there anything that we have that would use stormwater? That we haven't built? I don't think so. Uh, we just build another. Well, the creature workshop's not even using it right now. We need to allow it to to like pump all this out um so set no limit on that teen arena welcome in wants to take that explorer's lodge huh seven sis we just need we need enough corruption for one more one more than that um make another crude workshop i guess Probably shouldn't have taken them. But. Uh, tool production. We just unlocked tool production. Right. Ah, if they leave, we get... Oh, actually, if they leave, the queen gets unhappier. Yeah, I really should not have taken them. Should have just uh, slow and steadied it. Slow and steadied. Simple and find blueprint. How many blades? Oh, uh, well, the blueprint. I don't care about it anymore yet. Yeah. All we care about is impatience moment and eight cysts eight cysts are we at eight cysts hey we're there all right so as long as we burn all the cysts during this uh storm we win so burn all the cysts before the queen it's too angry and we're good tools okay uh do we have a trader coming maybe right before the storm 136 uh dead touch and go for a minute yeah absolutely i thought we were gonna lose several times how much clearance water do we have oh christ uh go for it Um, yeah, it's okay. Hungry mist worm. Sorry, all stored food if we don't do it. Uh, any possible to see past the trees, ancient food and delayed warnings disabled. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Minus 50 hostility. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, 
Man, I can't believe we can't believe we pulled that one out. That was a really rough start. Get me out of here. <laughs> GG. <laughs> what year was it? Jesus. Uh, it was season nine. Okay. That was nuts. I can't believe we won that one. I was absolutely sure. You know, one of the things that really helped was the uh, money when people leave. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, it was your nine, your nine. Phoenix in the eyeball. Perfect, it's perfect. Enjoyed that one because it was a nail biter. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was fun uh, in part because of that, I think. All right, so the gold seal is done. What are seal contracts anyway? Contracts allow you to choose which seals will be assigned to you during the next cycle. Interesting. Thirty-five fragments and must be attempted on vice or difficulty or higher. Platinum. Forty-five fragments and prestige five difficulty or higher. Okay. Ten prestige or higher. Fifteen and twenty. So I guess we go after the platinum too. So you do the higher levels. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. So it's just gated. That's, that's all that means. Okay. Ooh. 3G. Good timing, too. My daughter's going to be home in about 10 minutes. All right. Let's see uh, what we unlocked here. Chef say, You did it. You actually did it. I'm impressed. You bet you reforged the gold seal. So you know what that means, right? This is your key to the higher ranks of the order. How much you've contributed to the kingdom, the people of the Citadel. Oh, you so much. So after such a remarkable achievement, I've thought about what you would do next. Take a break. Just getting started. I'm just getting started. See, you haven't lost your enthusiasm. So eager to continue assisting your brothers and sisters on the front lines. I have an intriguing pro proposition for you. You've earned rank, you've gained the right to work with so-called seal contracts. Special agreements between you and the crown, they allow you to choose which seals you want to tackle each cycle. Please be careful, don't rush headfirst into an adamantine seal. So, is there any um, reason to redo previous seals? I know you don't increase the cycle length of redoing them, but is there any extra rewards or anything to one that you've already done? I've never looked. Ah, look at all that food, nice, nice. Not really any reason to. It's unfortunate. Just extra metapression rewards a little bit, maybe. Alright, um. Oh, look at that. We're actually limited by machinery for a change. So we can get amber from embarkation, 3% bonus to rival. Full production speed increase. Uh, uh, all right, let's grab this. And bonus for all rewards per seal per run. Oh, okay, so it's just a it's a flat percentage increase. Okay. Yeah, I know you get extra time in the cycle permanently, but but I meant uh, like redoing seals that you've already done. Doesn't seem like there's much much reason to. Uh, what's the land of greed? The strange shadow because you to only focus on your wealth. The crown is worried. Impatience grows 50% quicker, but every ongoing trade route reduces the impatience generated speed by 20%. Barren land. Soil is too acidic. There is no fertile soil. Um. So platinum seal. Platinum seal. Those are the next ones. All right. But skipping seals. No, uh, yeah. So. Uh, that is where I'll leave it to, for today. And tomorrow we'll try to get to the platinum seal.
Uh, we've also made it to a new prestige level. We still haven't lost. <laughs> the streak continues. Um, I'm sure that's coming to an end. I thought it was going to end there, though. Um, I'm going to look at what the next prestige did before I decide before I get off of here, though. Probably go this way. All right, let's see what it what prestige 10 unlocks for difficulty goods are worth less to traders ouch that sucks that sucks uh and then our options for when we do this tomorrow beaver harpy with 10 starting people actually 13 because we'll we'll get this boxes two shots at humans we'll probably just go with this one hope we roll humans then we have three coat three biscuit just got new member all no pretty late to the party have been really enjoying the guidance that's awesome yeah thank you they let me know been liking the challenge runs too and you're liking uh liking the stream liking the stuff liking rim worlds liking all the things i've seen fox as well yeah it's been a couple of runs we had so we uh rolled into foxes weren't such a sweaty cheating nerd <laughs> no. uh we're going to play a real game like Dave the Diver. I never did get around to playing Dave the Diver. But I wanted to. There's always time, I suppose. I suppose. All right, guys, that's the end for me. Uh, I need to get my daughter, and she has a school thing. I got to take her to uh, for band, so ended at a really good time. Uh, it was fun, though. So I'll probably play this for the rest of the week, and then we'll see from there. From there, we'll probably end up on uh, having this as a split stream, So, which means we'll play another game first, and then this one... But uh, I should be back with this tomorrow around the same time. Uh, it is a weekend, so maybe an hour later. So either 10 or 11 a.m. Eastern time. I'll announce it on Discord and Twitter and all the places. Uh, but thank you guys on YouTube, on Twitch. Thank you both for watching. If you haven't already, uh, check out the new episodes of stuff. There's a new episode of the edited RimWorld run, the Mechanitor run that went up this morning. And then there is a uh, new kind of video I'm trying that I did with this game. If you type exclamation what, exclamation what, it'll take you to the video for this game. Uh, and then lastly, there is a giveaway going on. So I'm giving away nine copies of Against the Storm. If you would like to try the game, but you can't afford it, you're not necessarily sure if you want to buy it or whatever the, whatever the reason, uh, Exclamation Giveaway, uh, if you type that on YouTube or on Twitch right now, um, you can enter that for free. If you're watching this VOD later on and so you can't type commands, uh, just go to my website, adamverseseverything.com slash giveaway, adamverseseverything.com slash giveaway. Uh, we're giving away nine copies. 